What time is it? We Man, we miss on we on time. It's three o'clock <laughs> on the dot. Oh. What? <laughs> We on time, man. We on time. <laughs> we on time what? today, goddamn. Hit that like button. We on time today. <laughs> they probably ain't ain't ready. I know, right? What up, chat? What up? Shout out to y'all, man. AGS Live, episode 35. Yeah. What's good, man? Right off the bat, man, shout out to President PlayStation. He said, you know, I had to show love even before the start. Safe moon and AGS live to the moon. All right, appreciate your player. What's safe moon? What that mean? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Probably oh, some okay. anime shit. I don't know, though. I just All read right. what he wrote. Just read what he wrote. <laughs> what up? <laughs> yeah, we on time today, man. We on time today. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, yeah, we here, man. We here, man. It's been a good week. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been an interesting week for me. Been an interesting week for me, uh, as far as gaming goes. You know, what I'm saying it's definitely, uh, you know, it's it's been a cool week. It's been a cool week. I've been uh, I've been going down memory lane. You know, what I mean, just you know, pretty much out of pure boredom. Uh. <laughs> You know, I didn't download it like every goddamn emulator I can download. I got 3DO, Super Nintendo, NES, Wii U. I got PlayStation 2, Xbox. Oh, man. Um, you know, Mame. I downloaded Mame, so I got a couple arcade games. Oh, yeah. You you good. Yeah, yeah. I've been doing all types of shit, man. I was... um. You know, because you know, I missed the, uh, you know, I missed the six, what, sixth generation, PlayStation Two, Xbox. I missed that generation, and I was okay. thinking about, you know, maybe playing some of the best games from that generation that I I missed, you know, for the first time. Because you know, the, you know, the big games of that generation I really never played. You know what I'm saying? I, right. I never experienced all whatever was hot then, whatever was getting ten out of tens, game of the years, and all that. Whatever, whatever was fire at that time, I, I never got to play. So I was thinking about doing like playthroughs for those games, man. But I can't, I, I, you know, I can't commit to nothing right now, man. Like, oh, hey, so I don't like live I streaming. People, I know people who have been locked up and they have TVs. How come you can't have like a video game system? Like, why did you have to miss those? No, nah, you Probably can't have no consoles. Well, where you know, in, in in Pennsylvania, you couldn't have no consoles. And, oh, and, just, yeah. other there's other um prisons that you that I seen. Like you know, I watched a couple you know documentaries and shit. And uh, I know Death Row inmates anyway. They had a. I was watching one joint on a Death Row inmate. He had a whole Xbox in his cell, and he had like eight games. So yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know. You know, I don't know how it go in other states, but in Pennsylvania, you couldn't have no gaming consoles. Just the TV. Oh, that was just the rules where you was at. Yeah, yeah. Just the TV and uh, you know, cable. That's about as far as that go. Okay. You know I'm saying. Yeah. All that's right. The, and that's the only reason. And that's the only way I got my gaming because I used to watch this show called Game Head with Jeff Keighley. Used to come on Spike TV. So, and and then uh, BET had a, a a show called Hot Wired, and they had a little gaming segment. So. That was the only way I would see some games, you know, in motion. You know what I mean? Of course, right. the commercials. The magazines, you could, yeah. Yeah, and I, yeah, I was getting Game Informer, but, you know, that only goes by so far. But, shit, it, it got the job done for a while, while I was there. You know what I mean? But I, I, I really don't like live streaming. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to commit to, like, playing a full playthrough and shit like that because I, I, it probably won't get done. You know what I'm saying? When you say you don't like live streaming, what you mean? You mean like having to think out loud and not being able to concentrate? What well, mean? I mean, I just don't enjoy live streaming. I don't think it's really fun. Like, I'd rather just game without all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Especially single player. Especially. Why? That's what I'm saying. Like, so Oh, I mean, I mean, I just like to play the game. And... Yeah, I just like to play the game like I like to play the game. You know what I mean? Without I don't want to talk and yeah, I don't have to worry about entertaining people and all that okay. and talking and Sh yeah, reading yeah, yeah. chats and all that shit. I mean, like, I just don't. I'm just not into to the live streaming scene. You know what I'm saying? I'm old school. Right. So you just want to focus on what you're doing. Yeah, I just like focusing on what I'm doing, playing the game, and and enjoying it. That make a lot of sense. I I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. Although that little Lion King uh stream was pretty funny. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, and I, that's another thing. Like I do, yeah, I did it again this week. You know, I did um you Battle did? Toads. Yeah, I did Battle Toads, Ninja Gaiden. Huh, and that and, didn't uh, show up in my uh Mike Tyson punch out. Oh, I mean, how far you get? I beat Tyson. Beat I beat up by Mike Glass, Tyson. Joe? No, I you beat, beat Tyson? Mike Tyson. Yeah, I beat Mike Tyson for the first time. You know what I mean? That I was beat your the, first time? Yeah, yeah, I never beat Mike Tyson. Um, and I yeah. beat uh Battle Toads. Well, I beat the third stage of Battle Toads, never did that. Um, so yeah, Ninja Gaiden, I got to the last level and then I just gave up. It was like three Ninja hours Gaiden later anyway. Was hard. Yeah, man, that joint wasn't no joke. Yeah, that shit that shit's annoying. So I just gave up on that shit, like fuck this game. But um <laughs> Yeah, people <laughs> People are thinking I'm playing those games for my own enjoyment and shit. Nah, nigga, I'm playing them games strictly for the people. I ain't playing them for me. <laughs> I ain't. I'm not. I wasn't. I'm not. I wasn't looking to play those games. You know what I'm saying? I'm not looking to play none of those old ass games. I'm gonna you know have to saying? go back and watch these now. I, I can't believe I missed them. Yeah, I'm just looking. I'm just looking for uh, you know, thinking of certain you know different ways that you know bring some videos to the uh. To the to joint the people, yeah. Yeah. So look here, you said you just did it three times this week, and now you saying you don't like it. I don't want to. You didn't have fun while you was playing them. Nah, I mean, it's not. I just, it's not really my thing. Okay. Yeah, stream. I feel that. Thing. Like I can do it, but I really did ain't my thing. I definitely. I do it for it. the people. I don't do it for me. It ain't me. It's not. I don't wake up like yo or <laughs> come home like yo. I want to stream today. It's not really none of that. It's just. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of, I don't know, in a way, it's kind of my way of uh, giving back to the people. You know what I'm saying? I so, feel that. That's love. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like that, you know, because it ain't really for me. It's for them. You know what I mean? For but the supporters the and time, all that. It, do, it benefits you if you can actually pull it off, though, especially playing them old hard games. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's cool. You know, it really don't, you know, it don't really mean much. You know what I mean? These niggas love and respect niggas that don't play games at all. So, you know, it really, <laughs> what does it, you know, what, at the end of the day, what does it matter? Is it going to get me more views, more subs? I don't know. Maybe not really necessarily the game. Maybe I can pull it myself. But at the same time, you know, these niggas don't care, man. They, they you know, you, you see the people they into, the people they watch, shit like that. Motherfuckers hide achievements, trophies, and they still want to talk to these niggas as gamers or deal with these niggas or watch these niggas. So, motherfuckers don't care about that shit, dog. <laughs> I don't think. I, I don't think. There's um, got to be a remnant of people who care about. I mean, you might got a small minority, but the majority don't give a fuck. Like I said, they 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 favor YouTubers don't even play games. So, you know, it it is what it is. Well, that's because the majority of... People that we call gamers is not like us to begin with. Like, I don't want to say they're not gamers, but they don't have the same. Pa they casuals and not that serious about it. So to them, they don't mind looking at other people that's not that serious about it. Mm. True, true. Uh, shout yeah, out I mean, it's going to be way more of them than us, like, period. Oh, yeah, always, always. Um, shout out to Matt McGrath. He said, I'm going to be bouncing early today. Unfortunately, me and the old lady have dinner plans tonight. Also, Hard Eight, I came across a channel where the dude was exploring an abandoned Crescent Jail. Pretty crazy. Really? Sure. Send me the link for that. Yeah. The one I was at? The prison I was at for fucking six, seven? Well, I was there. How long was it there? Six years? Really? Send me the link to that. I got to see that. <laughs> I, I know my way around that motherfucker. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> it looked like a college campus. I mean, it looked like it doesn't. It looked like. It doesn't look like a prison. Well, it doesn't really look like a prison. It's like a, it looked like a campus. You know what I'm saying? Because everything is like outside. You got to go outdoors to get to everywhere, to get to the library. So if they made it a video game level, you could find all the hidden items. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to uh, Big Maserati. He said, uh, "Brother Code, I know you only just started gaming in 2017, but have you ever played a Ninja Gaiden game? Pretty good series." Absolutely. Yeah. No. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Andr Andre Garcia. He said, what's good, AGS? What's your opinion on the Red Man and Method Man versus? Uh, that thing was fire. One of my favorite ones, man. One of my favorite ones. Man, that happened too? I yeah, man, that I was that was on uh, the 20th. The 20th. 
Yeah, yeah that was one of my favorite that, ones, that, man. Yeah. Fire. I fuck with Red and Meth. They, uh, they, 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 some of so my how favorite. They do it. Did they team up like Snoop and uh, DMX? Or did yeah, they, they was like, like on stage. Like they gave a concert. It was like a concert. It wasn't even a versus. It was like a motherfucking concert. That shit was fire, though. Man, that's what's up. Yeah, that shit was fire. Shout out to Torrance Ingram. What up, Hateful Eight and Old Man Cold? Fuck you. <laughs> 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 Fuck you. Uh, shout out to Urban Combat 1000. What's good, fam? What niggas on this week? Lot, lot going on this week, man. A lot of shit going on this week. Um, but uh, yeah, go check out my last video, man. I was playing some old games, Battle Toads, Mike Tyson, Punch Out, and Ninja Gaiden. Um, I definitely achieved my goals on Battle Toads and Mike Tyson, Punch Out. But fell short on Ninja Gaiden, man. Actually got to the last level. That was my first time ever getting to the last level, too. Um, hey, so that punch, was it actually Mike Tyson's punch out? Yeah, you know, Mike Tyson punch out. out. They just renamed it to punch out. Yeah, no, it was Mike Tyson punch out. And it was actually him at the end where yeah, he it's him at flashed the end. white right before. Okay, that's what's up. Yeah, but then, you know, once he got the rape chick case, they, they ch took him out and just called it punch out and added Mr. Dream. Yeah, added, a, right. added a white guy at the end. Right, but you played actual Mike Tyson. No, I played Mike Tyson. Yeah, yeah. That's the only one that I played. I don't play big simulation. I don't play no pin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was on NES emulation. NES. Yeah. Um, shout out to Big Maserati. He said, hit that like button, man. Yeah, hit the like button. Hit the like button. Yeah, Punch Out doesn't get acknowledged, man. No, nobody play that shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to play that shit. Don't play it. Don't, don't even acknowledge that shit. Um... Shout out to Xavier. He said, Xbox starting to BS again. When it comes to Returnal, they really don't have any new games to play. Instead, they love making stuff up on Twitter. All right. Uh, shout out to Matt McGrath. He said, Abandoned Central is the channel's name. You'll find a video on his channel. Nigga, just send me the link on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, player. Matter of fact, let me see. I copy and paste right now. Let me see, man. Yeah, how you gonna go out to, how you take his wife out to dinner and uh, it's COVID, man. What's going on with that? Man, listen, the world is back open. A close oh, friend of mine just got that shit, man. You know what I mean? Just got COVID, man. Just got COVID I've and shit. You tweet that. Yeah, yeah, my, yeah. Motherfuckers talking about um going to theaters. Vin yeah, Diesel. Vin Diesel and shit. They just want their money. They don't give a fuck about your health and all that. But he ain't going to no motherfucking theater. You know what I mean? Motherfucker right. just want your motherfucking money, dog. That's all. That's all they care about. That's all they care about. Hey, Matt yeah, McGrath, how long ago was it? What's the name of that shit? Like, yo, just send me the link. I don't feel like looking through this. Oh, I see it. Oh, shit. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> wow, that shit bring it back. Oh, shit. They really did. What? Oh, that's crazy. Oh, shit. Yup. Yo, that's it. Damn. They at F block. Oh, shit. I was right there next to F block. Well, y'all ain't watching it, but next to F block, you look over there, the motherfucking uh, E block. Oh, shit. They, I gotta watch this. Oh, wow. That, oh, look at G block. They go my, oh, shit. Yo, <laughs> this is crazy. Nigga, you sound like somebody going back to their hometown or something. What Dog, like, it's just it's weird <laughs> seeing this shit. Damn. Yo, if you, I'm going to put the video on the link. If you go to 345, that's E block. That's the block I was on. I was on E block, D block, B block. But, yeah, I'm going to put it in the link. Yo, that's the jail I was at. That's the one I spent six years at. That's the prison I was at. Damn, that's crazy. Hold on. I'm going to see if it's open, though. Yo, this is wild. Damn, look at A-Side. I was on A-Side. Damn, it looked, yo, it's crazy how, like, raggedy it looked. And it only been closed for, like, yo, this is crazy. Why they I crazy? might got to do a reaction to this video, yo. Because this could go right, <laughs> like, with Life Behind Bar. Like, yo, I'm, yo, they right, like, <laughs> Yo, nigga, my old one of my old cells. I might gotta do a reaction to this. Nigga, this don't even look like no prison. Look how old that shit look. Go to like four. 
go to like four minutes and um go to like four minutes. Go to four minutes. That's the exact I was on this block, this A side, this A side of E block. All right, I'm in four minutes right now with the little lunch tables and stuff. Damn, yo, why it look like that? Like, it ain't even been closed that long. Like, that's just crazy how, like, shit just... Yeah, I used to play Scrabble at them fucking tables, dog. <laughs> Straight up, like, real talk. You got the showers right there in the corner. Wow. This is crazy, dog. They really went back to this motherfucker. Damn. Everything rusty as shit. Like, damn, this is wild, yo. I might got to do a reaction to this. So it was shiny while you was in there, huh? You know, it's... <laughs> this, it don't look that bad to me. I mean, I don't know. Nah, how it look, it's it. like, damn, they go to commissary. Yo, know, this is crazy. I really got to... I might do a reaction to this one. Wow. Man, it looked like where they trained the X Men at from the outside. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's why F Block was the block for uh, mental, mentally disturbed people and shit. Hmm. Oh, this is wow, dog. Y'all gotta watch this. Yeah, this is crazy. They they really went to the block. I ain't even go to D Block or nothing. They ain't touch D Block, C Block, uh, anything like that. A Block. They really went on my block, E block, dog. Damn, that's the last block I was on, too, before I got out. Crazy. Why they kept switching you around? No, you I was on D block. Better? I was on D block. I was I, I went to E block. Then they, oh, the, the unit manager was on some sucker shit. Me and the unit manager had a problem on E block, so then they moved me to D block. Like, when I was up there, when I did my seven years, I did most of my time on E block. But when I went back because I violated parole because I went on a run, uh, I started out on E Block, and then, like I said, me and the unit manager had an issue, and then they sent me up to uh, D Block, and I stayed there okay. until and that was the last block I was on. All right, that's yo, that up. shit look raggedy as fuck. Like it just that yo, this shit is crazy to actually see this. This is wild. I mean, I wish they would have did a better job at like getting everything, but damn, this is wild. Yeah, is this like a part one or something? Nah, it's kind of because they didn't really do. You got uh, there's other like um, you know, people that go to that explore abandoned places, and they do yeah. a much better job. Like they they, I mean, this is cool, but they didn't do a good. They didn't get get it. Like you know what I'm saying? They did like yeah. a half ass. The video only five minutes. Like the, some of the other explorers I'll be watching, they videos be forty five minutes, shit like that. Like they really get to every nook and cranny of the place that they explore. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've seen them, yeah. Yeah, I Damn, definitely seen them. this is wild. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so you said that you so you, you did your bid, then you got out, then you sort of had some errors in judgment and you went back. And that was the last time. <laughs> Why was that the last time? What was different when you got out that time that made you be like, uh, I'm I just Shit, I ain't trying to like jail trash. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like I stopped doing crime. I didn't stop doing crime when I got out. I just kind of like slowed it down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I just kind of wasn't too reckless with it. I just, you know, I just kept it, kept it light. I didn't, I wasn't reckless. You know what I'm saying? I was more cautious. You know what I'm saying? Once more I got careful. out, like I was selling okay. crack in the halfway house. Like when I was in the halfway house, I was selling crack in the halfway house. Like, you had a lot of motherfucking crackheads there. Man, you must have had some good connects to set that up. Well, you know, I got to work from my homie, and I just brought it in the halfway house, and I used to hide. I had a PlayStation 2. I used to hide it in the back of my PlayStation 2. I know, You know the PlayStation 2? You know that thing you could take off, and it got that big-ass space? I don't know I what that's. I got my PlayStation 2 right now, yeah. You know that the original fat PlayStation 2? You take off that slot. Uh, and it got this big open area at the bottom of it. Like I don't even know what that shit for. Like what you stick in, what's supposed to go in there. But I used to stick my crack in there. You know what I mean? It was a good hiding spot. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I used to be sitting there playing a the game. Niggas come over, sell them crack and shit like that, and keep it moving. Because you was allowed to have, uh, you know, you was allowed to have a, D a portable DVD player and you could have a console in there. I didn't know that at first. I seen somebody playing a game. I'm like, yo, you can have a console in here? He was like, yeah. So the next day, 
I went up <laughs> to projects. House, though. Yeah, that's the half. I mean, you know, I just didn't know. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, next day I went up to projects. I asked my homie, I'm like, yo, you got a PlayStation? He's like, nah, but I know somebody's selling one for $20. So he copped it for me. I went to Radio Shack, got everything I needed, and I had a seven inch a portable DVD player. Hooked that shit up. I was good. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I beat, uh, I, like I said before, I beat Resident Evil 4 on that low ass seven inch screen. I beat God of War 1, fucking uh, The Matrix, <laughs> Path of Neo, like both of them shits. <laughs> Yeah, uh, said his Sonic wasn't blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, damn, that's crazy. That's wild, dog. I can't believe they got that shit right there too. Whole crap, damn. That could put that could really put you know the visuals to like life behind bars. Like life behind bars happened at that prison. You know what I'm saying? There. That's where mm-hmm. like most of life behind bars took place at. Right in that so, fucking so prison. So that fight you got into with that big swole dude it was there? Right there. Right on that block too. Like right on E block, yo. Like that shit crazy. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, I can tell you uh Shoot, you might be done already done a reaction video to it because you definitely is reacting to something. <laughs> like, for real. I don't blame you either. That's crazy. I wonder what they saying. I can't really listen to them and do the podcast. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm going to watch yeah, it when yeah, I get yeah. off. I'm definitely yeah. going to watch it when I get off. Yeah, see what they talking about. Yep, definitely going to check it out. I mean, they ain't probably ain't really talking about much. This good, uh, good looking out, Matt. Clearly, this was a, a good find, sir. Yeah, cause I ain't, I didn't, I ain't know nothing about. It. That's why he sounds like what? They really there? They really got cr- like, really? Sheesh, that's that's crazy. And look at this little cot. I guess it ain't little. I guess it's normal size, but it just <laughs> just looked little. little. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you double them up if you can get away with it. You could double them up and get away with it for a while, but then when they come around and they do um bar and window check. They're going to take that. So it depends. Depends on who the CEO is. You're not supposed to have two of them. You know what I mean, you're not supposed to have two pillows and none of that shit. You're not supposed to have an extra set of sheets or anything like that. But it depends on who the, who the guard is. You know what I mean? Yeah. If it's a cool guard, you know, McConaughey, he was cool as shit. He don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Uh, Miss Jules, she ain't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Plus, you be usually you laying down in your bed anyway when she coming through. She had a fat ass. That's <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm talking about uh, like I'm talking about the asses these bitches be paying for. And she had it for real. Like that joint was crazy. Yo, sometimes like before you leave the kitchen, like I used to work in the kitchen and shit like that. Before you leave the kitchen, you got to get searched. You know what I'm saying? If she was doing oh, search God. duty, oh man, I made sure I got her. <laughs> for real, pat me down. You don't understand. That pat down was anything. That's a memory to jerk off to later on. For real, I'm taking it down later on. Just off that pat. And she used to like squeeze your butt too. Like not, I don't know if she used to do this shit off, but she like, you know, you got back pockets. So she used right, to do right. like a, like a, she yeah. trying to squeeze the pocket type of shit. But nigga, your ass is right there. She her whole hand at full of ass and shit. I'm like, God damn, dick hard as shit walking out the kitchen. Straight <laughs> 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 up, yo, you after you've been down for all them years, any type of female contact had you fucking at attention, nigga. Uh, I got caught one time. Fucking what's his name? I forgot his name. Fucking piece of shit. Because it it, it be like three guards lined up. You know what I mean? Doing the pat downs, right? And it's a line of us going out, leaving. So uh-huh. she was like, wherever she at, I'm trying to make sure I'm in line that I'll get her. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm counting yeah, niggas yeah. like, all right, if I'm right here, I'll get her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But he caught me doing that shit one day. He pulled me to the side. He was like, yo, don't let me catch you doing that again. Like he could have, I could have went to the hole for that shit. But why? Because he know why I was, he know why I wanted her to pat me down. But I'm saying, like, you're not doing nothing with just changing your spot in line. I mean, you're not even supposed to be looking at a female like that. No reckless eyeballing. You know what I'm saying? You're not supposed to stare at them. I mean, you could glance at them, but to be, actually be staring at them, you can get in trouble for shit like that. 
Just so for, for looking at somebody? For a female, for staring at them? Yeah, you can get in trouble. Reckless eyeballing. Yeah. Out of here with yeah. <laughs> but I'm, count, I'm, I'm counting the line, so I want to make sure I get her. Because I already know how she pat down. She going to grab my ass. I, you know what I mean? I need that. I've been down. I need that. I got them black tail <laughs> magazines, but God, I need this contact. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm making sure I get patted down by her. You know what I'm oh. saying? Fuck that. I need them hands oh. on my body, nigga. I've been oh down for God. years. I need this. This dude. Yo, when you upstate dog, everything is amplified. Like when it comes to like females and shit like that, it's just, man, anything. It's like a turn on dog. <laughs> like you fucking, you fucking starving for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you fucking locked up, man. You fucking around men all fucking day long and shit. Uh, you starving for that shit. I hear you. I you hear watch you. TV shows just because you might see a fucking short skirt or some shit. Like, I used to watch all types of Howard Stern. That was like, nigga, what? <laughs> Howard Stern fucking. It used to be this show on E called Wild On. With Brooke Burke or some shit like that, I think her name was. Man, listen. Nigga used to watch the, the fucking Spanish channel. So fucking. Couldn't understand nothing. Couldn't understand shit. But them <laughs> goddamn bitches that used to be on that Spanish channel. <laughs> nigga, what? Fucking my shit was uh, Sabadu, or Sabadu oh. Gigante or some shit that came on on Saturdays. Nigga, what? Dog. And then they had like a um, they had like they got like a they had like a Puerto Rican soul train. I forgot the name of that shit. It was like a Puerto Rican soul train, dog. That man. Interesting. I yeah, I almost I almost died up that joint, man. I, I was in a cell by myself for twenty eight days. Yeah. For what? Yeah, I took it down every night. Then they killed myself. <laughs> Why was you in the cell by yourself for 20 Oh, I know, you know, I was cool with the Sarge and shit. You know what I mean? Sarge, uh, Sergeant Eyes and shit. And I just, you know, I was just like, yo, don't put nobody in my cell, man. Let me rock oh, out for as long as possible. That way. Okay, I see what you're saying. Right, yeah, I was right, just right. like, let me rock out yeah. for as long as possible. He was like, all right, I got you. We was real cool. He was like, all right, I got you. I lasted 28 days. Every night I'm watching okay. Cinemax After Dark. Butt-ass naked with some tube socks on. <laughs> killing myself. <laughs> I'm in there stretched out. Just I'm oh going to God. I'm going to work yeah. every night. I'm watching fucking real oh. sex. Thirty three taxi oh cab God. confessions every night. I come out in the morning like a zombie, nigga. I can barely walk. <laughs> <laughs> I can barely walk in that motherfucker. Uh. Dog, I'm tight. Yeah, it's a long night. Yeah, it's a long night. Nigga, I'm watching a fucking Girls Going Wild infomercial. I'm in there going crazy. Bro, like, why would damn. they even let you have Cinemax on cable in there? It seemed like they would block that. Um, well, they did eventually, right? So at first, you know, we had HBO and Cinemax and all that shit. And it was only $10 a month, you know what I'm saying? But then they had change. They took out, so they did you a know, block movie. They played block movies. And uh, they got rid of rated R movies, and they got rid of uh, like HBO on Cinemax, and they redid the whole cable. So we was yeah. just stuck with um, you know basic channels: TNT, right. USA, yeah. Sci Fi, E, and, and shit like that. So yeah, it was it was hard. It was hard after that because you know now we ain't got the nudity and shit no more. You know what I mean? Besides right. the magazines, but that ain't not, right. that don't compare to you know Cinemax right, After that, Dark or Real yeah. Sex and all that type of shit or or Taxi Cab confessions and all that so um yeah it was crazy man but i was in there 28 days man that's the longest i've ever been in a cell by myself man i couldn't believe it 28 days man it was <sighs> being in the cell by yourself oh man it was amazing <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing you know what i'm saying this shit was fucking Good lit thing. lit dog lit but I hey, ain't going to even judge. Until you done walked a mile in a man's moccasins, don't even judge him. Man, listen. Yeah, listen, you can either do that or you can run up in some man butt. And that ain't even happening. You know what I'm saying? So, nah. I'm Bro, good. I was watching. Oh, shoot. I, man, I forgot the name of it now. But he, like, you would know him if I could think of his name. Uh, he bald. He, ah. Anyway, he had, he had just got out maybe two, three years ago. And he was on Vlad TV. And so Vlad was like, have you ever seen anybody get raped while you was in? I think he did like a six or seven year stretch. Yeah. Like, have you ever seen anybody get raped? And he was like, 
like, no, nah, you don't have to rape nobody in prison. Like they, <laughs> they did that stuff willingly, like on yeah, their own. Yeah. Like you don't have to rape nobody. I was like, what? Nah, nah. You got dudes that is. I mean, come on. I mean, you gonna have you gonna have niggas that's willing to do what they gonna do. You know what I mean? You got you got you know homosexuals in there that wear you know lipstick while they make the lipstick out of Kool Aid out of uh, Kool Aid. Oh. But um, yeah, you're gonna have that and. <laughs> Ron Nisha, Charletta type of motherfuckers. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah you ain't really got to rape nobody. You could definitely get what you're looking for. You know what I mean? You could definitely get what you're oh. looking for. I was the smut king. I had all the Black Tail <laughs> magazines. I had like 30 of the motherfuckers. The smut king. The smut king. I had like 30 motherfucking Black Tail man. I ain't really oh. fuck with Playboy or Gallery. And I even had the premium shit. It was the hardcore shit. Because they stopped letting hardcore magazines into the jail and shit. So if you was able to get your hands on one of them, it was, it was worth a lot. You know what I'm saying? Okay. The hardcore okay. magazines was the ma- magazines that would show penetration and all that shit. Okay. You man. know what I'm saying? Uh, the, but Blacktail would just show girls and pictures, busting it open, shit like that. But the hardcore magazines, you would see actual penetration, whether it's from, you know, a man and a woman or, or a sex toy Whatever. or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, but that was the premium content. That shit cost more more money, more packs of <laughs> cigarettes and shit like that. You got your hands on some hardcore shit. Because there still was a lot of hardcore shit floating around from when they were allowed. You know right, what I mean? Right, right. They, stopped, they stopped allowing hardcore. They stopped allowing for people to send you naked pictures and all that. They stopped, like, wow. if you had a girlfriend or whatever like that, they stopped all that shit. Why? I mean, it's jail. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're trying to make it. Nobody does. They're they trying to make it uncomfortable. Like it, you got oh. it. Like jail's supposed to be a place where you don't want to come back. You know what I'm saying? It can't get to the. Yeah. Yeah, it can't yeah. get to the point where it's like, yo, this shit, I. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it can't get. It can't get uh, like that. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, that shit's crazy, man. That shit's crazy. But you know, you still had all that shit floating. Just like at one point, you was allowed to wear your real clothes. In there, and they stopped that around like nine, seven, nine, eight. You was allowed to wear what? Street clothes, like street clothes. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, street clothes. I mean, they they stopped that, put everybody in uniform and all that shit, just in case you know a motherfucker escape. You'll know an inmate when you see one right away. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, now that I can see that, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, it was wild, but you still had all that shit floating around from when it was allowed. You know what I mean? So. so they just stopped you from bringing new stuff in. They didn't really. Yeah, they didn't come, come and take. Uh, yeah, they didn't take what was already there, but they stopped it from coming. You know what I mean? The new shit. Like, yeah. you already had it. Cool. But ain't no nothing else coming in. You know what I'm saying? Did you have like a, a hiding spot or could they just find whatever they want to do? If they, I looked? mean, you had I mean, you had hiding spots, you know, might put in the mattress, but it's only but so many places you could hide that they didn't figure out by now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And that's why your TV and shit was like clear. You had like a clear TV, so you wouldn't be able to hide something up in the TV or oh, the radio. So they like, could look right in there. Yeah, they could look right in it. All the electronics was clear, so you could look right in it. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. It wasn't like that at first. When I got up there, everything was like, you know, black, regular, but they started making everything clear so they could see directly into the TVs and all that shit. That's pretty smart, actually. Yeah, because people hide shit in the TV and hide shit in the radio. And all that type of shit. You know what I mean? Did you have a cell phone? Nah, nah, I didn't have no cell phone. It's hard getting those in there and being able to hold it, keep it. Because they done found all them hiding spots. Like, you used to hide the cell Like, you used to buy a jar of peanut butter and hide the cell phone inside the peanut butter, but they done found all that shit. So. Yeah, I was watching a thing on Netflix, and it was, it was exactly that. This one nigga had about 10 cell phones. And... Yeah. They just kept finding them. He would get in trouble. He'd have another one, like, waiting on him when they when they got out. Like, out of 10, they might find seven or eight, but, like, this nigga didn't care. Like, he had to have that cell phone. Yeah, they found all. They, then they figured out all them spots. Shout out to Torrance Ingram, man. He said Mortal Kombat was dope on the first watch, not so much on the second. Also, another one from Torrance Ingram, especially comparing it to the original Mortal Kombat's. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. Yeah, that's the first topic, yeah. Shout out to Torrance Ingram. Again, he said, put the prison vid in the chat after it's uploaded. We got to maintain these views, player. Yeah, I already put it there. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, what else we got here? Shout out to Jay Harvey. He said, shout out to the old niggas holding it down. I'm sending a super chat for only Bat since his mom <laughs> won't let him use her credit card. He said he wants his keys back. <laughs> shout out to okay. NC Youngin. 
Uh, I ain't seen you in a while. Sup, fellas? AGS. Y'all hit that damn like button. Hit that like button, man. Then we got uh, Nah Nike. He said, this man heart ain't working with Reed from Snowfall. Laughing my ass off. I have no idea who that is. That uh, old white man um, on Snowfall that was bringing I ain't get that far yet. Is that was he? How, all right, I I ain't get that. I don't the think CIA I got that far. No. Oh, oh, him. Okay, okay, okay. Got you. Yeah. Shout out to Rodrigo. He said forty three nine forty three ninety one. He said eight had twenty gigs of crack in his PS two. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to oh, uh, Blu-ray got me. <laughs> uh, see Laura. Uh, said the Jack Move Johnny experience. What what's the Jack Move Johnny experience? Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't get it. Shout out to Big Alabasa. He said laughing my fucking ass off, man. <laughs> Shout out to Andre Garcia. He said this man eight was like Randy from South Park. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Teron Aries. He said I still remember that Life Behind Bars episode when you said if a dude put some cupcakes on your bed and you eat them. Did you know the rest? I was dying. Yeah, man. He gonna be coming back looking for something. You dig? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely is, man. Definitely yeah, is. How many cupcakes you eat, eight? Never that. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Never that. Never that. <laughs> uh. All right, let's get into it, man. What we got? A lot of, lot of you know, some good. Good PlayStation news this week. Where do you want to start at? Where do you, where do you want to start at? Let's start with that Mortal Kombat. You want to start with that Mortal Kombat? All right. Make yeah. sure y'all call in. If you got the number is on the screen, Discord. If you got something to say or if you want to say something about Mortal Kombat or give your opinion, um, make sure you, uh, you know, call in. So, uh, yeah. So, we can start on Mortal Kombat. We start on Mortal Kombat. Um... So I seen it. You seen it, right? Yeah, we seen it. Definitely watched it. All of us watched it together, the whole family. Yeah, man. After the first twenty minutes, man, I, I you know, I, I took a couple naps during that joint, man. What? <laughs> that joint is that? No, dog. They, they, no, man. That that joint, that joint, kind of trash, man. I'm a <laughs> kind of. What that mean? Kind of trash. It's kind of trash. Six it's out kinda, of ten. Seven. Uh, two. What does that mean, kind of trash? I'm, I'm, I, I was let down, man. I was let down. I was really looking forward to this movie. You know what I'm saying? I was looking forward to this movie. And, um, oh, man. I don't know, man. First of all, all right, so let's get into it. So the beginning was straight. I felt like the beginning, I feel like that's where most of the budget went. I don't know. I Like, the beginning was straight with, all right, all right, so first of all, let's back up. Spoiler alert, people. Spoiler alert. If you don't want to be spanked, nothing to be spoiled about, to be honest with you. It's Mortal Kombat. It's Mortal Kombat, God damn it. You know this yeah. fucking situation. They're trying to win the fucking tournament to take over Earth. Same goddamn story in every other movie, every goddamn cartoon. So, yeah, it ain't really a uh, uh, you know, spoiler, but just in case, you know what I mean? Spoiler alert. All right, we're about to be talking about Mortal Kombat, so if you don't want to be spoiled on what you already should know, then get out of here and come back when we're done. All right? <laughs> um, matter of fact, let me read these super chats to give y'all, you know, enough time to, to, to skedaddle, if that's what you want to do. Shout out to Viewmaster617. Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate your player. Then we got one for Lil F Boy. Hold on. Okay, uh, little F boy said, "Eight, tell Miss Tech I said hi, like Dame and Mama off a of Friday after next." <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Andre Garcia. He said, "Can't call him because of work, but I give it a seven. All right. Then we got Viewmaster six seventeen. Shout out to you. We got Matt McGrath. Heard Mortal Kombat is pretty good, but not mind blowing. All right. And then we got Slimy Slippery Sausage Paws." On my knees, ready to please for your podcast keys. This motherfucker. That's a little F-boy. like only bat. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> All right, so look. The movie started off great, right? I agree. I definitely agree. The first beginning, yeah. that you know, that was that that was amazing. It looked like some yeah. high quality, big budget high shit. Production value. Yeah. yeah, I really, really yeah. enjoyed that. And that was really, really great. Um, And, you know, I think 
all the way up until uh, they got to like Sonya, where it started to go like downhill for me. This cold young dude is fucking useless in the way, not needed. All of the Mortal Kombat characters that we have, y'all want to come up with this original dickhead for what? I don't care about him or his fucking family. I don't give a fuck about Cole Young. <laughs> Nothing at all. He's he's boring. He don't say much. He, he like he can't even fucking fight. This nigga was already getting his ass whooped in an amateur <laughs> rinky for dink $200. for two hundred dollars fighting in the bottom of a fucking old school or some shit. I don't know where the fuck he was at. And all of a sudden, you want me to believe this motherfucker could save the world? Like, get the fuck out of here with this bullshit. His power was stupid. Yo, it was dumb. All the characters Mortal Kombat got. All of the fucking characters they got to use as a main character. They come up with this unoriginal, wooded, boring-ass Cole Young. Fucking garbage, dog. Garbage. Like, I thought they, his story made a lot of sense. Man, that, come on with that honed in fucking that yo that that story was about as deep as a fucking puddle, my nigga. Like, come on, man, stop <laughs> this. Thought, no, I'm not saying the acting was good, but I I like. I mean, that. It, no, the story, the, the, the story of any of that. Like, what the, what's the story? He's the descendant of fucking scorpion and his fucking and what? He was born with this mark. Yeah, all that, all man. that. Was they yeah, in the store. He annihilated the bloodline, but it lived on and it culminated in dude. Yeah, I thought that was straight. This would crack me up. They in the store, the daughter sitting outside, it's fucking snowing oh, in the God. middle of July. Uh, and it start fucking hailing uh, and all this shit. And they still just sitting there. Like, are y'all gonna ever tell your daughter to get in here or go out there and grab her or anything like that? Like, what the fuck is going on with this bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> Like, what the fuck? This nigga throwing snowballs and shit. What the fuck? Come on, man. <laughs> you know what I'm and then Luke Kane. What's this nigga? 5 1? Like, who's this little midget? Let's just fucking. Do, like, come you on. No, no, dog. We're sh no, yo, come on. We got to stop this, man. I'm surprised that nigga ain't had some big ass fucking plastic in his ear with a fucking something in his tongue going through his cheek. Some old emo shit. Like, what the fuck was this? Where this midget come from? And then Kano? Really? Really? <laughs> You're not going to give him the fucking plate on his face? We're going to get some little bitch ass scratches? What the fuck is that? What is that? How is that a substitute? What is that? I guess in part two, he'll get the fucking plate, right? I guess. Yeah, I mean, but right now, he, gonna, he got these scratches to signify a plate that's supposed to be there. Like what? What? It, like, come on, man! That shit was garbage. Melina was kind of thick, though. I will give you that. Melina did have a little. She looked. She had a. She, she, she had a little cupcake. She had a little cupcake. She had a little cupcake. Um, the movie was garbage, dog. This nigga can't beat right. This motherfucker can't beat a a a, a nigga in a fucking old broke down fucking car dealership. Wherever the fuck they was wrestling at, Cole Young. He can't fight. He's losing to amateurs, but this nigga could beat Goro? Come on, man. Stop this. He found his power. Man, I don't give a fuck if he found... No, nigga. No. He had no. that armor? No, no nigga. He's different after that. No, first of all, Goro ain't no fucking joke. Like, let's Facts. be clear. Facts. Let's that be clear. Boss. Facts. <laughs> Goro is not no joke. Goro will tear you to fuck the shreds, dog. You know what I'm saying? Um, so for the fact that he was able to beat Goro and he can't even fight, that's just come a plot that armor. That, that, power. <laughs> that nigga plot power was plot armor. That was his power. That's what the fuck <laughs> went over his body. Plot armor. The part that I didn't like with Goro was when the wife was like tried to jump in and I was like, oh my God. Yeah, man. his family also, they also survived being deeply freezed too, right? They, get the fuck out of here. Dog. Yeah. This movie, like, the whole middle part was boring as hell. The whole part where they trying to discover their powers and all that, that fake-ass training they was doing was so fucking boring, yo. And then when they was running, they was walking around in, in, in the desert or Outworld or whatever. I guess it was the desert. It was the desert. It was the desert. Uh, yeah. But that was the same place that was Outworld when Melina was walking through it. But whatever. Um, <laughs> Luke Kane just walk up, hit motherfuckers with a fireball, and then say, "I am not your enemy." Then, nigga, why did you attack me? <laughs> <laughs> like, what the 
fuck? <laughs> Nigga. That was just a demonstration of power, man. That shit was crazy. I was like, what the hell is going on? That wasn't so, the only way. He didn't have to do that. He could have just walked up. Hey, I am not. I come in peace. Yeah, I come in yeah. peace. He throw a fight. He just walked up. And listen, he just walked up, threw a fireball, and was like, I'm not your enemy. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> so, look. So, going back to the little Goro scene, I know my family loves me. I know this. But I guarantee you, if that nigga broke in here and started fighting me, Every nigga I know gonna be a hundred miles away by the time he done whooping my ass, cause they is not gonna stay <laughs> and try to help fight this monstrosity from some other world, man. It just it don't add up. You went, would you even want your family to fucking stay? You gonna be like, yo, get out of here. Right. You know what I mean? So get here's the, the thing though, and like I said, so our wife was me, the wife, and both kids, and man, they loved it. And from a point of because the, the question is a difficult question. Was it a good movie? And I probably will, will dodge that question. But if the question was, was it an entertaining movie? Man, I don't see how you can say it wasn't entertaining. It was boring little- as hell in the middle, dog. It was boring. I mean, but they had Kano for the little uh, comedy relief. and the- Then they get rid of Kung Lao. Victory. They kill Kung Lao. They yeah, kill Kung Lao. On, Yo, what up, what's what up? up? What up? They killed Kung Lao. Raiden was corny. Like, come on, man. Now, Raiden, I, I will admit, Raiden, I thought they did good up until they introduced Raiden, and he could, like, barely even talk. Hold on. You ain't had no problem with Liu Kang looking like he was five nah, foot I, f- one. No, nah, I didn't have no problem with Liu Kang. Oh. You know, he don't match the other Liu Kang. Uh, Fuck sure, no. But, Not even close. But I, he did his little bicycle kick. I thought it was cool. No, nah, that shit looked at trash. The bicycle kick looked at better on a 95 movie, dog. That shit looked trash. Yeah, and that's another thing. Like, I was talking to OBJ, and he was like, you know, people trying to say that the, the 95 movie was better. Listen, the 95 movie had some memorable scenes. I already then forgot this fucking movie. The 95 movie was memorable. It had, it had, when they first introduced Scorpion and Sub-Zero, that was a memorable moment. That was a big moment. You know what I'm saying? I remember on the bootleg, people was clapping. People was clapping. <laughs> I wasn't at the theater. I seen it on the bootleg. People was clapping. You know what I'm saying? But no, that was people that was a clapped. that was a memorable movie. This was in the theater too. What you say? I'm saying people would have clapped for moments in, in the theater in this too. All right, don't don't it. don't cut me off. Don't cut me off again. Anyway, ninety five <laughs> had memorable moments. Sub Zero and Scorpion when they first made their first appearance. Um, Johnny Cage and Scorpion, that was, we all remember that, and, uh, Reptile and Luke Kane, that was fucking fire, and then, that fucking theme music, dog, like, come on, man, 95 had memorable moments, this bullshit here, like, the only thing that was good, the only redeeming factor was it was blood, it was gore, you know what I'm saying, that was the only redeeming factor. 95, 95 was so much better, dude. Mmm, I think Film. Yeah, okay, this, let's this talk about felt it. Like a YouTube, a YouTube made it or some shit. <laughs> oh my God! Get, guess who in here agreeing with eight? Let me see. Hold on, that ain't him. That ain't him. That, that ain't Teron. No, that's not Teron. That's not Teron. Who is that? That's Nah. Nah, Hemi. What's up, bro? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I didn't really. The movie felt like a parody. Like I, I wasn't really feeling that at all. Too like. I was just, it was. Honestly, I, I, like, I'm going to be honest. When I play the Mortal Kombat games, I don't really give a fuck about the story. I just care about the gore, to be honest. Fatalities. And that's what the movie felt to me. Like, I didn't give a fuck about the story. I just wanted to see motherfuckers get their head chopped off. That was really just it. And the dude's power was literally plot armor, like you said. That shit was hilarious. But but being hilarious is entertaining. So what, y- y'all yeah. want to do Oh, not in a bad way. Not if you're laughing at them. I like. Oh, first of all, I like reptile as a fucking ninja, not a goddamn dinosaur. Just, just. Yeah. But go ahead. Man, go I ahead. Thought that reptile scene was nice, except for when she stabbed him in the leg and he just got up walking around like nothing ever. Yeah, happened. that shit didn't do nothing to him. It didn't even fucking phase him. That big ass knife didn't yeah. even fucking phase the nigga. But other than that, I thought the special effects with reptile and all that. I I thought that was nice. It was better than the original, but some things. This was better than the original. I thought Ugh. overall the movie was very entertaining for me. I give it a, a seven out of ten. 
which to me means it's a good movie. A low seven out of ten. I was laughing throughout it. Kano was fucking hilarious when he said that about he called Kun Lao's hat a sombrero and said he'd shove it up his ass and make him speak Spanish. I had a great time. Um, uh, there were parts where it, it, you know the whole movie was over the top. It was. Yeah. It was like exactly. He killed it. That's another thing. I'm tired of them fucking trying to enter. Just pick comedy when it ain't needed. This ain't MCU, man. We don't need no comedy all the time, dog. It's but not hold a fucking on. comedy. Go ahead. A, hold on. Let Brad, that, let Brad uh, finish. Okay. Let Brad finish. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, so to me, Mortal Kombat, what I liked about the movie was that it wasn't super serious. It was adult and it was dark, but it was kind of like the Deadpool kind of comedy where where uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the comedy hit, hit for me. And... Um, you gotta, you know, I don't think, I think there were definitely things that could have been improved. For one, you have to understand it was a mid budget film, you know. The budget for this was 55 million, according to Wikipedia. So, you know, they weren't gonna, they weren't gonna put a whole lot of crazy effects and stuff. What, what pissed me off was that they, they talk about the, the Mortal Kombat tournament, what everybody wants to see. And they don't include the tournament in the actual. Right. Movie. Yes. I noticed that too. That's yeah. what I was gonna say. Yup. And they they didn't have a fucking tournament. The original movie, they set up a tournament with ground rules. They introduced the fighters they, one by one. And, and we also we, we didn't we also didn't even see Shang Tsung being Shang Tsung. Like did he morph into anybody? Like did he do anything he a, a sorcerer would do? Oh yeah, yeah, that. yeah. He sucked one soul. Yeah, did he do anything a sorcerer oh. would do? Besides, like he didn't. I didn't see him morph into any fucking body. And then they. They wasn't trying to have a tournament. They were trying to skip it all together. That's why they was going out killing all of the champions or trying to kill all of, all of the champions. But See, and that's what I'm saying. I enjoyed that little twist. I enjoyed the twist about Cole, and I enjoyed the thing where they're going to just try to break the rules. Again, I thought Raiden looked weak. I don't like the way he talked. I could barely understand him. And then he looked, like, fragile, like they was just going to do whatever ignoring whatever he said but yeah i like them little plot to us man can can we expand upon that point real quick um in my opinion the only character that was well cast and that did a good job to me was kano do, do you like the the actors they cast for these roles no nah, i didn't well, like i didn't like sonya she was hot like sonya. i don't give a fuck what she looked like i didn't like sonya uh i mean i, I okay I, I guess the one thing you could say about sonya is that she didn't I'm glad they didn't get somebody that had like, um, like you know, that looked more like the character. She did look a little bit more like her, but I'm glad they didn't get like some small-breasted woman or some shit like that. So that was cool, but nah, I did show you like Luke Kang. Fuck no. I like Luke Kang. See, when I when you first saw him, I, I wasn't impressed because he he looked like a child or something. But, and I, I, I thought this is supposed to be Luke Cage. But you was happy when he took his shirt off, wouldn't you? No, I, 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 knew, I knew you were gonna say something like that. Like, you, you know, you know, I'm not talking about nothing gay. But when he took his shirt off, holy fuck, he was ripped. Holy shit, that is Luke Cage. Stop this! Stop this! Yo, that motherfucker was corny as hell, dog. Ain't he a midget? Like I'm good. Get your yeah, little ass out of here. <laughs> He's based on Bruce Lee. No, Eric. nigga. No, nigga. No. No. We're not even going to bring up Bruce muscles, Lee. Fuck the original muscles. Luke Kane was better. Yeah, the original Luke Kane definitely was a lot better. Definitely. Like so here's the thing, man. I'm noticing yeah. again. I'm noticing that. Yo, what up, Wonton? Who are looking hey, at the time. movie only. Who is that? Oh, Urban, Urban Combat. What up, Urban? What up? What up? What's good, bro? Go ahead. Go ahead, Cole. Oh, I was done. Just. Like some people are looking at the movie based on its own merit, and then a lot of y'all are looking at the movie comparing it to the other one and are disappointed. Well, that's the only Kamal basis of good. comparison we have. No, it's not. You we we know what a Mortal Kombat movie should look like, and this did not measure up ne like at all. And that's what a reboot is, sir. Yeah, but it should a reboot. Really, I, I a good reboot should be better than like if you're going well, to I'm reboot a franchise, that. you need I'm to be improving that, that. things. That is a good point, Just Fitz. I'm not arguing that. I'm just saying they there it is possible to look at what they offered without constantly comparing it to the previous offer. Right. Same thing with God of War. Like eight had an issue with the new God of War because he just kept comparing it to the last ones. And a lot of other people just played it based on what it you was. You don't even gotta compare this a to the of, last one. A lot of nostalgia in it. 
people people got a lot of nostalgia with the old shit, so they comparing it. But this you don't even have to though. Cole Young was useless, bum dog. Like, why is he here? Whose idea was that? We got all of these characters. Why couldn't they use one of them? Why the fuck they had to create Cole Young? They put Cole yeah, in, and Johnny wasn't in. There was a lot of people that wasn't <laughs> in. You know what I mean? I mean, we can go down the list. Stupid. And what what they made up something that you got to make a goddamn uh, a dragon mark to give you superpowers? Like, that shit corn. Yeah, that that whole shit was corn. That whole power, so you I got, got your I gotta powers beat, I gotta and all beat. that. Yeah, I gotta beat you with a tattoo on to get the tattoo. Fuck out of here. Okay, I I do want to defend the power thing real quick. I know it was corny. I totally that agree with you. Corny. But but I will say this: the original movie had problems integrating the powers. They didn't really know how to fucking do that and have it make sense for humans to throw fireballs. So this movie tried to get those characters to do their signature moves. They didn't execute it all that well, but at least they had them have their powers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Luke Cage did the bicycle kick. I ain't mad. That joint was trash. Didn't y'all like all the gore in this movie? <laughs> that's the only redeeming factor. Like, that's the only redeeming factor is that it had gore. When Kuhn out killed that flying thing. Uh, Sub Zero was official, though. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, hold on, y'all, real quick. Can everybody agree that, like, the first 10, 15, 20 minutes was fire? <laughs> yeah, that first seven yeah, minutes yeah, misled dying. me. <laughs> yeah, that, that first seven minutes definitely was not a representation of the rest of the movie, dog. It wasn't. That opening scene yeah. is not. That opening scene looked like it was made by two different people and it had two different budgets. The whole movie was cyberpunk. Oh, wow. <laughs> I will. I will give credit to Kano, though. I do think he did a good job with the Kano role. I mean, that might be yeah, one of the did. best renditions of Kano that I think I've ever seen. Yeah, he, he no. did. Uh, I like. I, I don't need a comedian. I need somebody that's ruthless. Well, Johnny wasn't like in the that. movie. Yeah, They've always had but comedy. But Who was going to take that King. role? Nah, I, I, mean, I, mean, I need Kano with a that's, metal plate on his face. Want, yeah, right? but that's what Kano do, though. He fucked with you. He talks shit. With you. I, don't need, I don't need no motherfucking scratches and shit. Get out of here with that bullshit. Nah, he good. Uh, well, that's not right. the actor's fault, though, you know. No, nah, I mean, eh, I'm good. So, hey, you guys don't like nothing about the movie after the opening. I like the gore. That's about it. I mean, the gore was you cool. Ain't, ain't, what you thought about Sub-Zero, bro? I mean, he throwing f snowballs and shit. So, it is what it is. Nah, he was making... No, he was, not, not just that. He was making the weapons out of... You know what I mean? That like, was cool. The game. That yeah, that's what cool. I'm saying. Like, that's why I said his shit was official. The other shit was whack. How did y'all like the fight scenes overall? Mm. I feel like it wasn't as too brutal, too quick. To they was killing off main people too fast. The ship was garbage. The the, the first article. fight scene, the first fight scene with uh, Scorpion and Sub Zero was good, and then the final Sub Zero fight scene was pretty good, and then the Kung Lao hat thing. I think those were the highlights. The rest of the fighting was. Mm. I would take the old movie. Yeah, yeah, I don't think get me started on on Kung Lao dying by Shang Tsung too early. That's way too early, bro. Yeah, That's but not even supposed to die. happen. They have to have. I wasn't even. <laughs> Should have been Cole Young. Yeah, and that final Word. fight. Uh, that <laughs> was like the best fight in the whole movie, though. Yo, I was pissed off. He he did the own. Um, I was he pissed did off the, when uh, Kung Lao. Man, that shit was. That pissed me off. Man. Man. Yo, Goro, why, why didn't Goro talk? They didn't give him a voice actor. He night. said he something. Talking. He said like two words. And I'm then he roared thing. for the rest of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Goro really got beat Goro by a dude. Goro got him. beat by a dude that can't fight. No, they but, made but him a he bitch. Got his, he got a special he power. Had plot armor. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, plot <laughs> armor, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck. What is special power? That's <laughs> Goro, <laughs> dog. That tattoo gave him plot armor. That's fucking <laughs> Goro, dog. That ain't no regular motherfucker, yeah, nigga. That's like Goro. Young was a, he, he, I don't. I don't understand. He had he had plot like, armor at the end. That nigga had plot armor and black air forces. <laughs> Can't beat that. I thought he was gonna be like, be like the new Scorpion or something like that. They made yeah, I thought that shit. too. Yeah, I kind of thought that too. I mean, at first I was like, yo, I was like, who the fuck is this dude? Because for some reason I thought it was gonna be Luke Kane at first. And I was, I like, thought maybe they'd make him Takeda. I thought. I don't know if you ever played oh, okay. MKX. Yeah, yeah. Is he the gay guy? Uh no, I think that's Kong Jin or something uh, okay. like that. Yeah, I know he's the dude, right? The new characters aren't memorable to me. 
Yeah, uh, man. Why put Cole in when you already had all these new characters, like, from that's the MKX that, shit? I mean, that's... So many characters you could have used. Who the fuck need... Who needed Cole? Who the fuck needed Cole Young? We didn't... He wasn't needed. If he Dude, was Ray a didn't even do anything though. in that damn movie? Huh? Raiden didn't do shit in that movie, right? No, he did absolutely nothing. Raiden was way more memorable in the original. Raiden and Shang Tsung from the original Mortal Kombat movie are iconic, and people still quote them and remember them 20, 30, 25 years later. No one's going to be quoting these new Raiden and Shang Tsung. No, Shang Tsung ain't even do Shang. He ain't even Shang Tsung. <laughs> Raiden was know. almost inconsequential to the plot. The movie almost could have proceeded forward without fucking Raiden in it at all. Yeah, I yeah, feel like that's that's how I feel about Cole Young. Like he wasn't needed at all. Uh, that's fair too. I don't give a fuck about your family and what the fuck. I don't give a fuck. I kind of want a girl to rip the fucking family apart. I was like, yes, this is what I came for. Man, they for, yeah, they Albert. they survived being deep frozen, so it's all good. <laughs> yeah. Yes, now y'all know ain't no little white girl going to be harmed in no movie. <laughs> <laughs> and do you guys like this whole retconning idea, how they're really trying to push Scorpion as a hero rather than sort of like an anti-hero villain, Shade of Grey character? I thought it was okay. Uh, I mean, yeah, because Scorpion isn't no fucking hero, right? Like that's not. No, he, he just wanted revenge against uh, Sub Zero for yeah, killing his all... clan, but he hated everyone and everything. Yeah, you know, yeah. he was just anger. Anybody that got in his way would definitely go down. Yep, would definitely. I go feel down. like the get over here was kind of weak, though. Oh, that was super weak. Yeah, that was like that. Was and like, he only was... did it. And he only did it one time. Yeah. And it's weird because he don't speak English, so he said that one part of English and it went back to Japanese. <laughs> oh man, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> that's why I sound maybe that's why I sounded so fucked up. You year. <laughs> fuck is you talking about? What you say? Yo, say yo, can you repeat yo. that? Yeah, I mean, can you repeat that for me? Yeah, that shit was I crazy. read an article that said that they actually had to cut back on the gore in this movie because it was going to get an NC-17. They can't do the same stuff that they can do in the video games, which is wild and over the top, the gore and the fatalities, because that's... Cool. But when it comes into a movie, they had to actually tone it down. They went as far as they could with it without getting NC-17. I hope there's an unrated version. I don't know. There probably won't be, but... For home video release. Oh yeah, like a director's cut or some shit like that. That might be fire. That might be fire. Yeah, that would be that would be hot if they did a director's cut. I doubt they will though. I'd be down for that. Oh yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Definitely need that director's cut. I saw cut. On, on Twitter that they wanted uh, Ryan Reynolds to be Johnny. They wanted. Well, Ryan after oh. this movie, he's <laughs> definitely turning that shit down. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they wanted Ryan Reynolds to be Johnny Cage? Yeah, some people are saying that on Twitter. Hmm. He'd be a good choice. I know The Make Miz. Sense. The Miz is making a push to be Johnny Cage. The Miz. I don't, he ain't y'all, no actor. If y'all watch wrestling. Well, shit, he's been acting on wrestling for a while now. Yeah, but not like. he. He's not He's not like John Cena or The Rock kind of, kind of actor. He, <laughs> there's no way Miz. I mean, I get it because of his persona and the, the character he plays, like the kind of Hollywood kind of smarmy guy. But uh, I, I, I wouldn't cast me as there's no Johnny Cage. No, nah, I wouldn't. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if he go in there and he auditioned, he does a good job. Maybe then you could do it. But nah. but he, he doesn't know martial arts. That's yeah, that's the, thing, that's, that's the thing I said, too. I was thinking about that, too. Like, hold on. This motherfucker don't even know no martial arts. Like he he performs as a as a as an athlete and everything, but that's what I liked about the movie. This movie that they cast martial artists over you know A list Academy Award winning actors. You know we want to see the fights, the fights, and the, that capability. And I thought the fights were pretty good in this movie. The, the there was an article that the director said that they were their goal was to put the best fight scenes on film to have some of the best fight scenes ever shot. I don't know if you saw that. Well, maybe that could be their goal for the second movie, if there ever is one, because they didn't reach it in this one. It, it, <laughs> it wasn't the worst fight scenes. There were, there's a lot of movies that had worse, you know, Suicide Squad or, or, or whatever. But, but, you know, this doesn't compare to the best of the best. You know, The Raid, if anyone's seen a lot, a lot of the, the Asian movies or Indonesian movies, that kind of stuff. 
they're not as good as Matrix or anything like that. But they were they were all right to me. They were all right. The fight scene. Yeah, I think the, uh, the that's why the first scene in the movie was so good because the choreography was really good. And, and the, the last rest one. of the yeah, the the choreography was like amazing in the first scene, and then the rest of the movie is just like a fucking slugfest. Like people who don't know how to fight and shit. Yes. So you guys, you guys seem to be prioritizing like you guys want martial artists. Like for me, I think you need to hammer out like good actors first. And then even if you have to use stunt doubles and shit for all the fighting, that won't bother me so long as the acting is good. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, you still need you still need the, the, the fight scenes to work. Like that's important. Yeah, it is. But the movie also has to be good. <laughs> I mean, it is a it is a, a movie based on a video game. So yeah, like nobody's really watching that Mortal Kombat movie for the story. Like, we already know how far that goes. Beat up. It's the same story we already done know we already known and already done seen so many. times. It's similar, but they retconned a lot of details. Yeah, it's not going to yeah, be the you one know what to, to one. expect. Yeah. Well, In my uh, I mean, at the end of the day, it's got the same plot. Like, yo, you know. um... Tenth, it's, the, it's it's about to be the tenth tournament. We need to win this. We won nine in a row. We need to win this last one to take over yeah. Earth. It's like that same plot. Yeah, but what's crazy is they could have had the tournament in this movie. It was only an hour. And Somebody in the car sound like a. Somebody tournament. definitely in the car and shit. Yeah, but go ahead. What you were saying, um, Brad? They could have fit the tournament in this movie. They could have made a two-hour and 25-minute movie. Nobody would have complained about that. And they could have had that part. At, towards the end of the movie, it felt so rushed. Like, what was the big hurry? They were trying WB to... WB don't like long movies, man. Yeah, but... They, uh, I understand what you're saying. I have family, and I, kind of, I show them a movie that's like two hours and 20 minutes. They're like, yeah, that's too long. I'm not like that. I think and, of a movie good, the time don't really matter. Because it doesn't feel yeah. like two hours and a half. Like, if you're watching a good movie, it doesn't feel that long. You're into the movie. You're not worrying about what time it is or how long it's been. You're not yeah. sitting there like, this movie been two hours. When is it going to be over? Nah, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, you could have a boring hour and a half movie that seems like it takes forever. Oh, yeah. wow. Yo, they got... I found another video of them exploring that prison I was at... I, and this is this is even more detailed. This one is even better. Yeah, I'm, I might react to this, bro. That place looks beautiful. I might have to react to this shit. I thought you were on some hard times, man. That shit looks like Hogwarts. Man, it don't so, matter what the fuck the building looked like, motherfucker. <laughs> it's the did, people you, you in there with. It's the shit you got to deal with. I know, I know. But from the outside, man, it, it looks, looks like you didn't go to prison. It looks like you went I just put it in the chat. I just put it in the chat. This one is even different, yo. This is, uh, they even show B-Block that I was talking about on, um, <laughs> on Life Behind Bars where I told y'all that shit was like a big-ass barn and oh, shit. Oh, this one's longer. Yeah, this, and it's a part one, too. And it's a part one. I think I might have to do a reaction to this. This is crazy. Yeah, you definitely should. This is crazy. I can't believe I was in this place. All right, go ahead. My bad. What you were saying, Brad? Oh shit! I was I, I was just roasting. I was just playing around. I was gonna say how. Let me ask y'all this: Are y'all <laughs> are y'all gonna watch Mortal Kombat again? I would watch it again. Nah. In my, my opinion, this is the greatest video game movie I've ever seen. It's the, not a great movie, but it's it's the best video game movie. The I've best seen. video I, game movie. Hmm. Let me see. Uh. Way uh, better than Monster Hunter. Well, yeah, of course. Yeah, no, Monster Hunter was garbage. Shit. Yeah, Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter was trash. I Monster thought Hunter Sonic was, was cool. Sonic wasn't bad. Sonic wasn't bad. I didn't see oh, yeah. the new Tomb Raider. I didn't see Warcraft. I didn't see any of the Hitman movies. You you said you didn't yeah. see Tomb Raider? I saw the old ones, not the new one. I saw the Angelina Jolie Tomb Raiders. Oh, okay. Yeah, the new one is trash, so it don't even matter. Yeah, um, I think with the Mortal Kombat movie, they kind of played it safe, just, you know, so they don't piss too many people off. And that's why it's kind of like a paint-by-numbers movie, but they could take all this 
this criticism that we're giving them and use that for the sequel. So the sequel might be better. I'm definitely going to watch it. I don't know if they played it that safe. Clearly, they pissed a bunch of people off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of people ain't happy about this, especially like more, real Mortal Kombat fans that actually play the game and understand the lore and all that. They're not really happy with this. Not people like Code. He don't know nothing about Mortal Kombat. But... Wow. Um, so it's a great, it's a great movie. If you don't know nothing about Mortal Kombat, you might be like, "Oh, this is great," but nah, dog, that joint is not. It's not that. It's a disappointment. It's definitely a, the only redeeming factor is the gore. To me, that's the only redeeming factor. And that first seven minutes was amazing. That was great. Or the first twenty minutes was fucking great. But after that, that shit became a, a sleep fest. Uh, hold on, let me get to these super chat. Shout out to NV Dub. He said the Mortal Kombat movie was I. Right. I still say the original one from 1995 was better. No cap. Do anybody feel like the 95 movie was better? It does some things better, mm. but overall, absolutely not even close. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I feel like we got a lot of nostalgia for that one because we kind of grew up with it. I but could watch I it today. I watched it recently, and I don't know if I could say that's... It's the only thing that's funny. missing is the gore, though. Like, the fighting was better. Come on. That yep. that Johnny Cage and Luke Kane, I mean, and Scorpion fight was much better than anything on this new movie. True, true, true. And that uh, uh, Reptile and Luke Kang Reptile, fight. Reptile, yeah. Even the Luke Kang and Sub Zero, they were all good. Man, that part when he fucking... When, yo, when Reptile first come in and they say his name, dog, like, yo... Oh, the come music! Oh, the way the, the, way the music, music come on, it be like yeah. reptile. Yo, yeah, but what about that shit was fine. and that black nigga? I don't know his name. What's that black nigga's name? Jax. That was on there. Steve what Harvey? about that fight? Jax. That on which bad. one? The ninety-five one. Yeah, in ninety-five. It was this black dude that go around. Yeah, I know. I know. Before he fought. Yeah, yeah, that wasn't that, Jax. That, that, that was just no, that some wasn't random Jax. guy. That was just some random um, dude. Yeah. But yeah, he was meant to be just like a throwaway character for Goro to kill. Uh, yeah, and, and they much. introduced Goro properly through him. Like, he was whooping ass in this ring. No one could fucking stand up against him. And Johnny had to run away and find some trick to trick beat Goro. Yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> but this dude, Cole Young, was able to fucking destroy him. So, the fuck out of here. Yeah, but he had the power of a golden t-shirt. So that makes and he had his fucking... wife help him out with the knife. Man, sh yo, shout out to Viewmaster six seventeen. Appreciate you. Also, we got Black Metal Gamer. He said, as a video game movie for action gore, it was cool. But the video game movie shit, the bar is so fucking low. Like, yeah. is, is that saying a lot? Like, the bar is low as fuck, yo. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know about that, man. Shout out to um, where am I at? Shout out to Hood Out sixteen. He said Melina was looking thick. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Shout out to the Stranded Ninja, uh, Stranded Ninja Gaming. He said the movie was weak. Only redeeming factor was the fact that it segues into the tournament. As for Cold Dude was drawn, he made no sense whatsoever. Fucking useless. Shout out to Viewmaster six seventeen for the super chats. I appreciate you. Uh, we got one from Melon Matt. He said originally, originally I gave it an eight out of ten. At the second watch, more like a five out of six, a five or six out of ten. Outworld looked boring as fuck. No tournament and Goro dead already. Ninety five MK still the best movie. Mmm. Shout out to Dark Kent. He said Mortal Kombat was gutter trash. Melina is a clone of Katana, so how the fuck is she there? But Katana isn't. Kung Lao's fatality is best part of the movie. Yeah, that joint was nice. That was real nice. Shout out to Torrance Ingram. He said, Hateful Eight, the movie wasn't bad. It was mid, though. Yeah. Shout out to Viewmaster. Yeah. Appreciate you, player. Uh, shout out to Tronogy. He said, that Cole character literally had on plot armor. Laughing my ass off. <laughs> Yo, somebody in the car? Like, what the fuck you at the raceway? Like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Ktap15. He said they should have taken the material from MK9 and MK11 and made a trilogy. The game references was cringe. Lore was all messed up. Wasted potential. Shaking my head. All right. And then we got Torrance Ingram. He said Luke Kane did look fruity. They could have CGI and a they could have CGI and a better fatality for Jax. And who was the main character in his power? Cole Young, uh, plot armor was his power. That's all I can think of. I don't know what the fuck he was doing. 
I like Jax's fatality when he smashed that dude's head in. That was nice. That yeah, was cool. that was cool. That was cool. That was cool. Shout out to McLovin, your mom. She said, am I the only one that think Liu Kang should have done a flying kick to save Kung Lao? Yeah, they just yeah, they stood by. Should. They just stood by and watched this shit happen and shit. Like nobody yeah. did. He could have <laughs> threw that fireball that he's like throwing. They ain't do shit. He's always dying, bro. They ain't try. Do shit. Shout out to Up Chuck Gaming. He said, "Jacks punching that bag with them little arms had me weak, laughing my ass off." Yo, at first I was like, <laughs> "What the fuck is going on with Jack's arms, dog?" Yeah. Like that shit was horrible. But of course, I saw those arms, and then Kano says, "Hey, brother, did they make those in a men's size?" <laughs> I was like, <laughs> "Okay, so the movie knows they suck. I'm glad they know." Yeah, I, I was glad they transformed into something a little bit more respectable, man. Shout out to Torrance Ingram. He said, I wanted a good Mortal Kombat movie, so I was anxious on the first watch, overrating it. Second watch, I was like, this ain't that. But it was uh, I right, though. All right. Then y'all already watched it twice, huh? Shout out to Torrance Ingram. This man, eight, said he was throwing snowballs, laughing my ass off. <laughs> I mean, I don't know the fuck he was doing. That shit was stupid, dog. Shout out to Tony Esquire. I enjoy searching for graphics cards and PS5 at retail over that trash ass Mortal Kombat movie. The Sci Fi Network would keep Sharknado over this. Damn. Shout out to Ashton Luca. She said, having Cole be the one to do most of the damage to Sub Zero while Scorpion was chilling and Ice was sickening. Cole Young was trash. <laughs> yeah. Super trash. Um. Shout out to Akil Light Lutz. He said, uh, how they make a Mortal Kombat movie and not get to the tournament? Ran out of money, dog. Ran out of money. <laughs> Shout out to Jake Rand. He said, Brad still can't afford a good mic. What an idiot. Damn. I'm speaking into my iPad speaker right now. Damn, that's not a good mic, sir. That's the point. That hey, man, well, sh- if you want to buy me one, I'll use it. Oh, all right. He said, he up. He, yeah. Who was that? <laughs> that was man? Jake. Jake Rand. Jake Rand? Yeah. Well, I got a new name for you. Quasimodo. All right. Shout out, shout out to King J. He said, I enjoyed the movie overall. I just hope they cast John Cena or Tom Cruise as Johnny Cage. I don't know if they budget can afford that, man. Shout out to Jake Tom. Rand. <laughs> shout out to Jake Rand. He said, Jess Fitz is the only caller with a good mic. LOL. Damn. Shout out to Decepticons forever. This wasn't Mortal Kombat. It was Tattoo Assassins. <laughs> Shout out to McLovin' Your Moms. How the fuck Sub-Zero lives so long? <laughs> I mean, shit, the motherfucker could create ice out of fucking thin air, so him living for centuries, I guess, isn't too far-fetched, right? But I didn't know they didn't grow old. I, I didn't know he can live that long, actually. I wasn't under that impression that he can live for centuries and shit, but... It is what it is. And he lived for centuries, like centuries. Shout out to King J. He said, although I think Sung Shung looks like a drag queen and they made reptile an animal, not a ninja. Mm. <laughs> Sung Shung sung like a drag queen with them black eyeballs and shit. The fuck Did they even here. mention Shao Kahn at all? Nah, it was like a statue of him. I don't think they him. even mentioned him. Yeah, that's crazy. It was a statue of him. That's about they, it. Yeah, they should. They showed him in one of them paintings. Right. Shout out Uh-oh. to Andre Garcia. I hope they bring Noob Sabot in part two. Yeah, I don't think they mentioned Shao Kahn. I, I kind of fell asleep a couple times, so I could have missed it. But. I thought Noob was going to show up because they kept showing this black smoke. Did you think that? Yeah, I actually thought they were going to turn him into Noob in the sequel. Maybe they still will. Probably. Shout out to Tony Esquire. I had more fun watching kids smooth cheat in gaming challenges than Mortal Kombat. Tyler Perry would give this one out of five stars, and all his movies suck. <laughs> Shout out to EXP. Johnny Cage needs to be black because slavery. What the fuck? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Philly the Weapon. Kano called him Kung Pao, though. Yeah, Kano was the comic relief. Shout out to Cuddy Crazy. said, did they imply that Luke Kane and Kung Lao were gay? Luke Kane said they were supposed to die together. Man, oh I man, I don't know about that. You must be looking for that. Shout out to Liu Kang has a romance with uh, Katana. Uh, hopefully they don't change that. But no, that's probably with a man now. Shout out to Gorilla Madness. 
Scorpion's Revenge is the best MK movie. Yeah, I seen. I got that. I got that movie on 4K. Um, yeah, inside. I have a question. Do you guys think that uh, including the recent games and this movie, everything in in like together, when when you consider MK as a whole recently, do you think the story writing has been in decline since nine? I didn't think the story in nine was anything groundbreaking or revolutionary to begin with. It was no, but they, they retold the originals and shit with a different yeah. twist. But like, Look, do you no think the other game stories have been even like any good? I don't think they're any good because I don't think that most video game stories hold a candle to the stories of movies, TV or books. Well, There's I don't a, know about yeah, that. I don't but. know about that either. There's I don't a know couple about that one. Video game stories that are really good, but the majority of them are 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 just nothing if they if you took listen here's here's the truth all right if you took last of us's video game story and made it into a movie it wouldn't get all the acclaim that it did because it was a video game and it was it was it, it was groundbreaking for being a video game and um, and other games have come oh. out and emulated that style where they meld the gameplay and the storytelling together but for a, a, as if we look at it objectively Books, movies, and television shows have far superior storytelling than the majority of video games. The majority of video games? I I get what you're saying, and I don't disagree. I just think video gaming is a very unique format, and there's certain challenges that developers have to overcome to really integrate a story with gameplay that is not present in books or movies. Like, with a book or the movie, the director can really you know, take you on a ride and show you what they want to show you. And they don't have to worry as much about pacing. When it comes to games, there are some unique challenges that you, not every developer has really figured out. Uh, interesting. The, the primary objective of most video games isn't to tell a story. And you, you know that because there's many video games where they create the gameplay and they come up with a with a uh, an idea for gameplay first. We're going to make a shooter. It's going to be sci-fi. And then they build levels and they build the gameplay elements and, the, and the, the gunplay and everything. And then they have writers come in and write a story around the gameplay code. Every, I'm, what I'm saying is, you know, if, I'm, if it's not true, you know, tell me. I know you know a little bit more about it making games apparently although what games have you really worked on uh it's about code uh, yeah optimus code yeah i heard him <laughs> <laughs> hello I mean, so you know what is it a what is it a real <laughs> question in there <laughs> Uh, uh, code, I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, I know, I don't, I don't have any experience in game making. Apparently, you do. So if I'm, if what I'm saying, if you don't agree with it, by all means, uh, speak up, uh, correct me. If I have something to say, I will say it on my own, sir. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, but listen, what, what I'm saying is, the, the, the way that stories for video games, from what I understand, from what I've read, and is that the story many times is, is created just as an excuse to get from one place to the other. All right, we're going to have a big uh, uh, gameplay, some shootout in, in a church, and then we want to take it here and take it there and take it there. Look, this is I'm not I'm not talking down on the games industry. I've been a gamer for, for 20 years. I love video games, but the when you're talking about good storytelling and good stories, Movies and books and video games is where you want to go to, the top of the top. Some video games have very good stories, Last of Us, and some video games like the Telltale or interactive dramas, David Cage, their whole point is the story and having you be able to make choices and, and determine what happens and do dialogue and stuff like that. But they're not really even video games in a sense because they're more like interactive games. You know, the well, what's your point, Brad? Like... Tie the whole thing together. What are you saying? Well, someone brought something up. There's a reason I said this. I can't tell you what it is, but but something about um, no. The guy asked, "How do you think that the storytelling has 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 um, gotten worse over time from games, from the games and the movies altogether?" That's what it was. And then I was just simply saying, I never thought that the Mortal Kombat games had good stories to begin with, in my opinion. Hmm. That was a whole lot just to see that. 
I, I'm, uh, dude, I wasn't really saying that, like, I wasn't going to make this a general, like, broad video game discussion. I was just talking about MK in particular. All right, well, the short version is no. I what think with all the all the stuff with the revenants, <laughs> like having zombie bad guy versions of the same hero characters, I don't know. I felt all this nonsense cheap into Mortal Kombat. Look, more I'm, I'm playing Mortal Kombat 11 now. I got it for my for my birthday, and you know, people that die don't even really stay dead. They come back as zombies. You know, it's just something to get through the gameplay and the fighting. That's the main point. The story is never ever been the main point well if you're just making a story to get through it then like why even do the story to begin with like you if you're gonna do it do it right and i think they've kind of been in decline and i'm not sure nrs really knows where to go with mortal Kombat. if i'm being honest i i, I, I know if you, that. If you, um the aftermath dlc was actually really yeah good. the aftermath yeah it reset the timeline I actually yeah. skipped Aftermath. I usually, like, I put fifty over 1,500 hours into MKX and 600 in uh, Injustice. So, oh. like, I play NRS games. Same. I actually skipped Aftermath because, like, their stories just really haven't been engaging me. It's all about the multiplayer anyway. Yeah, Story, I, would, I, would I think, is pretty nice. Um, Toigara, the dude that plays Shang Tsung, his, he, he definitely carries the Aftermath DLC. All right, who we got in here? We got Hezen in here. What up? What's good? What's good? We got Fantasy. Oh, fantasy Lord. in here? No, we, no Fantasy. Coach, shut your ass up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was me. That was me. <laughs> oh, that's Fantasy. <laughs> fantasy in here? All right. All right. Fantasy. Whoa, whoa. Pause. What? We got EK in here. What up? <laughs> Yo, what's up? What's good? What y'all got for us? First off, that Mortal Kombat was ass. I don't know if anybody was in there capping for Yo. it, but no, nah, don't, do don't do it. Mortal Kombat movie, it was it was mid, but I just wish it was a scorpion. I wish it was a scorpion. Not a scorpion. I ain't hear you. Say that again. Go ahead. Say that again. That was you mid. Oh, I thought it was mid. Oh, okay. Like, not a scorpion. Not a scorpion. That's really it. Man, that Sonya vs. Kano fight got to be one of the worst fights in cinema history, dog. That's <laughs> terrible. That's absolutely atrocious. Yo, it wasn't that bad. It was not that bad. It was, uh -huh. it was okay. Like, it was okay. It was okay. <laughs> It was this nigga okay. had the power. He's body slamming this bitch back and forth. She getting up, punching uh, this nigga with hangers and shit. I'm like, all right, bro. I'm all right. <laughs> oh, the funny God. thing is that 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 fight is actually better than the night the Kano and Sonya fight in the '95 movie. The '95 movie, yeah. yeah. Just and y'all know I just... you can't listen to heads about no fight scenes. He still think calm. <laughs> he still think calm. First, first, first of all, hey, call call <laughs> Paul whooping that boy's ass. Call you just take take that out. Oh my God. <laughs> Go see in the sequel. <laughs> yeah, but I, I agree that the the Mortal Kombat movie was mid. It's a shame too, because I, I really did ha have high hopes for this movie, but this joint was super mid. Even from the trailer, I could tell it was gonna be mid. It was gonna be like really mediocre. Like the production oh, oh, value. Wait, 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 ho, ho, ho. So mid and mediocre, those are not the same thing. Mid means mid doesn't mean that it was bad. Mean mid just means it was like middle of the line, like average. No, so that's, yeah, that's what was, mediocre means, that's right? That's mediocre yeah. means. <laughs> no, mediocre means it was poor, terrible, beneath the what? That is no, not my no, understanding. No, no, that's <laughs> not no, that's not mediocre, dog. Google mediocre. Bro. Mid mid is mediocre. Like it was mediocre. Yeah, mid, Google mediocre. it. Google oh, it. Oh. I'm Googling it right now, dude. Man, we know what mediocre mean, man. That means like it don't mean poor, trash, or anything like that. It just mean like it wasn't that great. Oh. Yo, code, mediocre. Um, oh, he said. Oh, it said of only moderate quality, not very good. Yeah, that's yeah, what it meant. That's what we mean. Yeah, yeah no, cold but mid shit, means man. average. Mid means it was like middle of the line, not great, not bad, just average. <laughs> Mediocre yeah. means it was less than average. Cold. I to me, they're <laughs> synonyms. I mean, listen, man. Come on, man. This nigga wow. worse with all of a sudden. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, all of a sudden. I don't oh even like God. this. <laughs> 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 using these words interchangeably, and now Just Fizz gonna say what well, they mean the same thing to me. I know. I just I did nothing. Oh, we know what the fuck mid mean. Like it's mid. 
Good. Mid means average. <laughs> uh, <okay>. Maybe maybe <laughs> mediocre has like a negative connotation, but mediocre to me has always meant average. Maybe your time average. <laughs> <laughs> the man just oh, read yeah. y'all the definition, and y'all still gonna say that now. now no, he didn't. I mean, that's what he. No, what was the definition, dog? It was it, it literally said um, only moderate quality, not very good. Yeah, not very. That's me. It's not very good. Yeah, it ain't if too you replace bad, like, that, okay, yeah. average and not very good are not the same things. Huh? I mean, uh, I mean, uh, average. Uh, I mean, right. y'all use it the way y'all want to. Y'all just confusing me. Do you understand uh, what the fuck? You, so you don't understand what we were saying then? That's what you telling me. I don't know me. if y'all saying the movie was below average or average. Nigga, we said it ain't good, nigga. You understand that? <laughs> <laughs> like, God damn. Do you understand that? Shit. Um, you need to have a definite fucking, like, it has to be specific. Like, man, yo, we. Yeah, y'all can't be confusing me with this shit, man. I'm like, oh, cool. All right, all right. Let's get off his back. But look, I think the movie was entertaining. It, I don't necessarily think it was a great uh-huh. movie. No, the movie was boring as shit. You know? at, at the <laughs> middle, the middle parts were boring as hell. It was me, the wife, and both kids, and the whole family was entertained watching the movie. I don't know what. To tell. Your wife, first of all, your wife. And how old is them kids? How old is them kids? Uh, thirteen and fifteen. They don't know a damn thing about no Mortal Kombat. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean, about Mortal Kombat. they don't know nothing about no Mortal Kombat. Yeah, Cole, in this house, I guarantee you, they know about Mortal Man, Kombat. Man, they don't know. Nah, I guarantee they don't. Go get them. I, I want to ask them some questions. Hey, I bet they won't yo, be able to answer. Hey, hey, yo, hey, real quick, what's, what's your thoughts on Cabal? Like Cabal in the film? I thought he was one of the best parts of the film. Too. I thought Cabal, Cabal was, I think he was cool. Cabal. Yeah, I just don't like how he died because I love Cabal. He's my second favorite character. How did he even die? I fell asleep. How did he die? He got burnt alive by Luke Kang. It was like a fatality. Oh, yeah, the dragon, the dragon, the dragon. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Right, right, right. Yeah, that dragon was terrible. Do you guys... (laughs) But do you guys think it was weird that uh, Cabal didn't really have an intro or, like, um, uh, uh, an origin story? I mean, he showed up before. Like, Cabal showed up before a lot of other people. Like, he should (laughs) have... Like, come on, man. Like, Cabal just came out of nowhere. He he had an origin story. (laughs) Not yeah, he, had an have story. he was a cop. He was a cop and stuff, and he worked for the Black Dragon and all that backstory. He was a good guy. He was a good guy. That's what I loved about it. He was a good guy in MK9. And then he became a villain, and it was like, oh, come on. They, I mean, they just know what the, the fuck they want to do. In, in the movie, they allude, they allude to the fact that he used to be part of the Black Dragon. That's why he was yeah. the one that goes and talks to Kano. They just don't know what the fuck he yeah, wanted to do. But he, he hated Kano. He hated Kano. They were working together after what he did. Oh, to yeah, him. Well, over one little way to the conversation. Hey, uh, it's like, it's like, hold on. Let uh, me catch up on these super chats, man. Shout out to Hezen for the super chat. Appreciate it. Shout out to right, Just bro. Fitz. He said, I thought all the nonsense with the multiple timelines and uh, revenants and the newer MKs was whack. They're getting a little too crazy with it. All right. This is a shame when Just Fitz is called in and still have to do a super chat so he can speak because Hezen won't shut his ass up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut your oh, ass up. Nah. You amnesia heaven, motherfucker. What are you talking Damn. about? I got a super chat anyway. All right, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Shout out to Ash and Luca. She said mid Look and up. mediocre are the same thing. Code always doing this. Word Smith ass nigga. <laughs> all, all love, Code. Hey, take it back, man. Take a 30 minute nap, Yo, he try, try, yo, Code be trying to derail, man. He be wanting to argue for 30 minutes on some simple that shit. That is not true. I said <laughs> like, is it? Like, you will argue it. about is it tomato or tomato? Like, this is the type of shit you would argue yeah. about. That well, hey, not- at least you don't have one of those podcasts where everyone agrees, though, right? Oh, shit. Shout out to hey, Kinge. Yeah. He Damn, said me- mediocre is gone, but Cole's new power uh, does not exist. All right. So, all right. We're going we to move on from Mortal Kombat. I think we got everybody. Please. Hold on. Please, I think please. JR. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and bounce off. I just want to jump. All right. Who that, who that bouncing off? Who that bouncing? Fantasy. Fantasy. All right. Peace, man. Thanks for calling hey, in. Hey, change your name before you come back, sir. <laughs> Thanks for calling in, player. All right, let me get um, let me get Harvey in this joint. 
Yeah, get Jay in here. And you know not to bring Hezen in on no fighting oh, type. Oh, here it is. Hey, that's not Jay. So, I mean, you, told, you told me to kick you told me to kick Jay out. I mean, you told me to kick Hezen out last week. I know. Right? Yeah, I'm thinking that shit real. This nigga like cold, yo. I'm thinking that shit real, man. <laughs> Try to get me canceled and shit. <laughs> For real, though. I got it there. <laughs> Tried to get him the fuck out of here. You know, I got to say it's funny that Jay and Bat come in at the same time. Are these two a package deal? <laughs> <laughs> These two are always on each other. What up? What up, Jay? Um, What's up, Jay? Yeah, hey, you hear me? Yeah, I hear yeah, you. Yeah, we hear you. What's good? I was talking on. I was wanted to speak on that uh, Mortal Kombat, but y'all switching gears. Go ahead, okay, talk, nigga, talk. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, no, why are you sounding all soft and shit? Speak up, nigga. What the fuck going on? This nigga sound like he just got a whooping. I know. This nigga sound like he just like, what the no, fuck? Like, no, nah, I was fucking with you. <laughs> 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 and first off, first off, first off, so anyway, like I was saying, was the, the, the Mortal Kombat giant, I fell asleep six times. <laughs> Damn. Movie. That joint was pure ass, pure <laughs> ass. And but but anyway, I got something to say. Something about eight though. First off, you was complaining about. You said uh, you don't like it when the villains are, are too 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 like like too much comedy with them behind, like with uh Kano, right? I said I, no, the movie period. I don't need all that comedic shit in the in the. Movie. What the fuck you like Avengers movies for? Because all that shit is a whole bunch of laughing and shit. Well, I don't. All they I do didn't... Is... But the, first of all, the Avengers is PG thir- what PG PG thirteen yeah, shit like that. So I don't expect I mean, it to be ultra dark, nigga. Like there's a difference. This is a rated R movie. But isn't Dark Knight fucking PG thirteen? Yeah, yeah, it is. But like I said, Dark Knight is PG thirteen. But what I got with Dark Knight, like I got different expectations according to the ratings. So if I go into a PG-13 movie and it's a lighthearted, jokey joke, I can understand that. It's PG-13. Now, if I get something else, that's great. But, you know, it depends on the rating, dog. This is rated R, bloody, gory. This is serious. People dying and shit like that. So I expect <laughs> shit to be like It's serious. not really that serious. I mean, know, it's supposed to be. Like sc- outside Scorpion's family. I mean, the fucking, the fucking world is at stake. You know what I mean? It's supposed to be. You know what I mean? It's just. I mean, uh, Mortal Kombat's <laughs> always had comedy, though. I mean, Johnny Cage has always been What's comedy. And look at the original. Well, that's like, Johnny Luke Cage, Cage though. That's Johnny jokes. Cage. That's Johnny Cage. Yeah. That's Johnny Cage. I mean, Luke, but, I mean. With Avengers. With but Kano was like that. A little bit. He, like he was that. overdoing like that. it. Every time he spoke yeah, up, it had to really. be some one liner. Like, every time he fucking opened his mouth. <laughs> MK11 was cracking mad jokes. MK11 was cracking mad jokes. You know story. what I'm saying? So, you know. Kano was the heart of the movie for and real. Anything else, Jay, uh, Jay Harvey, you got? Like, what's I'm up? I'm saying, with Avengers, with Avengers, I mean, the, that's, the world that's is the, Avengers ain't a Mortal Kombat, nigga. Like, it's Avengers. They chopped that nigga head off on the last movie. Man, come on, man. It wasn't an ounce of blood, I mean, dog. Not, I, mean, not, not, I mean, to be fair with Avengers, they be doing all that joking. Shit, when ain't shit going on? When shit gets serious, uh, ain't no jokes. Yeah, they do. 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 What's your, what point are you trying to make? You talking about a PG thirteen fun comic book movie versus fucking Mortal Kombat? All I, no, <laughs> it's not a fun comic book, but it's still it it's, is. It's a fun it's family the, the world, comic book the movie. World, is the world not at stake? And it's a fun family comic book movie, sir. Yep, yep. So is Dark Knight. Dog, what the fuck? They got to do with Mortal Kombat. <laughs> But I'm saying you but you use it you can't you can't use you can still use the ones interchangeable though. That's what I'm saying. Even though it's a fa- even though if it's Mortal Kombat, you can still you can still have some type of fun into it. You Dog, can still put comedy What is into your it. point? Because you complained about it having comedy in it. That's what I, I that said. Too point. much. Every time he opened his mouth, it was some comedy shit. It's too much. But he's The nigga got stabbed too. in the leg with a big ass Rambo blade and but didn't do it. shit but make jokes. But that's the whole. But that's his character. Though. No, man, I don't give a fuck who you are. He don't care about, he don't he don't care about, about that. that. Nigga, nigga, Goro got hit with an axe. That nigga ain't find that shit funny. 
But that's not oh, his character. That nigga was like, ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, oh, no, no, no. The oh, point oh, is. Oh, 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 nah, the point is this big motherfucker reacted to it. He was like, ooh. Like, that shit hurt, nigga. What are you talking he about? Kano was too, too. He did. Man, he Kano was like, ah. Oh. Oh. He like, he like Ace hey, Ventura he, off when Nature Calls. He like Ace Ventura. Nah, nah, nah. He like Ace Ventura off Nature Calls and shit. When that nigga got hit in the knees with them fucking arrows. Ah. Ah. Hey, let me ask you this. Uh, do you think the problem isn't necessarily that they, they had humor in it or too many jokes? Is it that maybe they didn't balance that with enough serious shit? I mean, it's a time and place for everything. Everything ain't got to be a joke. This nigga just got stabbed with a big-ass 13-inch blade, nigga. Like, I don't know what you going to do, growl and growl. Nigga, he didn't, even, he didn't react to it at all. What are you talking about? <laughs> He did though, man. Dog, there was serious. no oh, fucking. You, know you can't talk about no fights. <laughs> hey, <laughs> coach, Chuck, yo, go ahead and take a nap for me real quick. An hour and a half. Get your hands me. Hey, this nigga, why you watch that? You watch that shit in 480p. You ain't see that nigga make no facial expression. I know you do. Shit, though. You have to be doing shit, don't you? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. y'all, motherfuckers buy bullshit. Hey, game, you watch that shit. You watch, you watch the. <laughs> hey, the version you seen had Japanese letters at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> Still an ass motherfucker. <laughs> All right, we moving on, man. We moving on, man, because we got to talk about the big news of the week. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Xbox man. still dropping bombs out here, man. You know what I mean? And what they do, they boosting right over new games. <laughs> <laughs> so if you didn't know, about 15 EA titles or something like that got a uh, got the FPS boost. And Xbox are losing their mind. They're going crazy. They're talking about how many 120 frame games are on Xbox compared to oh, the man. PlayStation. But what they ain't telling you is that these games range from 720p. Yes, 720p. So you get on Battlefield 4, you want to play 120, 720p. The shit look disgusting. It's nasty. It's nasty in 2021. 720p, 900p, and even 1080p. Nasty. But what they're not telling you is most of these games are between 720p and fucking 900p to get 120 frames per second. So while, yes, you got some high frames, it's the, the, the fucking image is disgusting. You know hey, what I'm saying? Can I, can I just say, though, like, yes. I... I, I I'm not going to bitch about more options. I think more like I think Sony should do this. Like if you don't want to play at 720p or 900p, good on you. The game may look disgusting. You don't want to do that. But if you're somebody who does not give a fuck, hey, more options is never a bad thing. I think Sony should try. Who to doesn't give a fuck though? The games running there. So y'all pay y'all. Hold on. So so y'all yeah. spend all this money on these high end TVs and all that <laughs> shit just for fucking 720p, my nigga. Like you good with that? No, you have the 4K option. No one's taking that away. What's the problem? I don't see it. PC don't have has the option. The, no, the problem. The problem. The problem is when you try to use it as bragging rights. Like, get some new fucking. Oh well, games. yeah, yeah. All right, all right. But yeah, yeah, okay. Good money. Just because it's an option, don't mean get some new games. You could damage the brand. <laughs> I, I mean, no, no. I mean, the options are cool. Nah. Options are cool. Options are cool. But I'm, I'm not. Listen, if I got to play at 720p to get 120 frames, you can keep that shit. Go keep, keep it. I don't want it. And and well, most oh, console oh, 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 here's the problem. You cannot advertise world's most powerful console 4K uncompromised came straight from Phil and then try to have as an option a bunch of 720p games. Really yeah, you can. Of course can. you can. Well, if as long as you you're holding up to your word that the 4K shit works as you say Did it you does, hear? then the option to do the All other right, thing so is okay. Do this again. I'm, I guess we're gonna have to get the dictionary. Okay, to we'll be fair. They, they did say 4K <laughs> Did you hear the man say uncompromised 4K? Uh, well, I mean, what, what, where are you going Why with this? So what, what's uncompromised? <laughs> <laughs> because if you are preaching uncompromised 4K, you said as long as you have the option to do 4K, he didn't say 4K was a fucking option. He said uncompromised 4K, world's most powerful. Define uncompromised. Does uncompromised mean 120 frames? Uncompromised mm. means that you're going to get everything we have 
and 4K at the same time, where you're not going to have to choose this for that. That's what a compromise is, sir. If I say you give me this and then I take some of that, some of this, some of that, we trading back and forth because we can't have the whole thing. Uncompromised yeah. means you get the whole thing. Uncompromised yeah, as a message means you never have to compromise with resolution okay well why not have them run at 240 like uncompromised could mean 240 <laughs> frames or, or 500 frames oh, like what the what compromise is, means multiple things to anybody no, like you know. compromise frame rates sir and here you go with this again the words mean different shit to everybody <laughs> is very clear uncompromised 4k you cannot then turn around and have a bunch of different compromises on the resolution they don't go together. Is that simple? To reach 120 frames, it's not fair that for oh, them to God. lower the resolution to achieve that frame rate. <laughs> I didn't say it wasn't fair. I said the marketing message of uncompromised 4K, world's most powerful console, and then to turn around and have a bunch of offer, off what you call options that do nothing but compromise the 4K is not a good look. I don't know why this is so hard for you to understand. Because a compromise is common sense. You, you, anybody that knows anything <laughs> about gaming that's played on PC knows that you have to compromise things in order to achieve anybody ungodly frames per PC second. would never make the statement that is uncompromised. Okay, what is uncompromised? Like, that's the problem. Okay, uncompromised <laughs> means 60 frames? Like, what is that? Look, man, look, I'm going to make two <laughs> sentences for you, and it's going to be oh, weird. Uncompromised frame rates, uncompromised resolution. That is not a number. Look, man, you're not listening. Uncompromised <laughs> frame rates, uncompromised resolution. The man did not promise uncompromised frame rates. So do not ask me about frame rates again in the resolution conversation. So so you're, he, you're willing to do anything 4K. to achieve 4K. The man, so if it doesn't matter if it runs at 15 frames as long as you hit that 4K benchmark? What the message was, sir. Uncompromised 4K, world's most powerful console. 60 frames minimum. As and the for them to say, if you're willing to compromise, we'll put in this 120 frame option for you. That's not okay. I didn't say it. Well, why do you keep asking me the same question? I've answered it 10 times. <laughs> oh, okay. What, what is your ultimate point? You just see, keep saying uncompromised, uncompromised. Uncompromised <laughs> means uncompromised. Let me, let me like, what the fuck do I gather from that? Listen to the whole sentence. Listen to the whole sentence. You cannot say uncompromised 4K, world's most powerful console, and then turn around and offer a bunch of compromises on the 4K. It destroys the message. It is inconsistent. What is so hard for you to understand about this? So devs should no longer be able oh, to put performance options mm -hmm. in their games since uh, he promised uncompromised. I don't get what you're trying to say, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I am saying I really that don't. it is a contradiction mm -hmm. and it is going against the message. What is so hard for you to understand about that? I, I just, Coach, I think you. you're, I think you're reading into his messaging things that are like into, against common sense. Think I think you're rule. arguing against uh, common sense, dude. Yeah, whatever. You are offering a bunch of compromises on a system that's supposed to have no compromises on resolution. Hmm. Are you hard, are you sarcastically speaking or are you just being dumb for being dumb? I am saying You're that the message me? is inconsistent. I'm talking to no, code. <laughs> go ahead, go, go ahead, ahead, code. Code, don't no, let these code. Know. They got you against the ropes, man. What you going to do? Man, I'm not on no man, please. The message is inconsistent. You cannot say it is uncompromised when you're doing nothing but compromising the entire time. As long as they have a 4K option, then it is uncompromised. Ooh. Do you know what a... The fact that you mentioned an option means compromise. As long as the game runs at 4K and they have 4K running on all the games, then it is uncompromised 4K. They have that. Ouch. Oh, my God. So, so Jess Fitz, what are you saying? You're saying that... It, that 4K saying uncompromised... Means you have a 4K uncompromised mode. 
That is not what he no, fucking no, said. No, 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 no. Oh my when we, god. When we look at when we <laughs> when, when, when we hear <laughs> <laughs> When we hear 4K uncompromised, we mean and there's no compromising. That means there's no lowering the settings, there's no lowering the frame rate, or anything like that. It can't just be 4K. I mean, y'all gonna have to wait for that mid-gen refresh. Y'all know that. Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I just, if they turning down settings, if they if they turning down settings, frame rates, or anything like that, then it has been compromised. And that I think that's that assumption, that faith you're putting into Phil Spencer's words actually lacks common sense. That's not the way video games work. They're no, no, we know, we know that, and they're going to get compromised. We know that. that. Saying that it doesn't match the message, sir. We know that, but that's not the when message. When I hear that 4K uncompromised, okay, yeah. let me define it. When I hear 4K uncompromised, wow. I hear not like checkerboarding or interlacing or any of this bullshit. It's a true native 4K image. That's what 4K no, uncompromised means to me. No, native 4K. Me no, you here. You go making up your own. <laughs> <laughs> That's what native 4K means. Right. So so let me ask you this. So if it's 4K checkerboard, do you think that has been compromised or is that uncompromised? Yeah, that's that's compromised. Okay. All right. So All right, native. so you're saying 4K60 is what you need in order to be an uncompromised 4K. No, it could be what's 4K the standard? Art? It could be four. Look, man, you keep bringing up res, re, frame rates in the resolution. Well, that's the compromise you're saying. No, in order I'm to not. compromise something, you're talking about frame rate. <laughs> no, I'm not. They said they never said they wouldn't compromise on the frame rate. They said they wouldn't compromise on the resolution. Mm. Huh? Like, OK, so you can't do anything but 4K, even if it's like 30 frames, 60 frames. You, you like, can you, do whatever you want, but it's going to be inconsistent oh, with no. the message. I don't know about all of this. As long as you have a 4K mode, native 4K, it is uncompromised. That's what I'm it's saying, and that's true to the message. 4K mode, like the, the, right now on this show, the first time. Well, so does PC not do 4K uncompromised? I don't get what you're saying. Nobody on PC has promised 4K uncompromised. The whole point of PC, Nvidia, is does allow you to make various compromises. No, they'll tell you here's the range. At this resolution, ray tracing, so on and so forth, and they have a whole different spreadsheet with a bunch of different columns of what they're targeting based on different settings. The whole point of that is to show you 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 make these compromises, you get this benefit. You make these compromises, <laughs> you get these benefits. <laughs> All Yo, throughout the chart. This is funny. All right, let me read this. Let me read these <laughs> super chats. Uh, shout out! Oh uh, shout out to Tony Esquire. He said, whoever thinks Mortal Kombat is a good video game movie clearly haven't seen the first Resident Evil movie. 1995 Mortal Kombat, Tron, Speed Racer, or Ready Player One. Speed I, Racer was horrible. I actually have <laughs> Shout out to Andre Garcia. He said, yo, give Code a Snickers. Damn. Oh. <laughs> Shout out to Sukasa. He said, go ahead and link where Phil said uncompromised. Oh, I mean that was a we we already know that that happened. Yeah, that was that that was a big deal. That definitely happened. Shout out to Jay. He said Fitz better chill before Cole stomp him out with his orthopedics. Triple O G, bust your nose. This is all love. Ain't gonna be no fighting. I'm too old. Busy yourself, nigga. All right. Shout out to Jay. He said we got ghost slandering Cole and callers. Sheesh. All right. Shout out to Forget It Brian. He said, Cole won. Y'all tripping. Y'all dumb if you don't get it. All right. Shout out to uh, Gotti360. He said, Cole don't hear arguing with Gilbert Great. <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I mean, jokes is part of the thing, but when people having a little serious discussion, like the ad hominem stuff don't really have no place because it could be misconstrued. All right. Shout nobody out to, up here mad at nobody. Shout out to Life and Time Podcast. He said this viewer is proof Xbox and its gamers are the mentally deficient cousins of PC. They don't know the definition of exclusive power and compromise. Damn. Yeah. J Fitz getting ruined in this. Shout game. out to EXP. Fitz better lay off cold or he will get a stroke. Damn. <laughs> so, hey, I, 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 don't let that chat ain't gonna pressure me. I stand by my convictions. Shit. <laughs> That's uh, what's up, bitch. That's what's up, sir. So, um, Xbox got boost, 
bunch of EA games, Battlefield 1, Battlefield 4, Battlefield 5, uh, the Plants vs. Zombie game, Mirror's Edge, Titanfall, I believe 1 and 2. All of these games got 120 hertz, uh, 120 frames boost. But all, all of um, them doesn't lose resolution, right? Hey, well, right? they all, they're all them. running off the resolution of whatever they was on the Xbox One S. So okay. whatever it was, whatever the resolution was of the Xbox One S, the resolution remains. The only thing that goes up is the FPS. That's why you got games that are 720p, 900p, and so on and so forth. None of the games are 4K 120. All None of them. Niggas ask, all these niggas. Uh, that was stuff. never even expectation. No, I'm, I'm just saying. None of them are 4K 120. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And none of them are new games. These are all old games that should be able to run at 120, especially at 720p. If you think the PS5 cannot do 720p 120, you're fucking crazy. All right? The PS5 can do <laughs> yeah. the same shit. All these, bo- all these games, the PS5 can also do, especially at those resolutions. You know what I mean? So it's just that Sony doesn't choose to really like pay attention to all that old shit like that. Y'all don't understand that a lot of this shit is because Microsoft don't have anything new to offer you motherfuckers. They have nothing new Thank to you. offer you. This is Thank all they you. can do to try to keep in good grace. Let's give them frame rates and all. They have nothing to offer you motherfuckers. Y'all got 38,000 studios and there's not a new game in fucking sight. <laughs> nothing. Y'all don't even... St- Halo is, is there, but you don't even know when that is even coming. You can guess. But you don't even know. They have nothing to offer you, motherfuckers. This is why they doing all this extra shit. It's the best that they can do right now. They ain't got no but new games to do. give you. I mean, you right on that, eight. But I think, man, when life gives you lemons, make lemonades. I think they are. this is the hand they was dealt, although they sort of messed up their own hand. But given where they are now, I think they are right to focus on third-party content, quality of life stuff. That is smart. But, yeah, it's not a substitute for the... The new stuff and they just real quiet on that they won't even confirm or deny you know what's after halo like we have no roadmap no nothing just halo that's what i'm saying this is the thing this is why we we, you know we're coming at these journalists because they're fucking retarded and we know that they're getting paid or something is going on because like you said there's no roadmap for xbox there's no roadmap for any of these games you got halo infinite that's it and you don't even know when that's that's coming but there's no type of roadmap. There's no setup. At least, at least with the PlayStation, whether you like the games or not, you got games with dates. Yep. You got Dude, games with dates. Whether you like Returnal, whether you like Ratchet and Clank, whether you like Kenna or whatever that shit called. It's another Kena. name. It's not Kenna. It's like Kena or Kena. some shit like that. Yeah, Kena. Kenya. Regardless, these games Kena. have a and, date. And uh, Horizon. Well, yeah, Horizon ain't got no date yet, but yeah, they said this year. No, they, yeah, but they got a date, they got a roadmap, they get, they're giving you a window or something. Xbox, you got nothing. And they had it. So, like Halo. so the best thing they can do right now is just cater to you when it comes to these old ass games, because the old ass games are already here. So it's like, you know what? Let's just enhance the old games. Because we ain't got nothing the, else. Get the day and date drops in Game Pass for the third party joints. Like, yeah, for third party. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's all they but got. That's, the, that, that, that's what they have to do. Like they have to try to add value somewhere. <laughs> and notice they stopped saying the world's most powerful console, which in my opinion was smart. They've changed it to the world's most powerful Xbox, which is what I think it should have been. I, just, I guess they just wanted to stop lying. So I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it, I mean, they've been changed it to the world's most powerful Xbox. It's been it's been like that for a while. I feel like they changed it because true. it ain't true. I guess. You know what I mean? If it was true, then they would have kept saying it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So what you got to say, Just Fitz? We know them your buddies, Xbox. You gonna die for Listen, them? Listen, all of this, all of this shit is good. Yeah. It's all, hey, it's all yeah. good. Like it's all good. None of this shit is bad, right? The problem comes is when these Xbox exactly. try to make it seem like right. that this shit is something amazing. Like dog, oh, no, it's not. No, get some new fucking amazing. games. Now you got a Absolutely. new console. It's a new generation. I mean, yeah, I think it's, it's cool that uh, that Xbox's like UI team is so fucking on the ball. I mean, they're actually ahead of where Sony is, I would say at this point. But yeah, this is no you substitute said UI. for new games. 
Are UI. Like, all right, well, Did you say UI? UI? What do you call it? A, a hardware improvement? Or like, what would you call it? Oh, you mean a hard? Like a, what you mean? What, what are you talking about it specifically? The Come FPS on. boost. What team would be responsible oh. for doing that? Oh, I don't know who responsible. The hardware team, issue. software team, the the put. I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't they even got know what to call it. Team that, that deals with that. No, all that shit. Like, listen, it's cool. All that. Listen, the problem comes in is when people start to use this as arguments and shit like that. That's when the problem comes in with anything, right? Like, if you live at home, all right, I won't say that. Then they'd be like, you talking about Jack Move? Uh, if you got a fucking Pinto, right? A car, right? Some bullshit ass Pinto. That's not a problem. Yeah, hey, it gets you from A to B. Hey, man, have a have at it. Better the problem comes is when you start talking shit about it. Like when you start trying to like make it seem like it's better than everything else. That's when you're going to start getting roasted for it. You know what I'm saying? So it's the same thing with this Xbox shit. Like, yo, none of this shit is bad. It's cool. Uh, Game Pass is a great deal. And the FPS boost is, is wonderful for people that want to go back and play them games and all that shit. All of that shit is great. But when you start trying to fucking put it up on a mountain and... Oh, it's killing PlayStation. It, Xbox got this generation and shit like that. That's when the problem comes into place. And that's when people are going to start picking it apart. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. So, yeah, I mean, like all this shit is cool, but it ain't no, it's not a bragging point. It's not a talking point for a next gen console. Like for real, for real, fuck that. Fuck that yeah. old ass shit. <laughs> Like, I'm excited that they're introducing this new feature. Hopefully, it comes to more old games. But it's a different thing if you say, man, PlayStation ain't got this shit. What about it? You know, like, shut your yeah, ass up. Right. So, so the conversation I have seen, and it was from my buddy Kid Smooth, and he was like, I predicted a year ago or something that uh, Xbox going to have more 120 frames per second games. And I was right. And I'm like, well, Smooth, I didn't even say nothing. I'm like, dude, how are you even counting, like, all of this? Old stuff at these little and that's mediocre. Not I don't know. I, I don't, can't. Can what's the word for inferior uh, resolutions? I'm like, man. But How many okay, new next gen games is 120 hertz? That's I, yeah, I, I don't think that's not what he meant at first. He was bullshit. I, Cause you know, in his head, he was thinking new releases, <laughs> new gen games. That's what yeah, he was talking about. Yeah, but I mean, he said they got more. He counting super. No, I know. No, I agree with you. I agree with you. Say it, but, oh, but, yeah, but he yeah. over there capping. He knew exactly what the fuck he meant. <laughs> he did what he meant. Now he gonna tell you, what he to dial one. it back? What he tried to dial it yeah. back or something? Yeah, now nah, because because of the old games like Limbo and shit like that, running at one twenty. Oh fuck. yeah, no, that ain't no bragging rights. Back. Yeah, he over there yeah, bragging he's about. He's not it. dialing it back. He going harder on it. No, I mean, that's, not, I mean, that's not what he meant though. That's not. No, I know what you're saying. I know. No, you yeah. said he meant yeah. new games, not old yeah. games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just, yeah. yeah, but yeah, he just now he using this to fuel his fire. That's all it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know what's going on. I mean, at the end of the day. Uh, like I said, it's a good option, but I don't really care about that shit if I ain't got no new games to bring to the table. I want the new next generation games, dog. I want the new big budget next generation games. And if they only 60 frames, I'm cool with that as long as some new hotness. Fuck that 120 if it's going to be on some old 720p shit. Fuck that shit. Where the new hotness at? That's what I want. You know what I'm saying? That's the problem. They always, they jump on uh, Twitter, they jump on these videos and start running their fucking mouth about this old shit. And that's when motherfuckers got to come out and now got to speak on it. Nobody don't care yeah, and, about this and, old shit. And another thing, they always try to get this twisted. Like, they always leave this part out. No one is saying that you can't enjoy old games. You can enjoy whatever the fuck you want to enjoy. The statement is you don't invest in the next gen console for only old games. And they always leave off that only part. Like, I thought you didn't want to play old games or or uh, everybody play old games at some point. Sure, but that's not what we're saying. We're saying that you have to get something new for the new money that you spend in, other than multiplast that you can get anywhere. But but do you have faith in, in, in Microsoft delivering on some of these titles? Like, hey, you think they're gonna, I do not uh, have faith in Microsoft, but I do believe that they will have some games jumping here the next few years, but it's not based on faith. It's evidence. Like you see them. Okay. Evidence. Yes. So they, talent, they're showing you they got know. the evidence. They got too many Man, fucking I studios. They, they got way too oh, many yeah, studios they, not to yeah. at least deliver something. Like, God, so, so yeah, right. yeah, this is, Microsoft this is playing a long game. 
I really hope they are, dude. Because micro, um, like somebody like Phil Spencer and his team, not the UI team, but his team has to see like people online talking shit. They have to have their ears to the ground. They know what the fuck is going on. Like, man, I really hope they fucking start delivering on these games because like people are going to be roasting them for a while. Man, they got too many studios. Man, they got all them studios. They got to at least come out with a. With a with a game that has the impact of a Last of Us dog or a God of War dog, like at least one, like uh, one, uh, one, one. You on, that, uh, you on that that Biggie stuff? All these niggas, I got to fight one. All like, the, come hey, on, wait, wait, wait. Heart too it, many. Hard it. Hey, didn't ain't you the one that was saying you don't even like God of War? So why would you want? I you said to have the impact? impact. The impact. impact. It doesn't mean it has to be God of War. Listen, the I don't. Impact. I'm not a. Oh. Listen, I'm not a big fan of God of War, but I can't deny the fucking impact it had. Like what the fuck? <laughs> All right. It was and a big was game. Right. It was a that's big true. deal, dog. It was a big game. It was a big deal. It got tens out of ten all over the place. Xbox got to at least come but out with one. Name, what I mean is one of those. It got ten out of tens off the name of God of War. No, people. It's no, a good nah, game. Like, people nah, like nah, it, dog. Nah, it's a good nah, game. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah. It's a well put together nah, game, dog. It's a well put together game. Like we can't deny yo, that. I can't deny that it. game. It's amazing. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not saying that it's not amazing. <laughs> I'm not saying that it's not. But is it a ten though? It's a ten. Dog, wait, yo, yo, all this extra shit. The bottom line is, it had a huge impact on the industry. And I'm hoping that Xbox can create a game like that. Yeah, not to, exactly like God of War. I just want it to be good games. I don't care if it has the impact or if the, they put the the get a documentary. Well, I'm putting that all together. I'm putting that all together. That's the point. Good game means a big impact, dog. Drop games. They just need to drop games. I'm not trying to separate no, they the two. Need to drop quality yeah. games that's in contention for Gotti conversation. They need at least one or two Gotti contenders. They've they've dropped games, but ain't nobody talking about. It. I'm not trying to separate the two. I'm just saying, <laughs> but they need to drop some game of the year bangers, dog. Yeah, and you know, Microsoft seems behind, man. Like in terms of their game development and the way they do things. I mean, look at just how Halo has been in decline. Remember when Halo was such a fucking heavy hitter? Like and like games like Sea of Thieves, like they don't come out and have this. They don't set the world on fire. I think we can all agree on that. When Sony drops a game, it's like holy shit. Everyone drops what they're doing and pays a fucking attention. When Microsoft drops a game, people, you know, they play it for a week, they move on, whatever. See, no, so with the problem with Xbox, they need to find their own lane. It's not that they're behind in, in the times because if you want to say it like that nintendo's games are behind in time but they still yeah. sell well so, yeah. so it's just it's just they need to find their own lane and not try to do the same shit that sony's gonna do nintendo because games gonna, got a reputation they already they yeah, solidified they the alone. I understand they it, but, alone. But, they're, but but they're behind the times if you want to talk about the game mechanics okay they, i i can yield that maybe not behind the times was a wrong way to say it but you know shit you've been saying a lot of shit this oh, 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 oh you know what you got every word <laughs> what it means to him and now he's gonna try to correct the definition <laughs> oh, I, I can't old. correct. I can't admit. Uh, maybe that was a poor use of words. Jesus Christ, well, guys! You fucking you hang can... me on the cross over here. Start with damn. yourself first. Admit yourself, and then you can correct. I them. just admitted myself. God damn. Oh, okay. My bad. I must have been <laughs> asleep. <laughs> yeah, coke is about to sleep. But nah, Xbox, they got to they got to drop some bangers. They got too many studios. Not that they need. We need some bangers. First of all, we need we need. I mean, hopefully we need bangers from both sides. Like I'm tired of just waiting on fucking Sony, dog. I need fucking I need, uh, you know, Xbox to be filling in these gaps, too. Yeah, you know I mean, not just waiting on Sony yeah. and what the fuck they do. I need Xbox to fucking deliver, dog. We need games. Yeah, they're gonna, Good they're games. Deliver them Game Pass deals. Two dollars is the fucking mutton shit. That's what they're gonna give you. Yeah, man, I'm keeping hope Speaking alive. We'll see. We'll, we'll All see. right. I'm gonna right. keep hope alive, man. I'm gonna keep hope alive. You sound like the Xbox nigga. Let's wait till E3. Wait till E3. Wait till E3. I'm not. Hold, I didn't say wait till E3. Nah, nah. I'm just. I'm, I'm, I'm talking in general. I'm just talking. Nah, y'all niggas. Nah, y'all niggas sound like corporate cocksuckers, dog. Like Xbox no, can't no, deliver no, nothing. No, it's only man, Sony. Man, man. So man, man. as a gamer, man, man. nigga. As a gamer. Hold on. Time out. Time out. As a gamer. 
You know what I'm saying? I want to keep a positive mind frame, and hopefully that Xbox can uh, deliver. Can so I can have. Why they, so the I is can. Is that reason why they listen, really listen. They already got shitting on enough, nigga. They got 35 studios now. Exactly. So and let's and hope something turn around. Proving, until they start improving, they're gonna keep getting shit on some more. Well, we okay, gonna find out. I mean, listen. You get rewarded because you get beat up. At the end of the day, the more games, the more better games, the better. That's all I'm saying. Right. Okay, but look, so isn't, isn't, isn't Microsoft rumored to be making a game with Kojima? It's only a matter of time for they get one. It's I don't been give a, a fuck about no Kojima. Kojima, Kojima, one, one of the most the overrated world. motherfuckers in the industry. <laughs> I just, Yo, I just tried to, I just tried to play Death Stranding. I deleted that shit. I can't do it. I delivered a body <laughs> and on, I was bro. done. Dog, you know, that you game know, is boring true. as hell, dog. I just when you talk about Kojima, you don't think of Death Stranding. Man, like, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about his latest you're game, really, nigga. I'm talking about his latest game. You're only as good as your last game. You're only as good as your last game. All that Metal no, Gear shit is true. Run. Kojima's all a legend. He's only as good as his last game. Listen, listen, listen. His last game was ass. His last listen, game was ass. Hold on, hold on. Listen, listen, listen. All right, hold on. Listen, listen. I played Death Stranding. I tried to play this shit, dog. I delivered a body across five miles of terrain, nigga. It was boring as hell. Yo, eat. Eight. The story is amazing. No, I can't. I can't play that. Yeah, I, I might as well just watch I the cutscenes. Then no, I can't no, watch no, a walkthrough. He, he, he's gonna keep playing, bro. No, no I deleted I, it. No, I don't. Hey, hey. I deleted that shit. I deleted it. I deleted it. I'm good. I thought, I thought the gameplay was, it was satisfying. I'm sure the storyline is crazy, twists and turns, plot twists, all that shit. But yeah, right. Dog, I do not want to be a fucking FedEx worker. I'm good, dog. <laughs> I'm good. I deleted I that shit. Who, uh, my man's is that said yeah. that, but I agree with him 100%. That's Yo, that was me. That's Kenpachi. Yeah. yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Death Stranding was they, very immersive, in my opinion. I enjoyed it. I like delivering packages. That's what's up. I mean, that's how I felt. You love him. Yeah. I ain't Listen, I took the president. <laughs> I took the president to go get burned, and that shit was, uh, no, it was terrible, dog. I was like, what wait, the wait, fuck? Hey, you you like the part where they played the song? They played the song while you're moving around. Dog, I took the president. <laughs> you don't like the music. You don't like the, the music. Don't amazing. Like the Hold on, I think the president, his mom, right? His mom. I took her to his get mom. burned. I took her to get incinerated. Yeah. And it was boring Boiling. as hell. Oh, oh, ain't nobody what? playing that shit. That ain't hold no on, hold on. Half, time, half of the motherfucker that plays the game is not gonna follow that story. It's it's very convoluted at the same time. So ain't nobody. It ain't no sport. Not even as convoluted. Kojima, sh Kojima shit always like so that. So what's one of those yeah, games yeah. you gotta go on YouTube to see the true story and shit because that shit don't make no sense. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, shit, uh, gameplay, no, the gameplay was no, no, fun. Kojima was, man, was fun. Man, there's, there's guns, there's guns. You shoot people. You shoot people in the game. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a hell what you do. That joint every day. But that's what I liked about Death Stranding. It wasn't just a whole bunch of shooting and shit. It was, it was, it was still immersive in my opinion. I enjoyed the world. That's what I liked about it. I mean, it was, no, it was different thing, from that. Like, here's the like, thing, Jay. The Death Stranding was a thinking man's game. Oh, here I won't. Go. Here we go. I won't go that far. I won't Look go that this. far. This motherfucker <laughs> said, "Think his man thing." I won't go that far. The only thing you thought about was like, "Damn, how I'm gonna get over this fucking rock, nigga?" That's the only thing you had to fucking right, think about. That's a lot more strategies. That's, that's the fun of the game. Yeah, man. Sounds of the game. How you get how you get it across America and stuff like that. Like, man, that's a good one. I deleted the. They never even made it. That's all a good HBO series, a good movie, IMAX. But the game, no, hey, uh, no, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I had some complaints last week. They say people be talking over each other too much, one at a time, okay. fucking hooligans, yeah, one at a fucking time. Shut the hell up and let court. one person talk. <laughs> Order on the goddamn court. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start kicking y'all niggas. Bam! All right, Ooh, chill, 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 chill. Yeah, one at a time, one yeah, at a time. You motherfucker, hooligans. Real quick, I'm just saying, y'all. No, nah, Cole, you old. always got the right away. You the co host. <laughs> Fuck these niggas. But yeah, one at a time. Yeah. Well, no, nah, we can't be rude to the guests. Eh? Well, we got, no, I'm listen, one at a time. They being rude. Yeah, yeah, they being yeah, rude yeah. talking over yeah. everybody. One at a motherfucking yeah. time. Go ahead. I just want to throw in there, like, a lot of it you never would have gotten to it if you abandoned the game too early. There's a whole community aspect where you have to merge what you're doing and make decisions based off. Other people that's playing the game, completing this section of a road or whatever, because oh, it makes yeah, that universal easier. Yeah, so that's there's great. a lot of strategy involved if you make it that far. It's more than just yeah. 
burning bodies. Like. Yeah, and then walking across <laughs> land. That stuff is it's great. Like oh. I understand what Kojima was trying to do and stuff. Like he wasn't trying to make like some big like budget game. He's just trying to make a game for himself or whatever. I mean, he There's had a, a little he had a little timber tantrum when it didn't sell. Talking about America's only yeah, way. We didn't understand it. I feel like I feel like he do it. Yeah. I feel like he's the kind of guy who doesn't even care about that sales no or something shit like that. Like he's rich. He's like he's rich. Like, yeah, he, fuck does. Does. he don't care about sales. You think he just spending all that money for nothing? Of course, I didn't see an article about it. I didn't see an article about it. Hit that like button, people. Hit that like button. Hit that like button, people. I uh, no, that happened. He definitely was like Americans were too stupid to get the game. Oh yeah, fuck that. Yeah, he kind of did come off like that. He kind of did come off like that. Hey, and that game was like I skipped that game because that game was like really I don't know even know how they were gonna even try to market that game because I saw that preview material and other gameplay and I was like, nope. They did market it. Nope. They marketed it pretty realize. well. Like it was, they had a Rick and Morty commercial. They had like the the teaser. I remember it on Monday Night Football all the time, bro. Like it I got mean, some good commercials. You can say and stuff. what you can say what you want about Death Stranding, but they definitely have a niche a niche following. It has people that like it. it Kojima yeah, will yeah. get people. Yeah, to that's like a cult game. game. Yeah, so you got a niche right, following. You got a niche following the people that like to dress up like fairies. What the fuck that mean? Man, that's called cosplay. That's called cosplay. Yo, people like to yo, stick fucking tails in their ass yo. and walk around on oh, the fucking bro. ground. Hey, what the hell that hey. mean, man? Somebody child. Hey, I won't. I won't cap. At the end of the game, though, I did cry. That shit made me sad. Like that did, that did break me in half. Hey, who is this nigga? I could I had a fucking nervous <laughs> breakdown and shit. Hey, yo, who is this nigga? The game was impactful. Like, I'm sad that no one like played it like that. That game was really impactful, though. Like for real. I know the gameplay was all the way through. It was, did you cry? Cool no, nah, that no. Nah. Cole, you, feel uh, Cole, you ain't playing all the way through. What's new? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is new? Accusing me of lying every time I say I played a game, sir. Where you play that? Where you, you played play it on um on um on PS4 or uh, whatever? Yeah, I played it on PS4. Don't let me check them trophies, man. Don't let me check them trophies, Cole. Now I'm gonna give you a chance to come clean, nigga. Wait, Cole, Cole. Cool, cool. Let me ask you, what happened at the end of the game? Oh, no, 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 no spoilers, no spoilers, no spoilers. Boy, it's three years old. No, no, cold. Yo, I had to come in here and Yo, make sure that I defend and defend my game, Death Stranding. Oh, yes. oh, Death Thank Stranding. You. Thank I, you. I went through a huge, um, like, turnaround. Um, it took me about 11 months to beat the game. And at the first, fuck? for a, ver for a Damn, short period of time. That's some cold shit. Yeah, now listen, for, the, for a short period of time, this was a unique game. I thought it was great at first. Then it turned into, I actually was calling it trash for a while. But over enough time, I kept coming back to it because the quality is there um, and the production value is there. And it was interesting. It's different. And eventually I got the hang of it and I ended up loving the game and I beat it not too long ago. Um, it does take a long time to kind of figure out what the game even is. Uh, it's just so different, and it's it's really um, it's really about like Sam and and being you know in this post apocalyptic world and sort of in figuring out what exactly is is going on and, and figuring out like a mystery. Um, it's it's just it's a completely different kind of game. So it, I thought it was very cool, and it I felt like during some of the cutscenes in the later stages like that i felt like i was in a movie theater like i i was smelling the popcorn like it definitely he knows how to um to do that cinematic like style you definitely not so are you name right now. so so are you saying just like kojima said we're too stupid to get it i <laughs> no <laughs> it's I don't think I think you just have to I think you just have to give it everyone. to give it time. I mean, people in yeah. Japan probably couldn't figure it out right away. So, you know, it's it just takes a while to just figure out what the you, game dude. is. Yeah. Well, I think that is true to a certain extent. Not that Americans are too stupid to understand the concept, but it is true. Kojima, I'm a big Kojima fan, not a fanboy, but I like his games. And he comes from that cinematic world of movies and world cinema. Not just his own movies, but in America, we kind of, as a majority, we kind of stick to our own stuff. We don't go watching subtitle movies. We don't want to watch. It's like it's like. You can speak for yourself. Like that's, Paris, not like Paris, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true at all. Because we're the, I, we're definitely more open than more uh, things than other countries and. Uh, 
and nationalities. That that's that's bullshit. That's the reason why we let. Yeah, look, at, <laughs> look at the Oscars. Look at the Oscars. Like, Parasite won like best best movie. That was like from Korea. Like, yeah, more open nowadays. We talking about Parasite. I was talking about like how like Americans are now open more open to like, open outside country thing and stuff like that. You know definitely I mean? are. <laughs> Yeah, but half yeah. half the country isn't like that. That's why those are the half that voted for Donald Trump. And Donald Trump got on and disparaged uh, Parasite when it won. He was like, "Oh, a film from." Also, oh, now you are you comparing us to Donald Trump, Trump now? Hey, hold on. Who, uh, who got the uh, who got the uh, politics and this shit? Hey, who got the thumbnail as a hoodie? Like you got a hoodie on? Oh me. Who is oh, that? No hoodie. No hoodie. No. Yeah, who is that? No. That's not all right. Oh. Yeah, you ain't really nah. talking, player. What's up? No, nah, I am. I don't know. Like, everybody's talking over, so it's, it's whatever. Oh, now tell these niggas to shut up, man. Get your shit off. <laughs> <laughs> nigga ain't gonna tell you me to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Look, <laughs> talk, <laughs> man. You talking about that strand? I'm pretty sure this nigga didn't even play that shit. Or pretty I could have swore that fucking Cole was telling y'all niggas to shut up, but y'all, you know what I mean? Y'all, 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 y'all got it. Cole could tell us. Cold is cold is. My, I gotta respect my elders, nigga. But you, yeah, <laughs> I said, but you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Actually, you I know, just, we, I need, remember, we need the man. enforcer in right. here. Is what we need. I remember, I remember Solid Rev. I already shit on that game, Death Stranding. So this game looks really boring, and then he played it. And then he said, I actually love this game. Like, ain't nobody yeah. listening to that nigga. Oh, right. yeah, yeah, like, nigga over. <laughs> ain't nobody, definitely, and nobody ain't definitely listening to no fucking solid rev when it comes to video games, dog. Yeah, <laughs> no, that, that nigga, nigga. I, 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 that nigga I, started I gaming during the fucking, he started I, gaming during the 360, nigga. I don't give a fuck with no fucking solid rev talking about. <laughs> 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 yo, yo, I, I enjoy his content. He's a funny, he's a good dude. Man, he started yeah, gaming during the 360. Ain't watching that bullshit, dog. I'm <laughs> good. Hey, hey, bro, remember, he's, like, you, to be honest, you just gotta give yourself into the game. Like, just put this. Listen, man, I'm game. done. I've deleted that shit already. So, it's a wrap. <laughs> I ain't going back to that shit. Wait, wait, did, wait, wait, hey, did you watch like the story cutscene? Like, did you try to like watch the story? I'm good, motherfucker. What the fuck you think I was doing? Fucking oh, really? jerking uh, off, nigga. You ain't watching the shit. The shit was garbino. <laughs> after I delivered that body, <laughs> I was done. Trash? Dog, after I delivered that body, I was done, dog. I barely made that. I'm falling asleep. I'm this gay ass music playing. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? Hey, oh that music is tight. That music is amazing. Dude. Man, I'd rather, I, I, if you could put your own soundtrack, I'd rather put my own soundtrack and, and, and rock out to that. There's a bunch of DMX. Hey, <laughs> you got a problem with DMX, <laughs> motherfucker? Oh, shit. No, I love DMX. Oh, oh, all right. No, all right. I love DMX. Just like, Watch <laughs> your mouth, nigga. No, <laughs> no DMX no, 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 slander no. will be tolerated. So, please. Please. <laughs> No DMX slander will be tolerated in this motherfucker. Yo, that eight. nigga store coming. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what up? Did you see the uh, the monster truck funeral they did for him? Yeah, I watched it. Yeah, that shit was crazy. Yeah, I seen it. I seen the um live stream and all that shit. Um, shout out to Epic Troy. He said he said that about Xbox One X, not Series X. Code, you confusing the two? Oh, I got on this code. Got Alzheimer's sometimes, man. It's yeah, all taking a nap. He'll be back. Yeah, he's sleep right ain't now. Taking no nap, nigga. <laughs> he's drooling right now. <laughs> shout out to uh, <laughs> shout out to Big Alabasa. He said that next Perfect Dark might be a ten out of ten. <laughs> uh, I, I doubt that. I doubt that, man. I don't know. Shout out to Richard Rivero, man. Appreciate the super chat. Fifty dollars, purple. Appreciate that, player. He said, "Me and Cole have fun role playing the new Mortal Kombat movie." He said, "Get over here," and I had and I got hard as ice. <laughs> Oh, yo, this nigga said he said get over here, yo, y'all niggas, man, they're too oh, funny, man. man. Shout out to Key. He said early predictions for the review scores of the last the bus HBO show. I say seventy nine out of a hundred. 
Uh, I don't know. I can't really they, make they, no predictions. They got on the that. guy. They got the guy who did Chernobyl, and that show is probably one of the best like miniseries of all time. They got too many that Puerto Ricans like, in that motherfucker. Yeah. I don't know where they going with this shit, man. Yeah. Too many Yo, Puerto Ricans. Yeah, but long, you can't. As long as the acting is good, I think it'd be fine. Like, nah, yeah, Neil nah, and, I can't. And, like, I can't. Team, nah, like, man. Chernobyl. I don't remember. But Sam you know, was not no Rican, dog. He was a white man. So I'm, I don't know, dog. Just put some, put some like. They probably do some like um, makeup, make him look more white or some shit. You know what I mean, how the fuck would they do makeup. that? <laughs> you said make him more white. Hey, shout out to um, shout out to Phil Collins, man. He said played Death Stranding for 16 hours and dropped it after I ran out of stamina yeah. and the nigga set Indian style looking at the sun while getting killed. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, Game and Forte, I tried to get you in here, but you didn't answer Game and Forte, so I don't know what's going on. Hey, hit the like button, people. Hit the like button. Shout out to XRP Dishwasher. He said, help. How do I tell a grown man that he stinks? It's a customer friend of the chef who is the culprit. The chef talks about it, but doesn't say nothing. Now he wants me, the dishwasher, to tell him. Um, just tell that nigga he's pull, him to, <laughs> pull him to the side, man. Tell that nigga he smell like old biscuits and party mix. That's why I, I, I that. Cool <laughs> like that. Tell that nigga he smell like a new breed of puppies or some shit. I don't fucking know, man. Pull him to the side. Get a female to tell him. That, that, that'll, that'll hurt his spirits right there. No, he might shoot up the place, man. Just tell him <laughs> yourself, man. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah. He might shoot up the place. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Life and Time Podcast. He said, don't listen to them eight. I put 30 hours in the Death Stranding. It's American propaganda. The world is empty. Uh, I sneak past all the enemies. High quality with low pleasure. It's like going to the museum to, and people telling you it's art. You don't have to sneak. You can kill You can kill people. I killed people. Nothing. Like, like you can do it. Uh, never mind. Shout out to well, XRP. There. Dishwasher. He said, Jeremy spoke in class today. Uh, Jeremy spoken class. Where the bat at? They scared of the bat. He he didn't come in here today. <laughs> Shut, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to uh Clifton the Colored Milkman. He said, I'll have you know Rev is more of a gamer and more black than some of you self proclaimed blacks from the hood. Oh man, stop that nonsense. Wow. Oh, stop. Oh, I should block God. your ass no, for no, 300 no, seconds. No, 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 no. He, he was saying, because that's what Rev said in one of his videos. And shit. Oh, oh, oh okay. what? <laughs> I was about to say, Jesus. <laughs> that's why niggas said he's racist. That is right. That's why I said he was racist. <laughs> oh, dude, that, man, that ain't a good look. I didn't know that said that. I grew up in the hood of Chicago, so you said something like that. Get the fuck out of here. It was insinuating that, and then that's when Blaze, because Blaze was on AGSN, and everybody was roasting Rev for saying that, and, and, and Blaze was like, yeah. you know, he wanted to stick with his guy. And that's oh, yeah, yeah. Stick that's with funny. his daddy and shit. I can let this fight his daddy. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, hey. Oh, man, he made like a little hey, apology you know? video and all that little stuff. Hey, I didn't well, see I mean, that shit. Damn. I haven't watched Rev since. <laughs> I, I haven't <laughs> seen that because I don't watch Solid <laughs> Rev. And um, I think um, the last time I did actually try to watch him was his Resident Evil Two review, and he was crying about zombies. It was, it was just some bullshit. <laughs> oh yeah, like, he didn't like. He didn't like the game. Yeah, he <laughs> said. Hey, uh, he said. Um, yeah, go ahead. He said. Um, William Birkin was a generic character. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Oh, I just want to say about this. This is I didn't know Rev said. I really don't watch Rev, but I know of him. But I'm just gonna say, like, if he apologized, man, I, I ain't in support of like canceling yeah. motherfuckers. Yeah, but there's yeah, more. No, no, he's, a, he's, he's a good dude. He's a good dude. I like him. Like what him. about his son that one time and said, "I don't want to play as a black guy." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, don't, bring that, bring, don't bring kids. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna bring kids into this shit. Uh, it's, not, it's, not, it's not that deep. Calm down. It was that definitely was something borderline racist though, but. Uh, <laughs> people make wrong, fucking mistakes, yeah. man. He was wrong, but yeah, you know, no, no, that shit like, sound like wrong, something the nigga was taught. Killed. Shit sound like oh, something. Yeah. Sound like okay, something daddy okay. told him. I don't know. It's home, mate. It's home, home. <laughs> sound like something daddy told him, man. I don't know. Man. Hey, you think you should be canceled uh, over it or something? Though? I don't cancel nobody. I just don't watch. I just don't. I just don't watch motherfuckers. I just don't watch my watches. Yeah, they, that's fair. What if oh, everyone, you know, I don't know. Yeah, nah, I ain't, no, who's I don't you know. Who's you about to say, Fitz? Fitz, who's you about to say? I was just if everybody <laughs> oh, agreed to stop watching, that's how canceling happens. Well, no, nah, like, I don't every, cancel hey, nobody. Hey, yo, stop watching this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I don't do none of that. I just don't watch motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Like, if it, like if it's, when it comes to gaming, 
you know, I want to watch people that got experience, man. I don't want to watch people that do this shit because they feel like it's like something to do, motherfucker. Like, I need right, somebody that really, the hobby, I need right somebody way. to do this shit for real. You know what I mean? I don't really like watching people that do this shit because it's the cool thing to do. And the gaming community is so, like I said earlier before y'all came, like, you know what I mean? Niggas that don't even game to getting praised and getting a whole lot of subs and shit like that. Like, this shit is funny. So I, I really be trying to stay away from that shit. You know what I mean, I ain't hey, watching no e nigga. I ain't watching no nigga to start a game on the 360 and, and, and taking his opinion about video games <laughs> serious. I'm not doing it. I'm good. I'm good. He, 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 I'm good. he, he games. He, he games. He games. No, he started on the 360, and that and that's after he got over being ashamed of being a gamer. Like you know, he's like really ashamed of being a gamer and shit. Like he don't want to tell people he work with and all that. Like he, he said, he still was. He one of them people that like felt like gamers was nerds versions and all that. I mean, you heard his sister that yeah, time. Yeah, like, he comes from. Uh, oh, he's yeah, older though. Does he come from an era where there was a stigma? Yeah, I mean, I come from that era yeah, where there's a stigma. Yeah, but I, 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 don't we, you know what I mean? Yeah, everybody came from that. Era. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, yeah. here I would assume. Yeah, I, there was always a stigma when I was younger too. No, it was always a, no, it was a stigma. But you know, so what? So fuck, I still. Yeah. Oh, I didn't give a fuck. Yeah, stop you on the finest line. Do what I do. I never had to hide it because I was always secure with myself. Like, people used yeah, to be surprised that I played games. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. oh, you play games? Me too. Oh, man, that's what's up. It took me till, till like, middle school. to. Man, I ain't never hide school. that shit, dog. Never, and ever. Like a closet gamer. Yeah, that's what niggas was. Like, niggas, <laughs> cli- niggas hide that shit. Like, like closet gamer. <laughs> they don't want to admit it and shit like that. Like, niggas, yeah, you know what that, it, Yeah, that's, that's some weakness to me. I don't like that. It's fakeness. I got made fun of. I mean, I, you know, my even my niggas, they choked about that shit. You know what I mean? When I say certain shit, they be laughing and shit. But when them niggas need help, who they calling? You know what I mean? Like, but it's, <laughs> you guys, you guys even now aren't a little bit like self conscious when no. you, when you tell people you play video no. games. No, like, no. Why would I? no, I play video games. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. I play video shit. games, nigga. I don't give a fuck what you yeah. think. You know what I'm saying? These it's motherfuckers. Just that word video games tends yeah, to listen, have that man, they, sort of. Oh, yeah, no, I, mean, I don't give a yeah, fuck. You weird. If you playing some weird shit on the PC, I think you gotta be careful with that shit. You talking to the wrong people. What? These niggas what play with their ass in fucking private, with the fucking bedpost and all that. <laughs> fuck you talking about? I play yeah, video yeah. games. I'm talking about niggas. You hate that way? <laughs> and gaming is way bigger now. Like when I was gaming, yeah, like when I was coming up, it was like you, you know, they only third nerd. First of all, they they considered games to be a toy, and only nerds did that shit. You know what I'm saying? I think it. Uh, the problem yeah. comes down to worrying about what bitches would think too. Like it's not even too much about oh, the dudes bitches. even. Man, suck this dick, bitch. That's what you're going yeah, to do. Exactly. Like, <laughs> fuck out of here. If you meet a bitch that is not cool with you being a gamer, keep then, it moving. Then she can keep it moving then. Like, and she oh, tick rocks. Tick rocks. Tick rocks. I had a homie that had a problem with that. Like, his girl didn't like games and shit. Like, she hate games. She hates video games. Yeah, she don't even want to hear the nigga talk about it. Oh, they not together no more. But it was a point where she didn't even want to hear the nigga talk about it. Like, she was disgusted. Yeah, you know I mean, like when she got a, like when he got around, you know, me or my other homie that played games, and they st- we start having gaming conversations. She used to be like disgusted by that shit. You know my I'm wife saying? loves that I fucking play games. Honestly, like it keeps me at home. It gives me something to do. Like we spend a lot See, of time that's the together. Thing too. Like my wife loves. Like, that y'all can play it together and shit. That's no, what some women don't understand that. Like yo, I could be out sticking this dick in some pussy. Oh, I could be here playing this game. Like, what you want? Exactly. What you? Because if I go out, I'm getting into trouble, bitch. So what you wanted them? Yup. You gonna take this game in and shut up? They want that attention, dude. The fuck you, gonna that. Shot, you, gonna that. you gonna get that? You gonna get that? There was a. Uh, there was one time in. Um, I was in high school. I was a freshman, and I was over at one of my friends' house, and uh, he. It was me, him, and and this girl. He he invited over. And he was trying to get her to play his 360, and she wouldn't even touch the controller. She was like, she was like, oh no, no, that's okay, I don't want to play. And he was like, no, come on, just try it out. And I think it was like GTA 4 or something. And she was like, oh no, no, I don't want to. Like, she wouldn't even touch the controller. Wow. She was acting like it was like a, like diseased Poison. or something. Well, I'm not gonna yeah, criticize like, a bitch though for not wanting to play video games. <laughs> just don't criticize me about wanting to play video games. That's all, all right, I can. Right, my right. girl only plays Animal Crossing. She don't touch other shit. That's cool with me. Let me have my own hobby. You could stay in your own lane. Just play Animal Crossing. I'm not gonna force you to touch no controller. I'm yeah, just gonna fucking yeah. go. Let me do what I want to do. She don't want to play games. She don't got to play them. Fuck out of here. I, I mean, but she was. Anyway. She wasn't even. She doesn't even. Have, she doesn't have to even really get into it like regular. I mean, she couldn't even pick up the controller and just like drive around a little bit. 
Like she was acting like it was like infected or something. Listen, she can grab this cock and wiggle that around like a joystick. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Like I'm gonna do me. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do. Even I had bitches come over and I'll be playing the game. They trying to get me off the game. There's only one way to get me off this game. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, I'm playing. I'm yeah. finishing my game. I, I will say I try to have a balance. Like I try to stay conscious. You know, spend time with you know my girl or whatever. You know, spend time with the game. I, I try to have a balance and I try to be respectful of that. I can't just sit on my fucking TV and controller for fucking twelve hours a day or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Nah, nah, not all that. But I'm yeah. saying if I want to play the game, I'm playing the game, man. I had a chick yeah, come over one time. This when Gears Three <laughs> came out. When Gears Three came out. Yeah, you know I'm saying I bust all on her face, gave her a towel. I got on Gears Three. Yo. Now sit here and watch me. Yo. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And she sat right there and watched. Day. What you mean? So hard eight. Look at that. How crazy? What you are? Right, so what you, you doing? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's say this nigga. Let's say this nigga. What you doing, Jay? What you mean? What about that? I'll what be like, mean? I'm What's a, crazy. I'm a, I do whatever the fuck. Look, like, look. So when it comes to when it comes to my relationship, I do whatever I want. But still, like, yeah, that don't like, sound like I mean, it. But go ahead. So, but no, nah, but she talk about busting on the bitch day face and then. I mean, she wasn't nobody ears. important. Shit. Oh, so, but yeah. I, okay, that's, oh, if we just talking about random random ladies, I don't, I don't even think I mean, that's, that's what that freaky about. though. Is that that freaky? Nobody said that's freaky. The guy, no, you know, that's that's. I, I mean, we talking about random. Crazy. I mean, we really random chicks. You know what I'm saying? But um. Yeah. I mean, if, if that's if that's if that's the if that's the way she like to get treated, that's cool. I'm cool with that. No, but the I'm point was like, the point that, is I'm gonna play this game. That's what I want to do right now. Absolutely, I understand <laughs> that. that. That's what I'm saying. That shit. I mean, if you 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 involving yourself with some crazy ass hoes. Like, I mean, I, I don't know. I like them classy bitches. So I don't I don't know. I mean, freak in the sheets, dude. Listen, lady man. in the street. Ain't no freak in the sheets. Just get, every girl like to get her face nutted on. That ain't that ain't no freak in the sheets. Every girl I've been with, it, that, I, I, that's how I mark my territory. I nut on your face. <laughs> then why were you talking out. about what, what was the time <laughs> you were doing that? on the game? That's yeah, I did. Oh, okay. Shut your dumb ass up. That's right. what I said. <laughs> You talk in fucking circles. You don't know what the fuck you're talking <laughs> about. <laughs> 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 you know what the fuck you're talking about, 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 You know what the Matter sunglasses you got on. Shut your <laughs> all, lives yeah. Yeah. all lives matter. I never even said no political shit. Where are you shut pulling your, the shit out your ass, man? You make shit up. Hey, you talking shit talking about all the issues on here. Nigga, you know damn well you don't talk like that in front of your girl, nigga. You what know damn well you want one knee on Of course I act a little different around women than I do with my boys. What the fuck does that mean? Of course, dude. The same way when you get around another woman. What the fuck? No, that's not how that's not how you do it. What the fuck are you talking about? You fuck boy, and you know it. It's like you dumb. Oh, Gilbert, you ass nigga. Shut the fuck oh, up. Dre, why are you getting so emotional, dude? You man, you that's are losing your fucking cool, bro. That's the way bro. I talk. See, that's what I'm saying. That's oh, the way man. I talk. Uh, yeah, now, and you, you have that I'm same energy out of the world and shit. You don't like when a grown man come at your stupid ass. But if it's anybody else, you sound stupid as fuck. Somebody come at your neck, you soft as fuck. Oh, oh man. man. Hey, hey, yo, hey, yo. Hey, yo, we need the only one back to come calm Jay down, man. The only one back and the only one to scare this nigga, man. That's the way I talk. That's the way I speak. No, no, you don't talk like that to the only one. You don't talk like that to the back. No, you don't talk like that to the back. No, no, you respectable to the back. No, you respect the back. No, fam. No, fam. No, that back be having you shook, nigga. No, fam. Yo, hold on. Why you right, calling that my man Fitz like, like that? Hey, why you? I thought you were Fitz with school. I fuck with Fitz. I fuck with Fitz. But that, that's, I don't understand y'all niggas. So when I corrected wanted, myself, no, 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 dude, no, no. I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> that's cool. I didn't know what you were saying. And then you came at me, dude. Can that's I what happened. All right, go ahead. Hold on, 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 time out, time out, time out, flag on the play, hold on. All right, let Fitz and um Jay handle their differences. Go ahead.
No, no, what I'm saying, I no, but that's I don't understand why niggas always feel like just because a nigga argue with somebody, they like I can't be cool with the nigga. I don't give a fuck. We argue with so the fuck. Yeah, like, I, I, I ain't got no hatred towards nah, you. Nigga, what the you fuck? was hurt. You was hurt when what? you said I was emotional. When niggas always say some, you being emotional. That's <laughs> really? not how it that's works. That's not yes. how it works in my fucking what, circle. Okay. Yeah, yes. You got a whole. I didn't know who made these rules. I don't know who made these rules. Oh, clearly no, you're making the rules right now. Any nigga that, any nigga that, that's the first thing is always do. Oh, you being emotional. That is not how that. You can't bring that shit out. You sound like a female. Uh, I don't know. I don't oh, know. I, I never I heard never, that rule before. You're making that shit. Yes, mm, yes right, but that's kind of picture there. I never understand when people always say, you being emotional. No, just because I'm raising my Hey, voice. look at the chat, man. Look at the chat. I don't know if they're feeling what you're saying, though. That. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hold on. Hey, let me hey, let me get let me hey, get the, uh, um, Let me just say I'm cool with you, dude. Like, all right, all right, all right. All right. All right. Cool by y'all, right. my lord. Cool by y'all. Just bullshitting. Uh, hey, I'm cool with you. I cool no by y'all, my I, lord. I, I, hey, let me just explain though, real quick. Can I? Uh, I I didn't understand what you, I, I legit. I thought you were saying like if you're really with your LTR bitch, like your long term relationship bitch, like nothing on her face is a little bit out of line or something like that. That's what I thought you were going. So if I was wrong, my bad, dude. My bad. You play, don't all right. <laughs> all right. Oh, my God. I tried to take the high road. All right. All right. All right. All right. That's cool. All right. All right. All right. Shout out to Forget It Brian. He said, Hard ain't trying to play Death Strand into the truth. What? I didn't get that. I didn't get that. I didn't get that. Sorry. I didn't get that. Hold on, Jeremy. Okay. All right, don't let me get the bat in here, because y'all niggas acting up. Now, if yo, I get yo, the bat. Get the bat signal. Get the bat you know signal, mean? man. Hey, up. shout out to King Green. He said, shout out to that man, one bat. I came from Reddit. The fuck out of here, Green. You been here. Yo, <laughs> 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 oh, that's funny. Hey, shout out to Big Alabaster. Big super chat today, man. He said, tell Cole to get over here and say competition is good. Now, Cole don't fuck with me like that, dog. You know what I mean? Well, how much so, was that super chat? It was a, it was a, it was a C note. A C note, man. Make it, uh, make it two notes and I say it. <laughs> Change is good. Oh, competition is good, too. Shout out to Fantasy Life. He said, anyone catch Cassidy versus Hitman battle? Yeah, that's old, fam. But yeah, we we seen it. We I seen it anyway. Uh, so shout That's out. That's what to, he was saying. He he was making a reference that Cassidy called him emotion. Oh, okay, okay. Shout out to XRP dishwasher. He said the only one bat signal is a glizzy. No. <laughs> Yo, wow. shout out to forget it, Brian. Y'all missed the whole point. The eight story. Y'all horny. <laughs> What did you put in the chat, Brad? Shout out yeah, to Kenj. He said, uh, used to get whooped. Uh, girls wouldn't want me, and my dad thought I was gay because I like video games and watch anime as a kid. Damn. Damn. That's because you ignored the bitches. You got to have uh, a... <laughs> wow. Hey, hey I mean, hit that kid, like you know. button, man. Hit that like button. If you're not ashamed of gaming, hit that like button. Cole, you like 88. Are you ashamed to tell people you play games? Absolutely not. Do Never you have. ever hide? Are you ever self conscious about it? Any way, any Never. form? Never. Anybody in here? No. Nope. Nobody. Y'all sound I like y'all lying like a motherfucker. Go ahead, go ahead. When, like, I'm just talking to random people, um, and it's just when you bring out that video games, it's just, it's, I just, for, for a, like a couple seconds, I feel kind of like nerdy or like, I don't know, like they're going to. It's just, I don't know, it's just an uncomfortable thing, like video games. I don't know, it's not like movies or whatever. It's getting to be know. there. It's getting better. It's getting better, I think. Uh, like, I, even people I work with, I would tell them straight up, I want to take this day off because Street Fighter Five is coming out. I didn't fuck. I don't give a fuck. And they would be cool with it, as long as I'm being honest. They didn't give a fuck. Yo, they do that at um, ShopRite? They let you just take a day off? Yeah, I had to, uh, well, the way I work, I, if I had somebody to cover my shift and somebody agreed, I would trade shifts or something like that, you know? Okay. Yeah, I'll just call out. Fuck it. <laughs> PTO, baby. PTO. <laughs> so when, when you guys get called in, do you, uh, what do you guys do? You, like come in or make up an excuse or what, what's your normal reaction if you get called in on a day off? I don't pick up. <laughs> For real, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? You see that work number, don't answer. Nigga, you already know what it is. <laughs> 
You okay. know? Yeah, but then you're like ignoring them. What you say, um, Jay? Like, like, yeah. Oh. yeah, you can't do that much. It's the day off. Oh well, you, I mean, you're a crossing guard, so you got to make sure them kids get across oh, the street. The fucking <laughs> so I mean, I wouldn't want to do that. And I'm there for the kids. I'm there for the kids. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you see, I usually, you know, niggas, niggas, <laughs> niggas can call out every day. Yo. This nigga got a everybody, platinum. Everybody can do your job. You got a platinum whistle, right? Fuck that. Hey, you, you don't want to just completely ignore your employer, though. Like, answer him, but then just hey, tell Jeremy, him. Hey, Jeremy, shut up. Shut up. Damn, shut up, Jeremy. This nigga sound like, like, nah, good. nigga, nah, nigga. The phone ring and say work, nigga, I ain't answer. Fuck you talking if about. If you want to advance in your company, you got to slay for him. That's the way you got to. That's the way I, that's how I work. Listen, man. You, nigga, you got to just tell him, like, Y'all niggas believe I'm not, Trump. I'm not need any more hours right now. Man, fuck all that. So we done switch. Like, they appreciate a no more than just getting ignored. We was talking about being ashamed of the high that you play games. Yeah. And y'all got to understand, when I first started gaming, it was, like, amazing. Like, it was new, and everybody... Hold on, Pong? Like, Pong was amazing. Pong That's when you first started little, gaming. It was absolutely. Pong. Absolutely. <laughs> it, it, right. And it was amazing. And I had this little handheld football game, and it was nothing but just lines, and you just had to move a line up and down. Everybody thought that stuff was cool because it was brand new. Yeah. Over time, and like when Nintendo took over, that's when it sort of was aimed more at kids, and they did a really great job of reviving everything. And that's sort of where that stigma came in. But from the beginning, it was not anything to be ashamed of. That sort of happened after. And then, of course, PlayStation sort of killed all of that and made it where it's more mainstream, and it's for adults, not only for children. So I have never been ashamed of it, although people have tried to ridicule me for it. But I've, the, like, similar to what Aid has said, the shit that I survived, somebody to try to make jokes because I play video games, if that's the worst I ever have to deal with, I take that 100 times out of 100. So I've never really had to hide that I enjoy playing games, and I never will. No, not at all. I never, never hit it. I don't feel self conscious about it, or I feel like I gotta no, hide it, or proud none of, that. of it. Like, yeah, I play games. Fact. Fuck you, talking about. <laughs> proud of it. Invest in it. Invest heavily in all of it. And if they hear anybody yeah. down, you gotta just show them Grand Theft Auto Five and shit. Like, oh, listen, <laughs> take this shit for kids. I'm about to go pick up a hooker, get my dick sucked, and had a bitch riding me in the car. Then I'm gonna go torture this motherfucker. Like, yo, this ain't no, this ain't for kids. You know hey, I don't know if the stigma though yeah. comes from it being for kids so much as like somebody looking at you like, oh, you you spend too much time like doing. You're not really a go getter because you play video. Well, no, games no, no. Like no. I mean, it was I always think, it was. Uh, no, nah, it was remember, always considered remember, as a toy. It was always considered yeah, as a it toy. Was it, was, it was it was like the expectation was after a certain age you will outgrow this, and how can you? Yeah. Uh, okay. Playing, it's never happening. It's still never playing happening. video games. It's never happening. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Right. I find it weird. That's where I, the I stigma came not, from. not that I find it weird, but uh, I know a couple of people that used to be hardcore gamers, and they they completely outgrown it. Like they don't play games no more. And I'm like, I can't like never see that happening, man. I can't yeah. never. I can't never see that happen. I can't keep up. <laughs> no, it wasn't even about being good or bad. I just can't never see myself waking up one day and thinking I don't want to play games no more, unless it came down to like Nintendo was the only thing left. And even <laughs> then, <laughs> even then, I still would probably like fuck it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think uh, like there are certain sh certain shit in life I do outgrow. Games ain't one of them. Shit. Yeah, yeah, but it's, and that's a, so, so. I always look at eight. Look at him sideways when he, he always hating on Nintendo. But one of the things, one of the points that he makes, which is valid, and it fits in with what you just said, just fits was the game. The love for gaming doesn't change, but the type of gaming that you enjoy does change. Mm -hmm. So. And that's why there's a whole range of games available for a bunch of different people. But in yeah. the past, it wasn't like that. Everything was aimed at kids, which is why he can't get past the fact that the Switch is a phenomenon and it's for more than just kids. Man, that shit is crazy. See, there's a guy at my work who was really into Fallout, <laughs> played a lot of New Vegas, and then Fallout 4, he has like 2,000 hours in, and now he doesn't even really play video games anymore. He said like since like a month ago, he he or like he, a few months ago he just stopped playing for some reason and he only gets on his Xbox like once a month now. And he's oh, he like got 18. an Xbox. That that says it all. <laughs> Nigga got an Xbox. That's why he stopped playing. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? I don't want to hear about these weird niggas. Can we switch the subject? <laughs> All right. So, um, there's an there's an interesting article about how is uh you know Game Pass. It's an opinion piece. Uh, Xbox Game Pass may not be such a great deal after all. You know what I mean? And um, basically, in the article, the guy just went on to say that, you know, he had Game Pass for a year, and he could, he could, you know, he can count on one hand how many games that he actually played, like seriously played, like really played. Not just downloading shit just to be like, oh, that's cool, and then move on to the next one. He was talking about, like, really played. And I, I think I made this point before that Game Pass, it, it ranges if it's a good deal or not, but depending on who you are. Like I said before, if you just started gaming last night, yeah. then Game Pass will be amazing. But if you're somebody that played games day one and you actually finish them, then Game Pass can have a less, you know, a less effect. Good deal. Good deal. But, yeah, it's not the end-all, be-all. I mean, these dudes are going fucking crazy with this Game Pass shit. Like uh, so I think that I agree with you, Eight. Like, let me off the top. I agree with you. It depends on who you are and what your tastes are. When we've discussed this before, like Game Pass changes from month to month, right? And sometimes they have some really good stuff in there. Sometimes, you know, it's stuff that you've already played or played on a different console or whatever it is. But the point is, like you said, it's still a good deal no matter what. It may not have the same impact on you as it has on other people. But if you're willing to spend them rewards points, you get it for free with, well, with no cash, you get to spend them rewards points. And it, for me, Game Pass, until they start dropping the, the first party bangers day and date, for me, what Game Pass does is it allows me to look at games that I would have got while they was on sale or some other time. And it's like a, a, a buffet. You can just keep trying a bunch of stuff until you find something that you want and the barrier for trying all of that stuff is real low but i have found that for me personally i've started to value my time more than the money that i'm saving and i would much rather rather than spend three hours exploring something in game pass i would much rather go ahead and put that three hours onto something that's more critically acclaimed. I completely agree. Sure. Yeah. yeah. That's where I'm at right now with Game Pass, but I still think it's a great deal. It's something there for everybody. Yeah, it's a money-saving service. It's not a new game or anything, but if, if your time is far more valuable than your money, you're not going to split hairs over saving 10, 20 bucks or getting a free game here or there. Exactly. Yeah, but there are a lot. I'm not trying to, but I think not trying to play yeah. trash, though. <laughs> But I there think are. in the long in the long See, run, I think. I think yeah, damn, Jeremy. Go ahead, one at a time. One at a time. Go ahead, Jeremy. I'm finished what you were saying in the long Go run. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. I was saying that I think Xbox's bigger draw than Game Pass is uh, just the backwards compatibility. Like I, I don't, I don't necessarily, um, I'm not necessarily aware of like what games are on Game Pass on my Xbox at any given time. But I do know that the backwards compatibility and being able to play like a lot of really good 360 games is is more important than the subscription service to me. I mean, you can my... still buy them, though. Yeah. Hey, hold on. Who want to drop out? Somebody need to try. I need one person to drop out. I'm going to head out oh. of here. Who is that? Nah. All yeah, right, nah. Easy. Peace. Y'all want to let Nah talk, man. Now nah, you want to leave. All right, Nah. <laughs> Dang. I got to let him talk, man. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Continue. <laughs> There okay. are a lot of critically acclaimed games on Game Pass, from what I've seen. I mean, by the time if, they get there, you don't already been indie? finished. If, you, if, if you're a person that keep up with games, by the time they get to Game Pass, you don't already been done with the motherfuckers. That is true. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, These critically acclaimed games, are they indie games or are they like big budget games? I don't know, like, they have Star, both in there. They do have both. Order. They got both. I, but I beat those guys. I played those games. I'm like, I never like, played it before. So, you know, but I feel like in the long run, when these games start coming out, like the big budget games, I feel like they might put Battlefield Six in there. Uh, Day I mean, one? I think so. I, I don't know. They didn't even pick UFC mm. in there. UFC still not even on EA Play. UFC Four. So I don't even. Know, I don't know if they're gonna put that in there. Because I, I mean, because EA Play on P, uh, on. Um, yeah, I know. Like, I, what, you didn't just hear what I said. No, no. Well, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to agree with you, Dick. Like, no, you said no. I know you said because EA Play, and I'm like, yo, UFC no, no, Four I'm is because. No, because I'm saying, because with, um, what's the joint on uh, PC? The 
Because if they put it in, I feel like if they just did that deal with them, they will put it in there. I, I do feel like it might go on a battle. It's possible. It's possible. That's what I'm saying. I heard that um, coming at my neck, nigga. Resident <laughs> Microsoft is trying to put Resident Evil 8 on Game Pass day one, but uh, the deal with Sony is uh, apparently preventing. Where you hear this from? Where, where from you hear this from, Jeremy? Yeah, that's brand new. It was an article. I Let me see you look it was some documents that um, people. Oh, that's where that whole keeping that. games off of Xbox shit come from. Uh huh. But dude, whole <laughs> law did a whole video on it. It was an excellent video explaining that whole thing, and he he killed all the rumors. Um, but he's an he's an attorney, uh, virtual legality, and he is an attorney and does stuff with like the video game industry. And he got the copy of the document. He wouldn't show it because he didn't want to get channel flagged. But he made some slides and he said, people think this means this, but it doesn't. It means that so on and so forth. And he broke the whole thing down. Excellent video. Y'all should watch it if you have any confusion or y'all still spreading those false rumors. Resident Evil definitely should go in Game Pass. What up, Gamer Forte? <laughs> Yo, what's up? Forte, what's what up? What up, though? What's good? You still, you still, uh, yeah, that's the GameStop dude that uh, only be try to sell Xboxes. He don't never want to sell them PlayStation. Uh, <laughs> hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He'd be mad as yeah, shit when somebody you. come in the store. Well, let's, be, let's, be for, no, let's be for real here. I done gotten more people PlayStation 5s than Xboxes over the last month, sir. So I mean, uh, shit, I That's like, good. Man. That I'm all about giving hey, people Hey, when they come in that store and they be like PlayStation 5, you be like, mm. Fuck. No nah, man, they walk in the store. <laughs> you don't want an Xbox? You don't want an Xbox? You sure you don't want an Xbox? No, I said a PlayStation, uh, Xbox motherfucker. Ain't no, Xbox ain't putting no money in my pocket. Well, so shit, why you be acting it? like it. You be all around. Oh, no. <laughs> Win. You I, nigga, I'll be saying you, nigga. Hey, Forte, no, you don't knock this where? shit off. Point to it where, bro. Dog. To it where. Every Point time, to it where. every time you uh, you put a picture up or something from uh, while you at work, you always got to make sure some Xbox shit in the background. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, nigga. Oh, okay. I'm uh, lying. See, wait, wait. He must didn't see the pictures where I posted my seven P's when I first got them with nothing but a PlayStation in the screenshot. With listen, him. man. He, listen. You must didn't see listen, that screenshot. Listen. I'm just telling you what wait, I've been wait, seeing oh, lately. Oh, no, you must didn't see the, the Spider Man PS5 and PS4 Pro that I had when I bought it day one with no Xbox in the screenshot with it. Did you? I mean, you how many see years that was that? How many years ago was that? Dude, how many how many years do they come up with systems? I'm like, just, all I'm saying listen, is what I've been seeing lately. Just, boy, hold listen, just because I don't go okay. out and my, just because I don't go out and sell my shit six times in one fucking console. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh shit! I can only I, hey, I'm not rich like hey, you, bro. Hey man, I got one hey. system. Hey. One system per generation when it comes to each one. Hey. Forte, don't Microsoft own you though? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Microsoft, Microsoft, hey, Microsoft owns some stuff in there. I guess I don't know what the hell it is. I ain't getting nothing from well, it. He said, "Don't Microsoft right. own you." True. <laughs> yeah. hey, I'm thought wherever the motherfucking games is at, man. You know what I mean? I don't I'm gonna know, do what man. I gotta do. I'm gonna do what I gotta do. There it is. You know what I'm saying? But Look out yeah. for your boy on one of those t- those thirty eighties when you get one next time. No, nah, we don't do. I don't know what they are, man. We don't do them no more. <laughs> oh yeah, well thirty. So hard at you. You did the stream of Ninja Gaiden. What about the new Ninja Ninja Gaiden and Ninja Gaiden? I never heard you talk about that. What about it? What you mean? What the, about it? The newer Ninja Gaidens. Have you played them? Would you be um, open to I had Ninja Gaiden the first two. Ninja Gaiden. On 360, but um, I got to the—I don't know what part I was at. I was pretty far in the game. It was like a part where you had to climb these big ass stairs or some shit like that. And that shit kept crashing, man. It just kept crashing. On hey, the 360. Uh, I, hey, I got a question just... for you though. Uh, uh, you, I tweeted you about something, and you said uh, save it for Sunday or something like that. I'm trying to remember how exactly I asked it. It was something like um, if Ninja Gaiden and some of these old games aren't aren't exactly hard, they're more in that bullshit like oh, difficulty yeah, yeah. tier. Then what is a hard game? Because if you say modern shit isn't really hard, because you could just beat it and you know try it as many times as it takes, you could pound your head against the wall. Eventually, you fucking beat it. But some of these old games are so bullshit like, with their difficulty. Then what is a hard game at Crash that point? Crash Bandicoot One. That's a hard game. Crash, yeah. Crash Bandicoot One. I mean, yeah, Crash Bandicoot yeah, is a hard game. That. That's yeah. a hard. That's a hard, that's a pretty. Yeah, it was challenging. Game. Yeah, I platinum yeah, that. It was challenging. Game. I, I think like uh, I think game. Dead Space Two was a hard one. If you went after that achievement, where you only could save three times in the whole game, oh, that yeah, was a hard. Yeah, that's that's right. a, that, yeah that's but trophies are a little different though. But that, that's what I think makes the game hard. But no, though, that's the know? um, that's the no, the game is you can't you can only save three game three times. Th- 
three times in the whole game. That's and there's like what, 15 chapters in that game. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So, I yeah. Think, uh, so if, that's, if that's the case, then that means the last of us two is the hard, one of the hardest games ever made. Then if you go, if you want to talk, like, but you don't get the trophy to the permadeath though. But, I mean, if oh, you, you talking about that. if you play the permadeath mode? Yeah, if you play the yeah, permadeath. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's hard yeah. too. That's I was gonna say. I think yeah, that's hard too. At, a, hard at an abstract no, level, hard. a hard game is any game where there is a real consequence for dying. Yeah, for dying. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And games the today don't have no consequence. Is, right. If there is no consequence for dying, then the game is easy because so, uh, it's your will. To just keep playing. Anytime it. you can say, anytime you can just pause the game and restart the level, like, yeah, there's no consequences, yeah. dog. Like, yeah. oh, damn, I fucked One that. I'm going to start over. That, huh? that kind of does. Shadow, Shadow of War does have some consequence because if, oh, like, yeah, an enemy, enemy captain harder. kills you, yeah, yeah they'll, le they'll level up and then the game state changes, meaning, like, your army that you spent all the time recruiting and building up, they could, like, you know, leave or, you know, change allegiance. Or if you're doing a... Uh, attacking a stronghold um you go all the way to the end and then you die you have to like restart like the whole thing and and there's there's a, definitely a setback when you die in that game i wouldn't say shadow of war is a great yeah, that's it's a good mechanic it's though between setbacks and not that's being fine. able to continue no, like cole, story because like, you yeah. died. like cole said i mean can you imagine that's gotta have consequences like, yeah i mean can you imagine playing like you know ghost of shushima or one of these big Open world games now, and then you got to go all the way back to the beginning. Man. Nobody will finish that. Game. Well, you ain't got well, to, yeah. maybe not well, back to the beginning, but, about, but lose what like about the three levels, four levels, maybe something like that. But is that actually? But is that actually hard though? I mean, because you do that kind of in Bloodborne. I mean, well, I mean, no, yeah, Bloodborne is easy as fuck. I don't want to hear about Bloodborne saying, but you no lose, more. But you lose shit. Though. I just seen a five year old mechanic. kid. I just punishment. seen a five year old kid playing Bloodborne. I want to hear about that game. It's not hard. <laughs> kid Smooth beat that game. That shit is not hard. <laughs> Yo, it's no, over. No, that shit is no, over. That's what I'm saying. Hey, that's what I'm saying. Like right now, bro. That game is bullshit. That game is not hard, dog. I was I was once proud. Of having that platinum, but after Smooth beat it, and then I seen a five year old kid today, yeah, I'm good. Damn. <laughs> that's, what, like, that's what I'm saying. So, Nick, can you name a game? Listen, any game, any game that Smooth beat, that is not something you should be proud of. Like, Seki Row. Seki Row. I'm being real. Man, hey, listen. Uh, that's real. <laughs> if, if, listen, yeah, any cool. game, real, listen. Real, so, listen, there are no hard games, really. Uncharted 4, you could be proud of that because that game made him crack. Like, he hey, couldn't beat okay. it. Oh, yeah. Can he I expand upon that real quick, yeah. though? All right. So, Uncharted 4 is hard difficulty. You guys refer to it as whack a mole. I, I beat all the Halo 2s on Legendary. Halo. Yeah. Yeah, all the Halos. Halo mm -hmm. 2 is very much like Whack-A-Mole. But would you say, yes, those games are challenging in their way, but at the same time, with, when a hard mode like that doesn't represent what the game should actually play like, then that hard mode is in, in is a, of itself a failure. Would you say that? Yes, I would say that because the old Call of Duties was like that. Playing on Veteran is pretty much like you... Like, yeah. Wait a minute! Did Tehran give his opinion without seeing what hard eight happened? <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow. Oh, Damn. Oh, okay. wow! But nah, on some real shit though. Like, you know, like I, like I, I mean, as a gamer, you know, and I play a, if I play a hard game or a game that's you know uh, that's that's uh, classified as hard. If somebody like Kid Smooth beat that shit, I'm not proud of that no more. So that's your measuring stick, whether Kid Smooth beat it? No, if Kid Smooth beat it, no, it's a couple what people, what though. If Smooth got better, though. If, it's not just Kid Smooth. Like, like, no, if Kid Smooth beat a game that's supposed to be hard, oh, yeah. absolutely, it goes yes, out the door. Yeah. But I think, uh, for me, I like... He might be training. He might be training and getting ready and shit. No, no, no. But there's levels. No, I got... I feel like the same way with, like, um... It's a couple people. Like, even Jack move. Like, sometimes, like, if he beat a game, like, if Jack move beat a game, it's like, I know I could beat the game. Like, I know I could beat the shit. But no, but when it comes to Smooth, though, if Smooth beats a game that's supposed to be hard, that game ain't really hard, dog. Like, it ain't, it, no, I don't man, want that no more. He banged his head against the wall. For I don't give a fuck what he did. Hours. He did it. He did it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need, I, I can't, like, I used to be proud of Bloodborne Platinum. You know what I mean? But now that shit, like, 35% people got that shit. Smooth and beat it. I seen a five-year-old kid playing it on Twitter today. Um, I, I, yeah, he, he got, he, he got, shit, he was getting far. He was I beating mean, all the bosses. It, 
I mean, but there's so many guides out there now that people can just walk through Bloodborne. No, nah, this little kid can't oh, even I'm read, dog. Right now, he can't. Just... This little kid can't even read, <laughs> dog. He might be a prodigy, bro. You never no. know. No. Prodigy. No. He's a chosen one. He's a chosen one. You might be out here. All right, let me say this. All right, let me say this. Let me say this. You you look at a game like Sekiro, right? That's a that's that's a diff yeah. difficult, right? Difficult. So if you came online like, yeah, man, I just beat Sekiro, man. Damn, I feel good. And then somebody like, yeah, 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 Kid Smooth beat that game. Now, you're not going to feel some type of way. You're not going to feel down yeah, after that. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. It just depends on how long, man. I don't give a fuck how long. You ain't going to be like, damn, Smooth beat this? Oh, man. Yeah, there's no modern game. I might. You might feel embarrassed. Like, damn, like, I struggled that what hard. What modern game does Smooth really struggle with, yeah. though? Like, one, Uncharted 4, that's it? Dog, no, you might. I mean, he struggled on all those games last until he started cheating. Was, until he started cheating. Was, but listen, you're going to feel some type of way when you find out <laughs> Smooth beat a game, dog, that's supposed to be hard. Yeah. You might feel a little <laughs> embarrassed. Like, damn. You, damn. Yeah. I struggled. Smooth isn't your measuring stick, but it clearly sounds like it is, man. No, like listen. Listen, you like, damn, I struggled that hard and this nigga beat it? I'm, you, gonna, you ain't even going to tell it, nobody. It, no, it, I'm just playing. It, I ain't beat that. I mean, so he basically, could use well, we should, we should, Hey, we should use Dr. Trey. Use, use uh, Trey. Use Trey. Dr. Trey. So this is all this basically tells me is we basically never need to ask Smooth and do a challenge with him because he's going to devalue everybody's fucking game. Right, right. Yes. Yeah, so I mean, if he, if, my game if, crazy. if he beat it, I know. I mean, I know some games he ain't going to beat. Like, he wouldn't beat Ninja Gaiden. He wouldn't be out. He wouldn't beat Mike Tyson Punch Out. All right, so, but, right. Right. but he can't. We'll but he's be. also said that he can't beat Ori. So does that make it a hard game? No. He said he can't. He he literally Whoa. said he can't beat that game. If you can. put a thousand dollars on the line, yeah, you he, think can. he could. He can. No, I don't know. But that's the Xbox game, though. You would think he want to play that motherfucker. Though. I mean, that like, game, that, that game trash. Man, nobody want to play that shit. That game ain't fucking trash. trash. That game no, garbage. Trash, that game is nuts. Man, that trash. game boring as that hell, game is dog. Fire. Man. You don't like 2D games, though, Hardy. Y'all love running around as a like little cat. Uh, you, don't, you just don't damn, like 2D man. games. Hard Day ain't running around in Battlefield, man. It's, it's terrible. <laughs> uh, it ain't just bad. I like I like way more games than just Battlefield, yo. Well, I know. that was. Just I like speed. big budget action good <laughs> games, dog. Yes. Big budget. Yep. You too, bro. I don't like want to play no fucking Ori, good. dog. Yeah. I tried to play game, it. It looked though. cool. It looked nice. But it, I could that is a game. That's a game game. So, hey, hold on. How come you will play Cuphead, but you won't play Ori? Cuphead was fire. Man, Cuphead was fire. Did Kids Move beat Cuphead? I think uh, he did. Did he Kids Move beat Cuphead? Be no, be I don't Cuphead. think he did. I don't think he did. No, I, I, I remember he trained. Oh, that's he good. I believe he did. Let me see. I'm going I'm I'm to see if he beat that shit. He I'm said, sure. he said he that shit. Be because Smooth is going to discredit it. Cuphead too? Shit. If he beat Cuphead, then that shit ain't, getting rough. That shit ain't hard either, man. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is getting rough. There's no hard games. Because nah, I remember because uh, nah. Bond was lying. He was talking about he uh, he only died like five times or some shit. Oh, my God, dude. Didn't he Come only on. show his boss run at the end? Uh, he 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 that was it. All he showed. He had the, uh, what's the dude name? That walk around with the belt. That was cheating in the game, uh, hip hop game. And yeah, that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Let me. I'm gonna see if Smooth beat. I don't. I'm not sure Smooth beat uh, Cuphead. I'm not. I'm pretty sure. Yo, now that I'm looking talking. at this. So listen, right? <laughs> so you know, on Xbox, they got a leaderboard for like how many achievements you get in a month, right? Yeah. So yeah. Did he? Did he I'm pass at, you again? No, 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 no. I'm not. So I'm at no. the top of the leaderboard for the because that that was my um. I had a goal for myself to be at the top of the leaderboard. But I had two other dudes that was on my list, my friend list. That's usually at the top every fucking month. And now that they see that they about to lose to me, they remove themselves off my friend list. Ooh, <laughs> ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, they're scared. Yo, so, what type of gotta, shit is that? I went to go look at yeah. this shit today and I was like, when the fuck did Hard 8 get 9,500 achievement points? Shit, I'm at See, yeah, that's, that's, like, What the hell were you playing, bro? Damn, you got 9,500 right. in a month? I'm at 13,000. Well, I'm at 14,000 right now. In a month? I, how yeah. many of those games did you cherry pick? Damn, that's good, list, dude. Bro. I, I cherry picked a lot. I cherry picked them not off of just smooth lists, but off of. Uh, Oh, achievement that's... hunters, like what? What, what yeah, easy games y'all playing? Let me tell you, man. Uh, hell yeah! What achievement? It got like that, man. What easy game? No, it wasn't like it's not like like 
it, it was just something for me to do. I'm not yeah, doing this I shit. Yeah, I feel you. I'm not doing this shit ever month. again. I'm not yeah. doing it next month. It's just for this month, I was just having a little fun. You just fun. wanted to rub their face in it, huh? Fucking with Smooth, and that's it. I ain't doing this shit. I'm, I'm not doing this shit again. I believe that. So how do you how do you earn the achievements when you're playing on uh, PC? Nigga, Xbox Steam? Live, nigga. Xbox Live, you log in. You, it's tied to oh, your, I got, I got Game Pass pieces. on PC, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so only only the only the Game Pass games well, qualify. No, no I mean any Xbox game. Any, yeah. any yeah. you know Xbox games are on PC, right? And Xbox yeah. Live is on. You know, like my uh, profile is there. Any well, Xbox, Xbox game on, I play on PC, I get achievements just like I would if I had a motherfucking yeah. uh, you know. Even so if you sign into Steam, Steam or even if you sign into uh, like Steam and buy, let's say, the Master Chief Collection, they're yeah, going to ask still, you to sign into your profile Xbox, on yeah, Xbox, and Xbox, and the Steam achievement will translate. Yeah. I don't, but oh, I okay. mean, we we really gonna sit here and call Kid Smooth completely trash though at all games? Like, I mean, I, yeah, you, yeah. Still, you still got to give him some I, type I, of. Oh, I, I give him credit, dude. He's a gamer. Kid Smooth is a gamer. I may clown him every time I see him starting a generation playing something like Paw Control on the first day that he got his Xbox, oh, yeah. but you know, he's no, a gamer. No, first, no, 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 Smooth, no, no, no. He actually played games. Smooth That's is what trash. Playing. Like, what we know, Smooth okay, is he's garbage. Trash, but he's a gamer, I saw though. You play him against Halo? I'm no, not. You played Halo like I mean, crazy. I'm not disputing that he's a gamer. I'm not disputing that he's a gamer. I'm not disputing. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna call him a trash. I mean, but then again, he beat games that most people in this community haven't beat yet either. That is true. I don't know. That's true. I don't know. Yeah, but most people ain't have a thousand dollars on the line either. That could be some motivation. That's true. That could be some motivation, nigga. Give me a thousand dollars to beat Ninja Guy, nigga. I beat that shit right. You still beat it though. Sure. You still beat it though. But I'm saying that's a lot. That's some motivation, dog. Yeah, you, you gotta understand, he wouldn't even play these games if that money wasn't on the line. He made though. more than that thousand dollars off the ad revenue. Oh yeah, he wouldn't even play these games if that money wasn't on the line. Uh, you, you right, you right. You know what Yo, I'm saying? Hey, did you uh, did you ever play Crash Bandicoot Four? That might be something you could be smooth at. That I did. Shit. Yeah, it's pretty hard. Nah, I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't. could do it though. I didn't get four. Put his mind to it. I didn't get four. I didn't get four. Bro, we four get, hard as shit. Four is four is amazing. That game is amazing. We're going to get these Battlefield 6 streams. No, one, one was hard. One was hard. Crash one was hard. Four, four was harder yeah, than four. one, dude. Yeah, four is In harder than game. one. That's a fact. What? Yeah, no, four is harder than one. Oh, I platinumed no, one. I cannot platinum four. four. Bro, I will not no. even try. Uh, it. Maybe, maybe you get rusty. Maybe you get rusty. You gotta get back nah, I don't know nobody uh, that one hundred percent completed Crash Four, dog. No, Crash barely four anyone. Crash like, Four, not crazy. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah, I gotta leave this shit. No, yeah, for a one hundred percent run, it is that oh, crazy. Yo, 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 yo. Yeah. Black Mind about to pop up. Say he beat it when he was two years old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, he needs to provide receipts, man. I don't believe. Him I need to see these. I want to see. Damn, these I think what he said. He said three. He said he beat um he beat Mega, Mega Man, Man at three. Uh, I do not. Yeah, I thought it was two, but I, it, it got yeah, exact. Oh, it was. Did he say five? Okay. He said five. He said five. Well, that's he said possible. I don't know. I don't know. I still don't believe people like that when they make an outrageous claim unless they could provide receipts. Like I just I don't give anybody the benefit of the doubt on outrageous shit like that. I mean, I won't give him credit. He did stream the game. He ain't like take no damage or die no shit. Like he streamed the whole Mega Man shit. I'll give him credit on that. Oh yeah, I mean, Mega Man. Ass. He's definitely good at that game. Well, now, yeah, but now, yeah, now as a grown ass man, we talking about as a fucking toddler. I mean, Mega, I Man know, maybe a, maybe. Mega Man is a trial and error game. Once you figure yeah, out the pattern, he, he memorized game. everything. Yeah, he, I mean, he how, played it a lot as a kid. All those old gas games like that, though. Yeah, uh, Smooth did beat Cuphead. Smooth, Smooth beat Cuphead. Yeah, Smooth did. Damn, Damn, Cuphead's not hard anymore. Fuck. No. I don't understand <laughs> it, it, it. It's still a hard <laughs> game, though. No, like, it ain't. It, it really. So, ain't. No. So, like, oh, oh, come on. Okay, no, over here. <laughs> No, no. Once you I'm master, no, no. Once you play Cup and get used to it, it ain't really that hard, though. We you think? Oh, right. yeah. I mean, that's every, that's everything, everything, though. But, but, that, don't but you it got ain't. a nephew? You got a nephew, right? Who me? Yeah. Then you say yeah, you got a nephew. Yeah, yeah. You can buy games. Do you think he can beat Cuphead, though? I don't know. I ain't really seen him play. <laughs> I'm just but saying. Like, I mean, I feel like most kids can't play it. 
I mean, like, I don't know, man. Just I don't know. Just yeah. kids smooth beat it don't mean it's not yeah. a hard game. No, difficulty. no, 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 difficulty, no. Comes, difficulty comes from something having to be overcome. Something that you have to keep working at to actually get past. Exactly. Exactly. So you guys uh, said yeah. it has to have a strict death mechanic, like a punished for death. I don't, yeah, I don't Cuphead don't that. really have. That's, that's the extreme. That's the yeah, extreme that's true. Oh, it yeah, doesn't. There's, right. there, there's no, there's no, um, you know, there's Consequence. no consequences for death. Yeah. Um, you can't talk about games either because you steal all your games. <laughs> oh, damn. Bro. Hey, this nigga, all, all his characters got a fucking eye patch. I don't, I don't, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. That's the line. He buying, he buying Yo, everything. all his characters got an eye patch. First off, shit. first off, this, this thing cold taking, taking my shit out of the I say I don't have a problem with niggas buy, not buying a game or selling it because it means shit. All, all right, hold on. Let me, um, let me get to this. Let me get to this. Let me get to these super chats. and then yeah, we in your lane, Go in your lane. Shout out to uh, Forget It Brian. He said, Beanie debut album, eight, shaking my head. All right. Shout out to, uh, what is this? Sanyui.com, something like that. Critics literally bursting to talk about Returnal. Yeah, we about to talk about that. Shout oh, out yeah, to Toxic that, Hollow. He said, did y'all talk about the EDP situation? No, we who? did not. Oh, who? that shit was crazy. No, EDP. A YouTuber got caught see. on some. F- I don't yeah, want to talk about nigga. that shit. Another, another Yo, it's ten thousand niggas yeah, thirsty no. talking about that shit that don't even fucking uh, like, part of that community, no, no, that, dog. No, nah, the simple answer it. is simple answer is put a bullet in his head, and that's the end of it. That's oh, shit. shit. Called the day, nigga. What happened? Nigga in prison, bro. That nigga, that nigga <laughs> is a. Uh, let it go. A, let it go. Let, let it go. Yeah, I don't want to talk about that shit. A creep, yeah. nigga. He's a creep. I don't even watch dude to right, give a fuck. It's like somebody asking me about some fucking the sewing community. What do you think about Mary Sue and her husband cheating on her? Like, I don't fucking yo, watch that. Yo, you don't fucking but, but, know yo, about hey, he's, a, he's an Eagles fan like you, bro. He's from Oh, uh, what? what? What the fuck does that mean, nigga? I'm from Philadelphia. That's why I'm an Eagles fan. Is that nigga from Philly? Yeah, he's an Eagles fan. Is he from Philly? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he is. He is. making y'all look bad. Yeah, so eight. Man, that means so don't claim up <laughs> Shout out to, uh, yo, yo. Shout out to Eric Big Alabaster. He anyway. said, aye, aye. <laughs> but uh, to check out WWP to help me fall asleep. Facts. All right. <laughs> Shout out to President <laughs> PlayStation. Yeah, doing this. He said, Cold Safe Moon is the new crypto that's been on the market for three months and is doing numbers. And that other crypto would take years to reach. Please look into it. Man, I will. Good looking up. <laughs> All right. Shout out to Dizzy. Says, uh, side note, that Invincible episode this week was fire. Thanks for putting me oh, on. Oh, yeah. Eight. There you go. I put y'all on and yeah. I fell off. How, how you? <laughs> nigga, get back on that horse. You gotta I ain't watched that shit since episode three. That's crazy. Uh, I, I mean, I'll probably get back to it. I don't know. Them two episodes after one was like kind of boring to me. So. Yeah, that's why. Oh, that was fire. Sure. Get the coming to the age story. They get training and everything. That shit was crazy. Shout out to Richard Rivero. He said, I identify myself as one of cold three breeds. All right. Dear life. <laughs> Somebody said EDP is from LA. This nigga spreading misinformation, dog. Oh, oh shit. Spread misinformation. <laughs> They say he's from California. How the fuck you get Philadelphia? He, li- he, li- he lives in he lives he lives in California. Dog, they say he's he from in- California. Oh man, dog, know what you talking about? Spreading misinformation. Somebody he's from Philadelphia. Yeah, fuck out of here. Who sent you? Who you work for? <laughs> <laughs> hey, this nigga. Hey, this nigga work. This nigga work for uh, BG, nigga. He worked for BG. <laughs> <laughs> you work for BG, dog. What the fuck is going on over here? Spread misinformation. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's funny as shit. <laughs> Shout out to Luca Black. He said an arbitrary death limit isn't hard. All it does is make you remember enough to basically speed run a game. All right. I was all that. Shout out to Sukasa. He said smooth beat games by cheating. Why would I feel bad? Okay, that's true. Some of them. He did. Yeah, some of them. He definitely there cheated. Goes nothing. There goes nothing. Bloodborne, he cheated. Sekiro, he cheated. Last of Last Us. Last of Us. Dang, he cheated on all that oh, shit. 
Holy shit. Then those games are back in the discussion now. <laughs> back in the game. Hey, Hard Eight, are you proud of your uh, platinum on Bloodborne again? Nah, not at all. <laughs> no, still not. <laughs> even though Yo, that shit ain't even you, that shit ain't even rare no more. That shit is like uncommon. Oh, uh, yeah, it's like 5% or something. Yeah. No, that shit is like 30 something percent. Holy 25 shit. Percent. It can't be that high. Yo, check no. it out. Check it can't it. be that high. No. That OD hard. No, no, check no uh, I'm about to look. Uh, you must be struggling. It's you probably like five percent. No, I'm about to tell you what that platinum is right now. He's struggling to tell me it got to be hard. It's huh? still less than majority, though. Right, man, that shit is common, nigga. I don't give a fuck. I don't want no common platinum. I mean, I'm not going to be proud of no common platinum. <laughs> I ain't. I mean, I don't. I love him. Listen, man. Yo, what'd you say, Jay? Why are we proud of Pearl Platinum? Oh. Fr- be- that's 21.4. <laughs> yeah, that's 21.4. Hard to eat. I mean, you know, as a gamer, dog. Two percent. Okay, it's twenty-one percent. Oh, it's twenty-one percent. No, six point three. No, six point three percent. Yeah, it's twenty-one percent on PSN profiles, but uh, six. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Six point three on um on PSN. I mean, there's some trophies that uh, that are very rare as well, but they're they're just not hard. They're just things that people never went out of the way and did. So, oh, we're not talking about, about those. The challenge. Uh, the shout challenge out to, um, dungeons is what it was, man. Shout out to the urban legend. He said, I would still get topped off by Melina. No cap. And this nigga home. Oh, hell no. He's going to shred the fuck off. Shout out to Torrance Ingram. He said, eight don't want to talk about EDP because he a Philly native. No, he's not a Philly native, cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> See what I'm saying? See, this is why you can't be spraying misinformation. I, I think you read it wrong, though. Nah, I mean, ain't nobody read shit talk wrong. about EDP no, because just, you're a Philly native. Yeah. No, no. All right, maybe not. No, I read it right, nigga. He said, I ain't want to talk All about right. it because he's from Philly. <laughs> that nigga not from Philly. This other nigga in here. What's this nigga name spreading misinformation? <laughs> Who was that? E- E-K? I don't even. How you say your name, E-K? Hey, yeah. Oh, Equity? Equity? How you say your name? Equity. What the fuck is that? It's Nigerian. It's Nigerian? You're Nigerian, yeah. Oh, yeah, y'all like lying on the phone talking about I got money in this hey, that you're all that. <laughs> Y'all niggas stay lying anyway, man. This shit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about I got $3 billion in the account. Y'all niggas stay lying, man. This shit. Cousin in Zimbabwe, so yeah, yeah. yeah, you want to ship me that item? I want to give it to my son in the military and fucking... <laughs> fucking East Africa, some fucking weird. Get the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey. hey, before we get out of here, before we get out of here, let's tell you, them Nigerians, stay trying to rip you the fuck off and lying and shit. So it's fish. Oh, they, no, they lie. No, they lie. They lie like, man. They lie like crazy. Hey, hit the like button, people. Hit the like button. We got less than 300 likes, man. Yo, y'all look. That's what I'm saying, man. Y'all be hitting the, the like button on these fake ass gamers channel, but y'all can't hit the like button on some real shit. This all I'm fuck with y'all niggas, man, except the supporters. Fuck the rest of y'all niggas. It's that fucking like button. All right. Let's talk about Returnal. You dig? Returnal previews are out, and they are Uh-oh. they are glowing, glowing previews. I wouldn't fall for it, you know what I mean? I didn't see glowing previews before, <laughs> and the game turned out to be fucking trash. <laughs> um, but they saying that they are using the dual sense in a very great way, the best since uh, Astro Bot. So we'll see if that's true. All right. Um, they are definitely saying that this game is great. It's actually um, they are saying that um, it is a. Uh, what is it? Uh, it feels Returnal feels like an actual PS5 game, so oh, oh, oh. that's good. So they can talk about how good it is, but they can't put up a review. Well, uh, if yeah. they can't, they it's can't. Probably the, an review, embargo. the review's right. gonna have like all the spoilers and mechanics. And it's shit. a preview, dog. The preview embargo yeah. is up, but you can't do a full review right now. When the game, yeah, you on. can't slap a score on it. Basically, the game, the game comes 30, out next 30th. week. All right, all right, but. Yeah. On Friday, the game is out Friday. Friday, yeah. So, um, yeah, but um, what y'all think? Did y'all look at the forty-five minute, um, you know, preview they got out there? No, nope. I only watched seventeen I minutes of it. Yeah, I only watched I only the seventeen seen. as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cole, what you watch? Cole, on here, they, they cry. Cole, what you watch? I ain't watched none. I don't want no spoilers. I don't want to know what's happening. I want to get everything, everything fresh. fresh. So, so you, so you got complete faith in 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 Sony. You know this is going to be a good game. 
Sony, no. House Mark, I got a lot of confidence in them, yes. But I don't know it's going to be a good game, but I'm confident. I mean, Mark, I mean, House Mark. I mean, games. I feel you. <laughs> Hold on, can he even name a house mark game? <laughs> Cole, can you even name a house mark? He type it right now. Google. I'm talking yeah, he's working on Google. Uh, I hear the typing, nigga. I hear the typing. I hear that motherfucker. What was the what was Hold on, hold on. No, no, hold on. Did you Did you beat a house mark games? Uh, Cole? His trophies are out there on PSN. Yeah, right, like true. this is well, answer oh, the that? question, sir, please. <laughs> <laughs> Have you beat a house mark game? Well, yes, no. So uh, how do you got so much confidence, Cole? <laughs> Be <they> too hard. <laughs> uh, just knock it. Just knock it. I'm uh, speaking too fast. I'm talking too fast. No, not at all. No, okay, man. so where does this confidence come from, Cole? That nigga yeah. play Angry Birds. Just you know say now, I fucked up. I yeah, was I my they bad. Made, they they yeah, worked on Angry yes, Birds. I'm not like you. <laughs> oh man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cole got the floor right now because I want to know how this man <laughs> built up so much confidence for a uh, studio. He never beat one of their games. Come on, Cole, give it to me. So first, I told you, like I reject your assessment that if you spent time with a game but you didn't beat it, therefore your oh, opinion is invalid. Oh, no. oh, oh no. Lord. What? So I so like that's already not a thing. With so what you beat? What, okay, what you play from them that you I'm put not hours done, in? Sir. Okay, go ahead. My bad. My bad. And further, I have access to information that a lot of people don't have. Oh my God! Here we go. What's that information? Oh Lord, nigga! If I told you, you would have it. I don't know, dude. Oh. Oh, that's that's a whack excuse. <laughs> no, Cole, oh, okay. Cole, 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 Cole. You did not tell me how you built up this confidence. I didn't. Uh, but the information I that could be anything. I don't know what that is. I told you. Well, you that's true. Angry, angry, they they worked on Angry Birds. I, Man, this I, shit crazy. Portfolio, that portfolio extremely is confident right. because I have information. Cole, you're gonna have to tighten up. Makes- you're gonna have to tighten up. <laughs> You're going to have to tighten up, my guy. <laughs> you care, man. You're going to have to tighten I'm confident, up. Like my confidence is like not even like medium confidence. I have high confidence. We'll I'm, I'm, on, your, I'm, on, your, I'm on your trophy list right now. I want to see what how smart games you play because I don't see nothing. Mm. We're going to look, They don't though. even got nothing to even, even talk about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rezo, 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 Rezo. Yeah, they got Dead Nation. Get that shit out here. Get this. <laughs> They got, they got Rezo Dead Gun Nation. Rezo Gun. Nah, Rezo Gun. Rezo Gun was good. Rezo Gun was good. Is that what they made? House Mark made Rezo Gun? I didn't even know yeah. that. Dead Nation. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Cole. They got Angry Birds. See this? God they damn it. They're going to make X mock, next Machina. Cole, you really next be putting Machina. me in a tight place, Cole. You really put me in a tight place. <laughs> Nigga, I ain't putting you in no tight You be tight putting place. me in a tight place, man. Because I, I, you know yeah. what I mean? I don't want to. I don't want to be doing this to you, man. But you be putting me. You be doing. You be. You be putting me in this place, Cole. And yeah, I ain't really gotta, happy about this because yeah, I'm that, looking that, at that, your that, trophy that, list. You do. I don't see a single house mark game on this motherfucker. Not Dang one. <laughs> wow. So did you hear me tell you? I don't know how many thousand times I have to say this. When my son got out of oh, school. Oh Lord! No, you sound no, like them no, Xbox. Xbox. You sound oh, like them Xbox. Xbox. It wasn't a start. No, you sound like them Xbox. I, I gave you an easy out, but you didn't want to be like me, I guess. Uh, yeah, I, I, uh, you're above my level. Now you're, 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 you're getting smoke. Who's got the smoke today? I would only need an out if I was lying or if I was somehow like speaking not true. But you got secret information that none of us have access to about the game that makes you really confident it would be good? Mm. Yeah. Listen, Cole, all we can go what? off all we can go off of is what we see. And right here what I see, no how smart games is on your list. Not one. Again, <laughs> just because my PS3 and 360 got stolen does not mean that I haven't played those. <laughs> Dog, games. Rezo Gun wasn't on Super- PS3. Rezo Gun I wasn't on I, PS3. I didn't say I played Rezo Gun. So you didn't play Rezo Gun. That, that is correct. Game. Oh my free god. Game too. Cole, game. Cole gonna get me in trouble, Super man. Spider? Cole gonna get me in trouble. I did not play Super Stardust. They about to come for me, Cole, and it's all because of you. Jesus Christ. I mean, you gotta fall back on us. At some point, I might be able to share my information. I'll just have to check and see. But I'm gonna have to hurry up, man, because this shit crazy, man. Hey, hey, though, you. Yes. Yes? What is it pertaining to? 
uh code. Returnal, Returnal. No, okay. no, no. What I'm saying, like, what, what is, what is this information like about the game that you like? Is it the graphics, the gameplay? What, what did you talk about? No, I can't really talk about none of it at oh, all. Uh, maybe hold on, let me ask you this, Code. Have you, Code? Have you played anything? Have you played anything from House Smart? Anything? I told you. Well, yeah, what you play? What did you play? I told you I played Dead Nation, nigga. Uh, and that guy, hold on, and Dead Nation gave you confidence for this game. <laughs> That's not even the best. Hey, hey, Code, if you don't knock it the fuck off. I don't know what to tell y'all people. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. You are very confident in Returnal. And yeah. you, no, you said, you said I'm confident in House Mark, not really Sony. House Mark. Well, yes. How? I'm when you only play Dead Nation. Look, I'm confident that. Returner will be a great game because of what I know in the oh games that I play from my God. And that's what we got to go off of. We got to, we got to, we got to listen what, to that. Yeah. What he knows is it's a PlayStation exclusive. All you want, yeah, like, that, that's right. <laughs> it's a, it's a PlayStation exclusive. That's the fact. Yeah, yeah, just go ahead and say it, Cole. Just go ahead and say that, Cole. No, let's do this a different way. Let's do this a different way. I'm talking to you, just fifth. <laughs> Damn. Okay. All right. Shit. Yeah, I wasn't even the one coming at you, but all right. You come on. I need uh, barely, out. barely. Okay, but a little bit. So let me ask you this. Let's just say that you was on trial for murder. Damn, oh Lord. And God, you on trial for murder, and you know that you are at home uh, watching TV, but there's no way you can prove it. And are all you really of the evidence says that you committed this murder and people, so people get oh, falsely accused all the that, time that, but go that, ahead that, that, that. so it is clear at the trial that you're going to lose your case because all the evidence points to you being guilty of murder should you then stop believing that you're innocent and should you also then say well because i know i'm about to lose and because the evidence looks like this and because i can't prove it I'm also giving up my belief in my so own. So, do you think I should do a huh? plea deal instead? Nigga, should I should take I'm a plea deal and admit you that I got belief in your own innocence? It's a simple Nigga, question. Just, would you continue just, yo, to believe the, you innocent? I'm trying to figure out what the all this got to go on with House Mark. I have to go with well, the if evidence. all the evidence, the evidence we have available, makes you look guilty. Look, if all the know, evidence, stop. we're talking about you. You know the, what you did or what you didn't do. Are you right. going to give up belief in your own innocence? But people, we, the people, are questioning you. Come the on, question though. is, <laughs> will you give up belief hey, in your own innocence? This sidestep is crazy. This nigga uh, just... This, this uh, nigga I, I don't... I reject the analogy, dude. I can't. I can't. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just like the... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's back up. Because... Let's back up. Back up. Hold on, hold on. Let's back up. Let's back up. All right. Question is, <laughs> did anybody check out the preview? Cole said, no, I don't want to be spoiled. I don't want no spoilers. I yeah. said, so you have full confidence that this is going to be a good game. You don't want to check it out at all to see or anything. No, I have confidence yeah. in how smart. No, based I have on information you can't reveal. Good. Based on and how, uh, yeah, and um, But you said how smart. You said you had confidence in how smart. You said how smart. Right, and then I say, "Well, Cole, what give me, what's giving you this confidence?" That's not true. I said that I have confidence <laughs> that the game is going to be good. And I said, and "What's giving Jay you this confidence?" Said, what how? No, Jay said, "What house mark game have you beat?" And you said none. You said none. Right. And right. then, and of that course, started this. This, and I said, "I first I reject that notion," and then I said, "I have information," and that's true. And like I was saying, just fits, which he dodged the question. I don't care what it looks like to y'all. I know what I'm talking about, and I'm not going to give up belief in what I'm going through and what I know just because. No, I can't cool. Do it, it don't work like that. No, we're, we're cool. <laughs> no, nah, cool. For the rules we have to follow. Cool. When we yeah, speak cool. Nah, cool. For, first of all, we got information too. That don't mean it's gonna turn out good. <laughs> we got information. We got a whole. We got a whole forty-five minute video. We got a forty-five minute video. It's turn out good. I said very clearly. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I am confident. And I and again, we asked you how'd you get that confidence because you only played Dead Nation. Dead Nation. So are you gonna? 
Are you going to reveal that when the game comes out? So next week, are you going to? I don't know us? if I can. I will, but if I can't, then I won't. This but is you way. Just duck it. Hey, just hey, man. Bird. Hey, he got little birdies, man. Just say uh, he got yeah, little birdies. He got flies <laughs> on the wall. <laughs> right. hey, hey, everybody, everybody in the podcast has to conveniently forget to ask him that question next week. Please, <laughs> please <laughs> forget oh, about this. And this is what no. I'm trying. Like you, you not understanding. I don't care if you believe it or not, or you, you just fit or anybody else. Like I know what I'm talking about, and if I can't sustain, that, hey, that's I'll okay, be, that's okay. But I'll the evidence it. is against you. Is what we're saying. Like soul to soul for that info. Oh, what evidence is against me? Yo, you cannot <laughs> have. Yo, yo, you cannot have. Yo, you listen, Cole. Just say I'm a Sony fanboy, and that's that. <laughs> like, stop with this bullshit. Right, look here. So look here. Let me let me say this. So if uh, if I've never played God of War one. Or two or three. Uh huh. And Hard Eight says to me, Man, you should check them out. They straight. And I'll be like, Okay, yeah, I'm going to check them out. And somebody say, Well, you think they're going to be good? And I'll be like, Yeah, I think they're going to be good. You saying I can't say that based on his recommendation. I can't have confidence that my guy eight is going to do me a solid and not lead me down a bad path. I just have to wait. I can't have no confidence. I'm just blank. Until oh, I play, you know, can't have the game already separate, came though. out though. The game yeah, was already out. I don't know, he done played it. Nah, nah. Cold, 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 cold. Bro, those games are over. Cold. First of all, cold. Just we oh already know God. what type of. We already know what you are. All right. Y'all, y'all have a hard time <laughs> answering direct <laughs> questions. I know that. No, we got a hard all time right, asking. No, we got a hard time answering sidestepping questions. All right. Stay off. No, stay on topic, sir. Hard eight. Yes. You what? 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 Eight. So, what is the what hold is the on, question hold, you're hold, asking? Hard I eight actually think it is asking. weird that you would oh, say. Hard eight. You will say, stay on topic, but then you will take two hours and do a whole AGS light because you want to make sure people understand all of the details and all of the steps. Huh? Wait. What, <laughs> what the <laughs> hell are you talking about, Cole? He was staying on. He was staying on topic. <laughs> You got to be next topic. You keep it up. Yo, my. Nah, 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 man. I, I would not sidestepping to tell the whole story. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. Cold is cool. Cold is cool, but cold, you full of shit sometimes. And I'm going to tell you, you full of shit. All you got to do is say, listen. I'm a Sony dude, and I and I and I got faith and confidence in Sony. I could, I would say that if that's true, but that's hey, Co- I but you. But hold on, you're building. Hold on, all of this confidence, right, is being built off a of dead nation. Are you serious? This is a brand new IP too. That is not what I said. De- dead nation and of uh, your information you got. So I want you to answer my question and quit calling it a. Oh, uh, come on with this question, go. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 come on, you come on. You Can I trust the same person from somebody <laughs> that I have that I believe in? Hell no. Here's the thing. The Here's the thing. Came out of. If if I, if, <laughs> if I've gave if I've given you recommendation after recommendation and it turned out to be good, then yes, because now you know that I've been on point so far. But out of thin okay. air, maybe not. No, maybe you can't trust that. I haven't proven myself yet, and that's what I'm trying to figure out. How did Housemark but prove to you, you that they're going to make a quality product? That's the same thing with niggas do with Cyberpunk. I I mean, uh, CD Projekt Red. I I have information. That gives me confidence that Returnal is gonna be nice. Yeah, I ain't that's going with that. I ain't going with that's that. The game, because yeah. the game is the place. Wait, have you? you, so that, have you I, I know, Cole, <laughs> and I ain't, and I ain't either. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, 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 Cole, let me ask, let me ask you this, Cole. So, basically, what you're saying. So, have you played Returnal at all? Anything? No. All Not right. All. So you're so in order for you to say that, that means you're really trusting what you heard from somebody else about what's going on with the game. So That's you're willing. So into. you're willing to put your trust. You're willing to put that trust in somebody else and saying that this game is probably is more likely going to be great. That is certainly one option. Yes, absolutely. I mean, that can only be the only option. And then, the, and, and, and then the question the was, game. and then the question was, how you know how smart is going to deliver? Why you got so much confidence? And he like, well, because I played Dead Nation and I got some information. <laughs> he said Dead Dead Nation. Nation. Take back. That is not how that happened. I mean, it yeah. went a little bit. It's I'm trying to help you. Played. 
No, actually, when I when I asked you that question, I thought you played Wrestle Gun. That's like one of their best games, and you didn't. I have not played Wrestle. You said Dead Nation, some shit they gave you free when they fucked up the online. (laughs) (laughs) That game was fucking hot garbage. If I had the base return off a Dead Nation, nigga, I'd be like, man, I ain't getting that shit. Hey, I'm going to answer his question directly, though, because he said if your boy recommends you a game and, like, he says it's going to be really good, but then somebody else asks you when he lets you borrow that or whatever it is and recommended it to you, uh, they ask, do you think it's going to be good? Honestly, I don't know if I would say, yes, I think it's going to be good. I said I would say, hey, I'm going to play it and I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Yeah. And that's and that's even if your boy got a good track, your boy got to have a good track record for recommendations. Yeah, man. And and that's why you are you and not me. Oh, Cole, and would you I, knock I, it off? I, 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 will you I, knock I, it off, Cole? God damn it! No, I will not. I stand by what I said, and I it, it is a shame that that's not a. All right, are, are we cool though? Are, are, are we cool? There's only a few. Of are we cool? There. You ain't gonna be in the Discord tomorrow or tonight talking shit about me, are you? Are we good? <laughs> I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure you ain't about to go hit up a bunch of niggas like, "Hey, Blaze, I knew that nigga Hard Eight was a fuck, fuck boy." Hey man, join this Discord. Hey, 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 Ravish, fucking uh, uh, a team, come here, man. Everybody, join this Discord. <laughs> hey, 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 BG, I knew I shouldn't have never joined that nigga podcast. Hey, join this Discord, man. I got to talk about wow, this nigga. Man, you're way left. Hey, man, <laughs> hey, we need to keep code because uh, he, his pushback makes the podcast good. It does. Shout yeah, out to code, man. All I know is that. I didn't I didn't know. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. First of all, I didn't say we didn't need to keep code. I'm just saying, you know how niggas be, man. They jump in Discord. Oh, yeah, quick. I know. They I put know. out They put out the hard eight signal and shit. Oh, shit. Somebody got a problem with hard eight. Round up. Round up. Round up. Yeah, man. Hey, you got fault. Now, eight, you gotta fall back on half of the niggas. Like the viewers, you know, complaining about them niggas hitting the like bucket button on uh niggas that don't play no video games. You gonna keep this nigga in here? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I know, right? I can't be talking all this shit, and I got this nigga cold. Yeah, I can't do that. I got cold here, man. God, I gotta get on cold too. I gotta, I gotta roast this ass too, man, because they'll be getting on me. Why you ain't say nothing to cold? He got his achievements. Like nigga, we done got on. Here. On that note, real quick. On that note, I posted a video showing all my Xbox achievements, and so honest, anybody got to do is go look through there and see whatever they want. All right, there you go. Right, that's go what's look, up. Go that's look what's and up. see them that's games. Code right. don't play, they, nigga. They, they still that's a cool ass the move. private, but it ain't gonna be uh, like trophies pop. Up yeah, while I feel I'm you. Supposed to be at work and shit. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> shit, I'm probably that's cool. That was a cool tomorrow. move. I, I'll give you credit for that. That's cool. I um well I appreciate that, but I don't need your credit. But thank you. <laughs> oh, man. Jesus Christ, man. Yo. Yo. Man, man, all this chest pumping, man. All right, hold on. Let me let me <laughs> hey let me check up. Matter of fact, we about to get out of here. We about to get out of here. Nah, nigga, what the fuck you think this is, man? <laughs> If only Bat was in here, he'd pay you to do it. The people, the people say they want to age this after dark. Man, listen, man, I got shit to do. I think I got, I think I got, I ain't got shit to do. I want to hear everybody else talk about return. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> niggas don't think shit. <laughs> I mean, hey, niggas, I mean, niggas don't think a damn thing. Niggas don't think nah, a damn thing. The Ravens look right. The Ravens look right. Hey, shout I, I, out to like uh, the dodge shout, move. Shout out to Ash and Lucas. She said every week of AGS is a spiritual awakening. Another right. banger stream, fellas. Y'all got me laughing every time. <laughs> Thank you. Ash, Thank Ash, you, Ash, Luca. Mm-hmm. But uh, do anybody got anything to say about Returnal? Because we try and get out of here. Uh, my, look, yeah. look, look good. Are y'all getting a day you know. one seventy dollars? My dumb ass. Uh, yeah, yes. uh, I'll get it down I'll, the line. I'll, I'll say to the, the game. Damn, Teron, you broke. Teron, you broke. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I ain't broke. I just ain't trying to make that decision right now. Damn, seventy dollars. Hey, hey, seventy dollars killing you, Teron. No, I'm talking about for a PS5. Oh, you ain't got a PS5. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh you ain't got a PS5. 
Oh, okay. I'm still trying okay. to stand fucking strong on this scalping shit, man. It's getting uh, hard. Well, y'all though. keep it up, then. Y'all keep it the fuck up, then. I'll, I'll be uh, damned if I'm going to fucking I know. hinder but myself. That's the problem. Everybody, no, so yeah, everybody had FOMO, so they ran out and bought one, and now I'm thinking, like, man, I feel stupid for fucking doing this shit. I'm damned if I'm going to hinder myself. So is Returnal, yeah, is Returnal yeah, only on PS5? Yes. Yes. Sure. yes. You're on PlayStation, God damn it. You know where to go. Only on PS5. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Jeremy, you got a PS5? Yes. Are you getting it? Yes. Okay. Uh, Fitch, you don't got one. Teron don't got one. Who else don't got one? All right. So like, my dumb ass, yeah. I sold mine last month. Who is that? Thought, it's Jay. Oh, I sold it, right? Because I thought the game was coming to PC. And I... <laughs> now I'm just what? <laughs> yeah. Because I thought, it, I thought it was all... I thought it was coincide with yeah, PC. Put big, Dude, yo, put, I made a put, dumb put, put, mistake. Put big dummy on your forehead. Yeah, I, hey. I, already, I already admitted to it. Hey, I, I hey. said it on... I did the dumb yeah. shit. Just Which to back him up, though, there was some confusion about Demon Souls. That's the only reason I didn't pre-order one, because somebody was in line at GameStop for me, and they were like, you want this? I was like, no, nah, Demon Souls will come to PC. Oh, uh, well, y'all gonna miss out, then. Y'all gonna miss out, then. Watch me play uh, next week. I ain't, I ain't making that right. decision. Nah, Watch me play. No, hey, hey, don't you steal no, drug no. money and shit? Like, you can't make no... You ain't got no extra money? <laughs> <laughs> don't you shake down motherfucking, uh, you know... Uh, traffic violators and all that—you got that shit. Stop. Right, but I, but I, I'm, a, I'm a black cop, nigga. Oh, all right, all right. All right, nigga. Cop. What about a uh, near replicant? You guys play near replicant? That game is fire. That game is near replicant. Fire. I, I, I'm, a, I'm about like ten hours on that shit. That's Hold shit. on, we ain't talking about near. We talking about uh, Returnal. I know who, you don't like. Who all games. got a PS5? <laughs> who all I don't got a PS5? Damn. I still don't have one. I'm not paying all. Yeah, he, he got the Series S. So he Hasn't, you ain't got no PS5 either, Hasn't? I got a PS5. I got actually day one, nigga, day zero. Hold on, what, 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 what truck did it fall off of? <laughs> <laughs> I know you stole it. <laughs> and that shit in Portland, Japan, day zero, November 10th. Are you getting, are you getting return on day one? <laughs> I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I mean, it look cool. You know it hasn't been stealing games since we don't have to. Now, here, this nigga go. Here, hey, that nigga gonna check. Hey, he gonna, he gonna check. Hey, he gonna check Pirate Bay. He gonna check. Hey, he gonna check Pirate Bay first. You know what I mean? That's where I'm pulling. I'm gonna pull a heist. I'm gonna look at games on real quick. I'm pull a heist on real quick. Damn. They got some biggie masks and shit about to run. Run up in a nigga house. Crazy. Crazy. No, All right, well, we about to get out of here. We gotta, we got, I gotta go. I actually gotta go. I gotta go. That's yeah. funny. The people, the people want AGN at the dark, bro. Yeah. Dog, you don't even super chat. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that, Hessen? Who? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Hesin's all right. Chat get out of here. I'm get out of here. Don't know where. Yeah, I ain't yeah, back. Yeah. Oh, hey, 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 hey. hey, hey. <laughs> 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 Damn. <laughs> hey, 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 don't go to eBay to get your PlayStation 5. Go to Facebook Marketplace in your city. You're going to find one 750. Yeah, you know I mean, or, or 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 just watch me play Returnal. No, I ain't even no. streaming that shit. I'm lying like a motherfucker. Go watch uh, somebody else play that motherfucker. Go watch hey, somebody hey, else play that. Right, you you, you, you scrape. You, you Look, scrape. I'm gonna get You're the gonna get down the line. That's why, nigga. Nigga, I played Ninja Gaiden live, nigga. Battle Toads, nigga. Mike Tyson, punch out, nigga. Shit that, that shit where death got die. consequences, nigga. No, no, no. He said, no, he said I was scared to play a hard game. And I'm just telling what I what I just did. You ain't hear that, nigga? All right, y'all niggas. Yo, y'all niggas can't get me, man. Fuck is wrong with y'all? That's the reason why nah, I'm still here. I'm still standing, nigga. I thought you was on some bullshit. Nah, nigga. Nah, nigga. Nah, nigga. I'm gonna call you out, dog. Oh, no, get out of here. All right, all right. See y'all. Get the fuck out of here. All right, get out of here. All right, man. Get out of here. All right, peace. That should be a monumental occasion for Ron disagreeing with A. Shit, I want to. No, see, see, that's the thing. Every time you try to get him to do it, he end up setting himself up. Just let it go, man. I ain't you, Cole. I, I, I ain't you, notice, Cole. I, My shit on point, nigga. You know what I mean? I didn't notice any time. Listen, listen. This truth. You are losing. You blame it on like the the game being cheap. Oh, it's, it's what what game? What game? Like like Ninja Gaiden. Like I. No, it's a cheap that. ass that game. What are you not talking about? Hella cheap. Did you not see it? Were you looking, motherfucker? I I saw that in in the Lion King. That was some cheap. Uh, the bullshit with the Hey, you didn't hit. think Ninja Gaiden Ninja. was? Wasn't? I mean, it wasn't unfair because it's what? clear. Because <laughs> you, you just, if you can avoid getting hit, you can make it. 
He said, get the skill up. Dog. <laughs> hey, Jeremy, you got a black and white. You ain't seen what the fuck was going on. Like, get out of here. Nah, Jeremy, that respawn was broken in that game. That though. shit is dead. Like, come on, everybody. Listen, yeah. angry oh, video game nerd. Over there making excuses. <laughs> 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 Hey, hold on, man. Hey, yo, yo, hold up. First of all, first of all, don't just be disagreeing with me just to disagree, nigga. Make that shit make sense. All right. So Teron not disagreeing because he already he know it makes sense. Yeah, I'm not cold, man. I ain't gonna call no bullshit. Savage. Oh, He's so happy him and Hard Eight on the same side again. All is right with the world now. Yeah, he, he can sleep good tonight, boy. Hey, Game of Forte, what's going on? You trying to sell pre-orders? I hear you all, motherfucking. I mean, oh, you selling you. pre-orders and shit? Hey, talk about that Series X. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you bring up that Xbox. You got to come in here about the Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> what y'all say about that Xbox? <laughs> no, I'm up here playing God of War going through these Valkyries right now while you talking. Oh, oh, he turned it on real quick. Like, let me turn this they on playing the God of War through the Xbox simulator and shit. <laughs> hey, Jeremy, somebody in the chat just super chatted. They said, did you beat Ninja Gaiden, though? Oh. No, I don't I don't man. We got to be consistent. <laughs> hey, yo, this man, nigga tried to call me out like he did it. I'm not, I'm not 45. <laughs> <laughs> what, you what the fuck that mean? You can play yeah, that shit right now. Any is. age can play it right now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I talking about some. I'm not 45. You also don't get no pussy. But we ain't talking about that. Oh, shit, you know, we ain't gonna speak on that. You actually don't get no pussy either. Yeah, man, you're a young nigga. Don't get no pussy, nigga. What you doing? You might as well be 45. Man, you, always, you, you always, you always got to pull out this inner city. Inner oh, inner city. Oh, no, God. nigga. No, no say, nigga. Though, inner city. That, that's crossing <laughs> that's the line. Be careful. Shit. Yeah. Get out of here, man. <laughs> you never seen a, you never seen a white person that lived in a big city in in, in the inner city. It ain't that. When inner city has a negative, it has a connotation, dude. It does. You might as well just call him a nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right, we gotta go, man. Right. We gotta go. Jeremy still ain't got right. no pussy. He's still young and no pussy. <laughs> We're only bad, though, man. You need to get him in. This nigga talking shit about Ninja Gaiden like, like he did it. Said that. No, he talking shit about Ninja Gaiden like he did it. What you do? <laughs> I'm just, well, I'm just looking at what I see. I saw. Oh, I saw nigga, you stream, stream it and I'm a watch. A little bit. You stream it and I watch. Yeah, Hard Eight actually got man, pretty I'm fucking a... far. I would have lost my patience well before I think he did. I mean, he was on stream, granted, but man, dude, I, I don't think I would have made it that far. I would have quit. You Fuck stream it, uh, Jeremy. You stream it, and I'll be the only one watching. So go do that. <laughs> man, I'm, a, I'm, I'm on consoles, bro. Yeah, I, that's what I thought. Consoles. Oh, hey, you don't have a Switch? Now. Don't they have Ninja Gaiden on the uh, Switch online? I don't know. I don't have a switch. I don't care about the uh, switch. Man. <laughs> you ain't got nothing. <laughs> uh, he got an Xbox Series X and a PS5. I know. Well, well, man, he needs to give me his PS5 because I'm going to revoke things. a gamer card, though. He doing big hey, things out here. Nah, 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 Jeremy. Hey, Jeremy, what you playing right now? The PS3. Um, I'm playing uh, Resistance oh, yeah. 1 at this moment. Oh, I forgot all about the PS3 store. Oh, yeah, you got uh, the It's PS3. not going yeah, away. I were, yeah. yeah, I bet you were happy about that. Hey, the store not going away. Yay. Yay. Yeah, yeah. I was. I was <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all found a good fight. Y'all won. Everybody can go back. Y'all ain't going to buy. Yeah, yeah, all yeah, gonna yeah, yeah, now everybody can go back to not talking about it because they ain't even taking the time. For real, though. Game preservation, then, bro. That bullshit y'all was talking about. All right, I got to go. I got I really got to go. I got to go. I'm sorry. I got to go. Peace out. Yeah, I got to go. Peace. Yeah, I got to go. My bad. I just looked at the time. You know what I'm saying? So I got to go, people. All right. Thanks, everybody, for calling in. Appreciate everybody for calling in, joining the conversation. Uh, let me get to these last super chats before we get out of here. Uh, Torrance Ingram said, no, nigga, I was talking about you, a Philly native, and he a glizzy gob, uh, your eagle. So you don't want to hurt him. Your guest has it right at first. Nah, I just don't. I don't I'm not familiar with the situation, dog. Like, you want me to talk about some shit I don't know about. So Yeah, that's a serious thing. Luca just told me what that was. That's. Yeah, that's yeah, some serious I don't, shit. I don't. I mean, I don't watch that part of YouTube. I don't. I don't like. I don't know, man. Shout out to Mac Ultra. He said Cole only got information on the Underground Railroad routes. <laughs> 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 uh, shout out to Ken. She said Cole, bro, you're courting 4K, no less. Give it up. 
Give up, fam. Hey. Give up. Hey. Uh, shout out to Urban Combat 1000. He said, this is the people's court now, Triple OG. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, if y'all don't believe me, I can understand if it sounds shady to y'all. Yeah, it does. But I'm not going to change what I'm well, saying. it sounds like, shady. Sir, it sounds shady. <laughs> Move on. What's the next super chat? <laughs> shout out to Ken. He said, Cole, did the information you get not spoil the game? Correct. Okay. Shout out Correct. to Mac Ultra. He said, Cole got, inf- got info on all the bingo halls with the big time payouts. <laughs> that ain't no lie, but that's another story for another day. And I read that's Ashley Luca. Uh, Max B said, anyone play that Resident Evil 8 demo? Yes, I played it. Another, another lackluster demo. But I did play it. Um, Cole, you don't want to spoil it, right? Right. And nah, it ain't like really that showing that. shit, to be honest with you. Um, shout out the same old 23 said Jeremy talking like he beat Ninja Gaiden did you beat it nope he didn't fucking beat it <laughs> anyway gotta get out of here what we gave y'all today man we got y'all 3 hours and 50 minutes that shit went fast cause I was supposed to stop at 7 o'clock and I'm like 7.30 and damn we already <laughs> Jesus yeah so appreciate everybody for coming through make sure y'all hit the like button um and and have some fun man we'll see what type of gaming news we got coming up this week hope everybody enjoyed the show i think it was a good one and uh thanks everybody right yep hit the like button everybody for calling in all the super chat supporters patreon supporters all the supporters everybody that uh, participates in whatever way that is appreciate y'all Oh, you got to tell everybody you love them before we get off it. Oh, man. I, gotta, I, I, yeah, I, gotta, I love you guys. I got to lie to these motherfuckers <laughs> and shit. You know what I mean? Um, shout out to Brad Bowyer. He said, Jesus told Cold in the dream, Returnal going to be fire. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we doing, Brad. So he was saying to my face, we going to put it on the super chat. Yeah, shout out to uh, all the callers. Everybody calling, shout out to y'all. You know, I might curse y'all out sometimes, but I appreciate y'all. Just like y'all, just like Jay said, don't take it too serious. Don't take it too serious. Yeah. You know, right. y'all already know what's going on over here. If you don't know by now, then I don't know what the fuck to tell you. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, enjoyed everybody's input. You dig? Facts. But yeah. I got some shit to do. I'm also hungry as a hostage, and I'm a holler, man. What you watching tonight, Cole? What you got? What's on the agenda? Um, no, we ain't watching nothing tonight. Uh, she doing that thing with her little college friends again. Oh, you gotta go up there and play nice, or you you gonna be no, doing I'm not doing that this time. Oh no, yeah, okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm staying down here, and I'm about to try to finish up this day's gone plat. Oh, you working on that? Yeah. All right. All right. Well, we out, people. Thanks for coming through. Yeah, we appreciate it, man. Good episode. We appreciate the support. That's on everything. All day. All day. Peace. Peace.